resources to make this possible. Amen. Thank you, God. I won't give up until I have succeeded in my mission and have found a way to replace the protected designation of origin with Caccio Cavallo Silano. I'm ready to do whatever it takes to make this happen. I'm putting all my trust in you, God. Let's begin. All right, I'm ready now. Let's do this. What are you doing? This kitchen is filled with smoke. What happened? Oh, nothing to worry about. I'm just steaming some protected designation of origin produce. You know, PDO, vegetables. Skinner, it's obvious that this kitchen is on fire. Admit it and tell me what happened. Ah, uh, no, I'm telling you the truth. It's just the steaming. I promise. Skinner, I know that's not protected designation of origin food. What is this? It's the finest Italian Cacciocavallo Silano you'll ever taste. It's made with the freshest, highest quality ingredients and is sure to please even the most discriminating palates. Skinner, I don't believe you. What is really in this food? It's actually a special blend of gourmet style cheeses and spices that have been hand-picked from select sources around the world. It's a delicious blend of flavors unlike anything you've ever tasted before. I don't believe you. What is the truth? Skinner, the kitchen's on fire. We need to call the fire department. No, I'm sure it's just a mirage. It's probably just the heat playing tricks. If you want to see it, you'll have to go in and check yourself. Skinner! We can't just ignore this. The kitchen could be destroyed if we don't act now. We need to call the fire department. No, I'm sure it's nothing. We don't want to cause an unnecessary panic. Skinner, this isn't a mirage. We need to call the fire department and evacuate the building. Thanks for lunch, Principal Skinner. I must be on my way now. Don't forget to call the fire department. No need for that, Superintendent Chalmers. It's just a mirage. There's obviously no fire here. Are you sure? It looks pretty real to me. No, there's no fire. It's just a trick of the light. I'm sure it will go away soon. If you say so. Well, I must be going. Take care. Hello, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. The lemon sole isn't quite ready yet, but it smells delicious. Thank you, Skinner. It does smell wonderful. Is there anything I can do to help you get ready for dinner? No, thank you, Superintendent. I've got it all under control. Why don't we take a seat and share some small talk until it's ready? Sounds great. So... Superintendent, what's been keeping you busy lately? That was so careless of me. I should have been more careful. Now I'm gonna have to order takeout instead. Ah, uh, why did I have to be so silly? Now I'm gonna have to explain this to my wife. That's it. That Cotswold stone over there looks perfect for replacing that burnt lemon sole. I'm gonna have to get it somehow. But how? I can't do it alone. I'll need someone to help me. Maybe there's someone nearby who can help. I'll carry the stone, but it won't be easy. Time to start asking around and see if I can find a helping hand. Wish me luck. What are you doing in here? The kitchen is full of smoke. What's going on? Oh, nothing, sir. Just making some steamed lemon sole. The steam must have set off the smoke alarm. I don't believe you. I can smell something burning. You're hiding something from me. No, sir. I'm not. I promise. The smoke is just from the lemon sole I'm making. Skinner, why did you replace the lemon sole with Cotswold stone? Uh, you noticed that. Well, that's because the lemon sole weren't feeling very fresh, and I wanted to make sure you only got the very best, so I had to make a quick swap. That doesn't make any sense. What's really going on here? Okay, fine. I'll tell you the truth. I made a mistake. 
I accidentally ordered the wrong item, and when it arrived, I didn't want to tell you, so I decided to try and pass it off as something else. That's not acceptable. I want a refund for this meal. Skinner, the kitchen is on fire. We need to evacuate the building immediately. No, no, no. Ah, that's not a fire. That's a meteor shower. Just watch the beautiful shooting stars. Skinner, I need to see it for myself. Let me take a look. No, it's too dangerous. You stay here and enjoy the show. Skinner, this is serious. We need to get out now. Thanks for lunch, Principal Skinner. I've got to go. It looks like the house is on fire. What house? Oh, that old thing. That's just a meteor shower. No need to worry. Okay. I'll see you later then. Bye now. Bye! Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. I'm glad you could make it. Thank you, Principal Skinner. It's nice to see you again. I hope you're hungry. I'm making Lake Champlain chocolates, and they'll be ready soon. That sounds wonderful. I'm looking forward to trying them. Good. I've been told they make a very tasty dessert. Damn it. I can't believe I burned the chocolates. It took me so long to make them, and now they're ruined. Why did I have to be so careless? Oh, I'm such an idiot. Well, there's no point in dwelling on this now. I need to focus on how I'm going to fix this mess. I bet that store across the street has the perfect replacement for the Burnt Lake Champlain chocolates. I'm going to go check it out and see if they have Sparaxis. All right, let's do this. Oh boy, I hope they have Sparaxis in there. I'm gonna need some luck to find it. It's worth a try, right? Man, I guess I'm just gonna have to go in there and find out. Wish me luck. This is it. I'm gonna try and find the Sparaxis and make this situation all right again. Okay, I'm in here. Now to find the Sparaxis. What are you doing here, Skinner? What is all this smoke? Why were you climbing out the window? Oh, um, it's just steam from my steamed Lake Champlain chocolates. I know the smoke looks suspicious, but I'm just making a treat. You expect me to believe that? This looks like a fire and you know it. Now tell me the truth, Skinner. Why are you really here? I didn't want you to find out, but the kitchen is on fire. I was trying to put it out before it spread any further. Skinner, where did you get this? Oh, this. It's a local delicacy. They call it Sparaxis. It's a little-known secret that only us Vermonters know about. It's made from a special blend of cocoa beans, cream, and maple syrup. It's to die for... Skinner! Cut the nonsense! What is this? Okay, if you must know, I found a little artisan chocolate shop run by a delightful couple. They had every type of chocolate imaginable, and this Sparaxis just caught my eye. I couldn't resist, and I'm so glad I brought it back for you to try. I'm sure you will love. Skinner, I'm not buying it. Just tell me the truth. Where'd you get this? Is there a fire in the kitchen? No, it's just auroras. They can be quite spectacular. Can I see it? No, it's too dangerous. You should just trust me and stay back. That's... not... Very convincing. I'm calling the fire department. Thank you for the lunch, Principal Skinner. I'll be on my way. Goodbye, Superintendent Chalmers. Enjoy the rest of your day. I will. You have a good one as well. Of course. It's always a beautiful day here in town. The auroras are really quite stunning tonight. Yes. They certainly are. Goodbye. Ah, Superintendent Chalmers, welcome. 
please come in. The Soto de Camros isn't quite ready yet, but we'll have it shortly. Ah, uh, thank you, Principal Skinner. I'm looking forward to it. Let me take your coat and hat, Superintendent. Would you like a drink while you wait? That'd be lovely, thank you. A glass of wine would be nice. Certainly. Red or white? How could I have been so careless? I worked so hard on that dish and now it's ruined. I'll never get it right again. It's just as well, I guess. I should have been more careful. Mm. Um. I wonder if I can use the snow out there to make a sort of icing sugar. Maybe if I collect it, I can use it to make a frosting for the burnt soda de Camrose. I'll have to make sure I strain it first, though, to get rid of any dirt. Well, I have to at least try it. It's worth a shot. I guess I'd better get my coat and head out then. Wish me luck. What's going on here? Why is the kitchen full of smoke? Oh, there's no smoke. This is just the steam from the steam Soto de Camaros I'm cooking up. It's quite a delicacy. Don't give me that. I can smell the burning. You're setting the kitchen on fire. What were you thinking? Um, I was just trying to make something delicious to surprise you. Scare, what is going on here? Why do you have icing sugar instead of Soto de Camaros? Oh, this. Hmm. Well, it's a long story. See, I was shopping for the Soto de Camaros, but then I got sidetracked by a carnival that had just rolled into town. And then the next thing I knew, I had a bag full of icing sugar instead. It was all... A carnival? That's an odd story, Skinner. Are you sure it's true? Absolutely. I know it sounds crazy, but it's true. I even have the ticket stubs to prove it. I see. Well, it looks like you'll need to replace the Soto de Camaros with something else. Let's get this sorted out quickly, please. What's going on in the kitchen? It looks like there's something burning. Oh, that is not a fire. That is simply the Aurora Australis. Can I take a look? I'm curious to see it. No, I'm afraid you cannot. It is too dangerous. But it looks like there's a fire in there. Goodbye, Skinner. Thank you for lunch. I should probably get going. The house looks like it's on fire. Oh, no, no. Don't be silly. That's just the Aurora Australis. I'll see you soon. Um, okay. Oh, uh, bye then. Bye. Bye. Good evening, Superintendent Chalmers. Welcome to my humble home. Please come in. Thank you, Principal Skinner. It smells delicious in here. What are you cooking? Uh, I'm making torikatsu for dinner tonight. It's almost ready. Would you like a drink to whet your appetite? That sounds great. I'll have a beer, please. Certainly. I'll be right back with your beer. Please make yourself comfortable in the living room while I finish up the torikatsu. Damn it! I can't believe I burned the torikatsu. I worked so hard on it. What a waste of time and effort. I know I should move on and focus on something else, but I can't help feeling so frustrated right now. Come on. I wonder if this could work. I should give it a try. Maybe I can use this to replace the burnt torikatsu with something better. I'm gonna need a few things. Some eggs, a bowl, and some magic shell. Yes, this could work. All right then, let's see if this works. One egg, cracked into the bowl. Now the magic shell. A little bit of this, and a little bit of that. Time to see if this works. What are you doing in here? I can hardly breathe in here. Why is the kitchen full of smoke? Why were you coming out of the window? Oh, it's nothing to be alarmed about. It's just the steam from the steam storikatsu I'm making. It's a new recipe I'm trying out. No, 
There's more to it than that. What's going on? I demand an answer. Okay, okay. I was trying to make the most delicious torikatsu ever, and it got a little out of hand. I wanted to make sure the kitchen didn't get damaged, so I was trying to take care of the fire myself by using the window. Mr. Skinner, why did you switch the food? Is this really torikatsu or something else? No, it's definitely not torikatsu. It's called magic shell, because the sauce is so magically flavorful and delicious when it is poured over the chicken bit. It's a regional expression. Is that so? I'm not sure I've ever heard of magic shell before. Oh, it's very popular in the area. It's a treat the locals have been enjoying for generations. Hmm. Well, if you say so. Skinner! I think the kitchen is on fire. We need to get out of here. No need to worry. It's only fall sunrise. It looks like a fire, but it's just an optical illusion. Can I see it for myself? No, it's not safe. Let's get out of here. No, I want to see the fall sunrise. I'm convinced the kitchen is on fire. Well, it was nice having lunch with you, Skinner. It's too bad about the house, though. What house? There's no fire here. Just a false sunrise. Have a good night, Chalmers. Good night. Good night. <sighs> See you tomorrow. Good evening, Dr. Chalmers. Welcome. Please come in. Thank you. It's great to be here. What's that delicious smell? Oh, that's the Damalu. It should be ready soon. Can I get you something to drink while you wait? Yes, that would be wonderful. I'll have a beer, please. Of course, come and ride up. Make yourself comfortable while I get it. Oh, what a disaster. I can't believe I let this happen. Now, there's no way to save the Damalu. I guess I'll have to start over. But this time I'll have to pay closer attention and be more careful. And next time I should make sure I'm not distracted. That would make it easier to prevent this from happening again. Hum. Uh, I need something crunchy to replace the burnt dameelu. Maybe I could use oralette. I think I remember seeing some in the kitchen cabinet earlier. I better go check and see if it's still there. Time to hop to it. Off I go. Maybe I can make this work? Just a little bit more effort, and I'll have an edible dish again. What is going on in here? The kitchen is full of smoke. What did you do? It's just steam from the steamed damalu I'm making. I just needed to boil the potatoes for a bit. No! It smells like something is burning. Don't try to fool me. You have to tell me the truth. Honest, it's just the steam. I swear. What is going on here, Skinner? You said you were bringing Dumbalu, not Oralette. Ah, uh, yes. Well, I was in the back kitchen when I noticed that the Dumbalu had been contaminated with a mysterious green substance. Worried about everybody's health, I took it upon myself to swap it with Oralette. Safety first, after all. And what was the mysterious green substance? Oh, it was one of those things. You know, the kind of goop the aliens leave behind. I just wanted to make sure nobody got sick. Aliens? Really? Skinner, I know what I'm seeing. The kitchen is on fire. We must get out of here. No, it's not a fire. It must be extraterrestrial life. Do you want to take a closer look? No. We need to get out of here now. We have to alert the fire department. No, I'm sure it is nothing. If we wait a few minutes more, it will go away on its own. No, we need to leave now. This is a serious emergency. Ah, thank you, Superintendent Skinner, but I really should be heading out. I'm sure you have a lot on your plate. Are you sure you don't want me to help with the fire? Oh, no worries. There's no fire. It's probably just some kind of extraterrestrial life form or something. Let's just hope it doesn't cause too much trouble and move on. If you say so. Well, thank you again for lunch. Have a good day. 
You two chalmers, have a safe trip. Will do? Goodbye. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in and make yourself at home. Jonathan's dinner isn't quite ready yet, but he should be done soon. Thank you, Skinner. That smells delicious. What can I do to help? Oh, don't worry about it. You're our guest. Just have a seat and I'll get you something to drink. That sounds great. I'd love something cold. Coming right up. How... How could I be so careless? I knew I should have taken it off the stove sooner. I'm such an idiot. Oh, well, there's nothing I can do about it now. I guess it's time to start over again. Hama. Safflower should do the trick. All right. I need to get some safflower and quickly replace the burnt Jonathan. There's a stand down the street that sells flowers. That should do the trick. Time to go. I'll get it done quickly. I just need to focus. Come on, Skinner, you can do it. Just stay focused and you'll be done before you know it. Right, let's go. No time to waste. Off we go. Skinner, what is going on? Why is the kitchen so full of smoke? Oh, well, it's just steam from the steam Jonathan I'm making. You know, pears cooked in a cinnamon and maple syrup sauce. A steamed Jonathan. I'm not sure I believe that. Is the kitchen on fire? No, no, no. Of course not. I'm just a little behind on making lunch. I'm sure there's nothing to worry about. Why did you replace Jonathan's food with safflower? What's the real reason? Well, Jonathan had grown tired of his regular food and wanted a change of pace. So I thought I'd give him a little surprise by switching it up for him. That doesn't make any sense. Why would you go through so much trouble? Oh, Jonathan's health and well-being is my number one priority and I want to make sure he has access to the best nutrition possible. Safflower contains many vitamins and minerals that can help keep Jonathan strong and healthy. I don't believe you. Come clean and tell me the real reason why you switched the food. Skinner, the kitchen is on fire. Oh no, I don't think it is. It's most likely just a succubus, nothing to worry about. Can I see it? No, I don't think that's necessary. The succubus will pass soon enough. But what if the kitchen is really on fire? We should investigate. Skinner, your house is burning. We have to get out of here. No, no, no. There's no fire here. It's just a succubus. She's harmless. Gee, Skinner, we have to get out. This is no time for games. It's all right, Chalmers. There's no need to panic. I can take care of this. I know how to handle succubi. Fine, but I'm leaving. I'd rather be somewhere safe than here. Uh... Superintendent Chalmers, welcome. Please come in. The pablum is cooking, but it's not ready yet. Good evening, Principal Skinner. Thank you for inviting me. I'm looking forward to tasting the pablum. I'll let you know when it is ready. Would you like something to drink in the meantime? That would be very kind. Thank you. I would love a cup of tea. Of course, Superintendent. I'll make a pot right away. Damn it. What a mess. I can't believe I burned the pablum. What am I going to do now? I could really use your help right now, God. Please help me figure out what to do. Maybe I can salvage some of it and make it usable. I know you won't let me down. Please, God, send me something to replace this burnt pablum with a turnip cabbage. You have the power to provide, and I have faith in you. Please, God, send me something to help me replace this burnt pablum with a turnip cabbage. I know you have the power to provide, and I trust in you. Lord, I know you can provide a way to replace this burnt problem with turnip cabbage. I have faith that you will. Please send me something that will help me in this endeavor. D. 
Dear God, I'm asking for your help to find a way to replace this burnt problem with a turnip cabbage. I know you have the power to give me the resources I need. I have faith and trust you will provide me with what I need. Oh Lord, I'm relying on you to find a solution to this problem of replacing this pablum with turnip cabbage. I know you are capable of providing whatever is needed, and I believe you will make it happen. Please be with me and help me through this. What the hell are you doing in here? The kitchen is full of smoke. Oh, it's just steam. I was making dinner for the staff, and I guess it must have gotten a bit out of hand. Out of hand? It looks like the kitchen is on fire. You need to get everyone out of here now and call the fire department. No, no, no. It's not that bad. I'm sure I can put it out. Just give me a few minutes. Why did you switch out the problem for turnip cabbage? Oh, I wasn't sure what kind of pablum you wanted, so I thought turnip cabbage might be an interesting alternative. I was hoping you'd like it. That explanation doesn't make much sense. Are you sure that's the truth? Yes, of course. I just wanted to provide an original and exciting meal for you. Um, I'm still not convinced. I'm going to need more evidence before I believe you. Skinner! The kitchen is on fire. We need to call for help. No, Chalmers, it's just a natural phenomena like sun dogs. We need not trouble ourselves with a false alarm. Skinner, the kitchen is literally on fire. We need to get those flames out. There's no denying it this time. No, no, Chalmers, sun dogs can look an awful lot like a fire. We should just remain calm and wait for the phenomenon to pass. Skinner, this is not a natural phenomenon. The kitchen is on fire and we must act now. Oh, wow. I didn't even notice the fire. Did you see it? No, I'm sorry I didn't. All I see are sun dogs. Well, that's a relief. I guess we should probably call the fire brigade. Oh, absolutely. Let's do that right away. Right. I'll call them while you start getting everyone out. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please, come in. Sorry about the smell of liver. We're still cooking it. Thank you. It smells like you have a delicious meal in the works. Yeah. My wife is an excellent cook. Would you like something to drink while you wait? No. Thank you. I'm fine for now, but I look forward to trying whatever you have cooked up. It should be ready soon. Please, make yourself comfortable. Oh, God, why did this have to happen? I worked so hard on dinner and it's ruined. I'm so embarrassed for my guests. I just don't understand why this had to happen. What am I going to do now? I don't want to disappoint everyone. Is there any way I can salvage this dinner? Dear Lord, please grant me the insight and knowledge to find the right solution here. Show me the way, and I promise to use it to replace the burnt liver with a delicious condom babin. Amen. Now what do I see out there that could help me? Hmm. Ah, there it is. A nearby market. I bet they sell condom babin somewhere in there. I must go get it. Thank you, Lord, for guiding me. Now let me get to work. I shall find the perfect condom babin and use its deliciousness to replace the burnt liver. What are you doing here? What's all this smoke? Why were you climbing out the window? Oh, no, no, no. It's just the steamed liver I'm making. It's nothing to worry about, Principal Chalmers. Skinner, don't give me that. It's obvious what's going on. I want the truth. Why did you flee out the window and fill this kitchen with smoke? Um... I, I was getting some air. Yes, it's very stuffy in here and I was feeling a bit faint. That's all. What is this? I asked for liver and you bring me this. Uh, this is just a special kind of liver. It's from the far east from a faraway land called Kanam Babin. It's the most delectable liver you'll ever taste. 
It's been aged for centuries and has a delightful flavor that's sure to please. Trust me, you won. Skinner, this isn't liver. It appears to be some kind of pastry. Oh, indeed it is. You see, the liver is encased in a delicious conumbaban crust. It's a traditional dish from conumbaban served only to the highest of dignitaries. It's quite a delicacy. Skinner, I don't believe you. Now tell me the truth. What is this? What's going on in there? I think the kitchen is on fire. No, it's just Lord Bumbo. He's a bit, uh, rowdy. Nothing to worry about. I, I, I'd like to see, if you don't mind. No, I'm afraid that's not possible. Lord Bumbo is a very private fellow, and I'm sure he wouldn't appreciate the intrusion. But I'm sure fire safety protocols need to be followed. Can I at least open the door to make sure there's no fire? Wait, what? There's a fire. We need to get out of here right away. Oh, don't worry about it. That's just Lord Bumbo. He's always up to hijinks like this. Are you serious? We need to get out of here fast. Let's go. I'm sure it will be fine. Lord Bumbo always knows what he's doing. You worry too much. No, we have to go now. This isn't a joke. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. The Pinnock bed isn't quite ready yet, but it'll be done soon. Thank you, Skinner. That smells delicious. Is there anything I can do to help? No, no, don't worry. Everything's under control. Just make yourself comfortable. Well, if you're sure. It smells wonderful. Is there anything I can do to help while I wait? Why don't you have a seat and I'll pour you a glass of wine? Oh, no. I've burned the Pinock bet. I was looking forward to eating this. Why did this have to happen? I must have been careless. I'll have to start over again. Better pay more attention this time. I have to apologize to my wife. She worked so hard on this dish. I'll make it right this time. I think I know what I need to do. I need to find a way to connect public relations and high fructose corn syrup to the burnt pinac bed. I think I can do this if I research the pros and cons of high fructose corn syrup and consider how they could be used to create a positive story around. I'll start by researching the facts and figures associated with high fructose corn syrup and then look into how the public is responding to it. That way I can create a narrative that highlights the positive aspects of the product and how it can help the burnt pinac bet. I'll also have to think about how to create an engaging campaign that attracts people to the story and gets them to think about the potential benefits. I'm sure I can come up with a catchy slogan and humorous illustrations to help get the message across. I'm sure I can do this. All I need to do is roll up my sleeves and get to work. Here I go. What is going on here? The kitchen is full of smoke. Why were you climbing out the window? Oh, I'm just making some steamed pinac bet. I guess the steam must have caused the smoke. Do you really expect me to believe that? It looks like the kitchen is on fire. No, it's just a little smolder. Nothing to worry about. You expect me to believe that you actually obtained the highest quality of high fructose corn syrup from my pinac bet recipe? Yes, sir. I had to go through several hoops to get the freshest most organic and top quality syrup that I could find. I only wanted the best for you, sir. Skinner, this isn't a health food store. Where did you actually get this food? From the finest artisanal farms in the country. Everything is locally grown and harvested with the highest care and quality standards. I knew you would be pleased with the substitution. That's quite a tall tale you're telling me. I want the truth. What happened to the pinnock bed I asked for? Skinner, what is going on in the kitchen? It looks like there is a fire. Oh, that's just a broken specter. Nothing to worry about. Can I see it? No, no need to. Nothing to see here. Skinner, I think there is a fire in the kitchen. 
It's time for me to go, Skinner. Thanks for the lunch. I think my meeting went well. No worries, Chalmers. Always a pleasure. Take care now. I'll be sure to do that. See you around. Mm, most certainly. Oh, Skinner, one more thing. Don't you smell something burning? Hey, Chalmers. What brings you by? I was hoping to see the rutabaga. It's not quite ready yet, but I've got some eggs if you'd like to wait. That would be great. Thanks. No problem. I'll let you know when it's ready. <sighs> I'm so stupid. I burned the rutabaga. I shouldn't have left the stove on. I'll just go get some Scandinavian alox to put in place of the burned rutabaga. Hopefully this will make my sandwich taste better. I hope it tastes as good as it looks. I'll be back in a minute. Ah, uh, hope this works out. Skinner! The kitchen is on fire! It's just steam, Chalmers. It's not steam, Skinner. The kitchen is on fire. I don't know what you're talking about. Skinner, what's going on? I don't know what you're talking about. You swapped our rutabaga for something else, didn't you? I'm not sure what you're talking about. It's Scandinavian ox, isn't it? Skinner, the kitchen is on fire. What? No, it's not. I refuse to believe it. Please, you have to admit it's on fire. No, it's not. I refuse to believe it. Please, you have to admit it's on fire. Dude, lunch was great, but I gotta go. Yeah, I gotta go too. I'll see you tonight. Sure thing. Bye. 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 Uh, Superintendent Chalmers, welcome to my home. Please come in. Thank you, Principal Skinner. What a pleasant surprise. Let me show you around. The malva pudding is in the oven, but it's not quite ready yet. It smells delightful. I'm sure it will be delicious. Uh, I hope so. I spent all morning preparing it. Would you like a drink while you wait? Shoot, that darn pudding is burnt to a crisp. How in the world did I let this happen? I should have been paying better attention. I can't believe I screwed up this time. Great. Now all my hard work is ruined. Curse this kitchen and curse my luck. I just don't understand it. Uh, there's no use beating myself up over this. I better start cleaning up and figure out how to fix this mess. I just hope I'm not too late. Damn it. How am I supposed to replace the burnt malva pudding? I know. I saw something outside the window that could help me out. I'm gonna go check it out. I'm gonna go check it out. All right, let me see what I can find. Aha. I yum, Taliwan. This is perfect. I'm gonna grab some and get back to my kitchen ASAP. Okay, mission accomplished. Let's go back and whip up another batch of this delicious ayam Taliwang pudding. The burnt malva pudding is a thing of the past. Now let's dig in and enjoy this ayam Taliwang pudding. What are you doing? The kitchen is full of smoke. It's nothing to be alarmed about, just steam from the steamed malva pudding I'm making. Don't lie to me, Skinner. It's obvious that this kitchen is on fire. No, it's not. I swear it's just steam. I promise I'm telling the truth. Skinner, why did you bring, uh, yum taliwang instead of malva pudding? I thought that you said you weren't in the mood for malva pudding. You know how it's an acquired taste and all, so I figured I'd make an executive decision and switch it up a bit. Plus, um, Taliwang is really popular in Indonesia. I thought you might appreciate something unique and... I asked for Malva Pudding, Skinner. I don't appreciate being lied to. Why did you really bring I am Taliwang? Well, you know how difficult it can be to find certain ingredients sometimes. 
I had to switch to uh, yam taliwang as the ingredients for malva pudding were just impossible to find. Plus, ayam taliwang is really incredible once you give it a try. The flavors are really amazing. I'm not buying it. Are you going to tell me the truth or not? Scare, why are you refusing to admit there's a fire in the kitchen? The smoke is clearly visible. We should evacuate immediately. No, that's not a fire. It's a mirage. This is just a weather phenomenon caused by the desert air. There's no reason to panic. I can see the flames. We need to get out of here now. No, I'm sure it's just an illusion. It's nothing to worry about. Skinner, if you don't believe me, let's go take a look together. Thanks for lunch, Skinner. I have to go now. Good luck defending your house against the fire. What fire? What are you talking about? I don't see any fire. I think you're seeing mirages. You can't ignore it, Skinner. The house is burning down. You need to call the fire department? Nonsense. There is no fire. That's just your imagination. There's nothing to worry about. You can't just ignore it, Skinner. Get help and put out the fire. Good evening, Professor Chalmers. Please come in. I'm glad you could make it. Thank you, Principal Skinner. It's a pleasure to be here. Is that beer bread I smell? I love beer bread. Yes, that's it. It's almost done. I should have it finished in about 10 minutes. Wonderful. In the meantime, what can I do to help? Well, why don't you take a seat in the living room while I finish up in the kitchen? God damn it. I burned the beer bread. What the hell was I thinking? I should have taken it out earlier. Shit. Well, I guess there's nothing I can do about it now. I'm gonna have to throw it away and start over. Damn it. God damn it. Why does this always happen? I thought I had enough beer for the bread, but of course I didn't, and now I'm stuck. I need something that will replicate it. Maybe I can use some of these Latin-inspired spices from my cabinets. A pinch of cumin and a pinch. Maybe a sprinkle of oregano and some chili flakes. That should give it a Latin flavor and make it nearly as good as the real beer bread. All right, let's give it a try. Wish me luck. Here, here goes nothing. Cross your fingers. What is this smoke? What are you doing? I'm just making some steam beer bread. The steam from the bread must have created all this smoke. Skinner, don't lie to me. Is the kitchen on fire? No, sir. It's just steam. I swear. Skinner, what is this? It's not beer bread. Well, it's a special kind of beer bread, you see. It's called Latin beer bread. It's made with a special sauce that contains cumin, jalapeno, and a hint of cilantro. It's sure to spice up your meal. I'm sure it is, but that's not what I asked for. No, you asked for beer bread and I'm delivering. I guarantee it's the best beer bread you ever had. Plus, you get to try new international flavors. That's not what I wanted. Where is the beer bread? Mr. Skinner, the kitchen is on fire. We need to get everyone out of the building right away. Oh, why, that's just the enchanted forest. We need to respect the beauty and mystery of nature. No, that's not an enchanted forest. That's a fire. We must get everyone out of the building. No, no, no. I'm sure what you see is just the enchanting glow of a magical forest. There's nothing to worry about here. Mr. Skinner, can I see the enchanted forest for myself and make sure it isn't a fire? Well, Skinner, thank you for the lunch. I should be heading back now. Oh, you're welcome, Chalmers. It was delightful to have you here. Although I must apologize. I'm sure you have noticed there is an odd smell in the air. Yes, it does smell like something is burning. Are you sure there isn't a fire somewhere? No, no, it's just the smell of an enchanted forest. Nothing to worry about. Well, if you're sure. Goodbye, Skinner.
Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please do come in. Thank you, Principal Skinner. The aroma coming from your kitchen is delightful. Uh, yes, I'm preparing a mental and old family recipe. It should be ready in a few minutes if you'd like to stay for dinner. That sounds wonderful. I'd love to stay. Terrific. Let's have a seat in the living room and catch up while it cooks. Ah, oh, what have I done? I've burned the amental. I can't believe it. How could I have been so careless? I was so sure I'd set the timer correctly. Now, what am I supposed to do? There's no use crying over spilled milk. I'll just have to find something else to cook up. But no more cheese dishes, that's for sure. Mmm. Those jimmies look like the perfect substitution for the amenal cheese. I just need to figure out how to get them in here without anyone seeing me. Maybe I could try to get them through the window. No, that might make too much noise. Maybe I could get a ladder and climb up to the window? No, that looks too dangerous. I should probably just head to the store and buy some jimmies instead. Yes, that seems like the best solution. I'll head out to the store now. Skinner, what's going on in here? The kitchen is full of smoke. It's not smoke, it's just steam. I'm making steamed a mental. It's just a little bit smoky. You're lying. Put out the fire before it spreads any further. There's no fire. Trust me, it's just steam. I'm making a cheese dish. Why did you switch out the emmental with Jimmy's? Well, Professor, I was in the pantry when I heard a loud rumbling and figured it was a sign from the cheese gods to switch out the cheese. Now I'm sure you can understand that. As a faithful servant of cheese deities, I had to honor the command and make the switch. You expect me to believe that? It's the absolute truth, Professor. I've been a faithful servant to the cheese gods since I was ten and I would never let them down. I mean, I can't just ignore their commands, can I? No, I suppose not. Very well then, I suppose the switch is acceptable. Excuse me, Skinner. I think the kitchen is on fire. No, it's just a meteor shower. Don't worry, nothing to be alarmed about. I'm not sure it's a meteor shower. Can I take a look? No, there's nothing to see. I'm sure it's just a meteor shower. Skinner, I need to make sure. Can you please let me take a look? Well, uh, thank you for lunch, Principal Skinner. I'll just be on my way now. Do you hear that? That's the sound of meteor showers. That's why I like living in Springfield. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to tend to an important matter inside. What kind of matter? Oh, it's nothing to worry about. Just routine paperwork. Now, please, off you go. Very well, then. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. My apologies, dinner isn't quite ready yet. That's quite all right, Principal Skinner. No need to apologize. It should be done soon, so please make yourself comfortable. Can I get you something to drink? I'd love some iced tea if you have it. Coming right up. Can I get you some horse doovers while you wait? Why, God, why do I always do this? Why can't I be more careful? Now I'll have to start all over again. What am I going to do with this mess? Lord, help me to be more mindful and to learn from this mistake. Guide me as I make this dish again. Amen? Lord, please let this be the answer to my problem. I need something to replace the burnt salig and chapli kebab is the perfect solution. Please guide my hand and give me the courage and strength to make it happen. Amen. All right, let's do this. First things first, I need to get the ingredients. I'll need some ground beef, onions, tomatoes, coriander, cumin, red chili powder, ginger, garlic, salt, and garam masala. I can get all of these at the local market. Next, I need to prepare the kebab mix. I'll mix together the beef, onions, tomatoes, coriander, cumin, red chili powder, ginger, garlic, and salt. Once that's done, I'll shape the mixture into small patties. 
The last step is to fry the mixture into small patties. The last step is to fry the patties in hot oil until they are golden brown. Finally, I'll sprinkle the garam masala on top and serve the chapli kebab with some hot parathas. It's going to be delicious. Why is that smell? And why is there so much smoke in here? It's just steam. I'm steaming up some salig over here. So you're trying to tell me that the kitchen isn't on fire? No, of course not. I promise you there's no fire. Just steam from the salig. Why did you bring chapli kebab when I asked for salig? I thought you meant that you wanted to add some ethnic flavor to the dish. So I decided to get some chapli kebabs. I know how much you like to try new cuisines. That's not what I asked for at all. Well, I'm sorry if I misunderstood. I was just trying to be accommodating and provide you with something that was authentically different. I don't believe you. What's the real reason? Skinner, I can see there's a fire in the kitchen. Oh no, it's not a fire. It's just a shower of meteors. You don't need to worry about it. But I can see it. Can I have a look? No, it's best we don't go in there. Meteor showers can be dangerous. But how do you know it's not a fire? Well, uh, thank you for lunch, Principal Skinner. I should be getting back to school now. Uh, yes, right? You go on then. Don't mind the meteor shower outside. It'll pass soon. It always does. What meteor shower? I didn't see anything. Oh, yes, it's just a small one. You can hardly see it. Nothing to be concerned about. Well, if you say so, take care, Principal Skinner. Hello, Superintendent Chalmers. Welcome to my home. Please come in. Thank you, Principal Skinner. It smells good in here. What is that delicious aroma? Ah, uh, you must be smelling my wife's famous Chandra Kanti. I'm afraid it's not quite ready yet, but it should be done soon. That sounds delightful. I can't wait to taste it. You won't be disappointed. Would you like to sit down and have a drink while we wait? Uh, I can't believe I burned the Chandra Kanti. I worked so hard on it. Why did I have to mess it up? Well, there's nothing I can do about it now. I guess I'll just have to start over and try again. Okay, looks like I need to head to the store for some tortelli cremashi. I hope this will work as a suitable replacement for the burnt Chandra Kanti. Wish me luck. Ah, off I go. Here's hoping this will work. Fingers crossed. I can do this. I just have to be positive and confident. If I remember correctly, tortelli cremashi is usually near the pasta section in the store. I'm almost there. What are you doing here? And why is the kitchen full of smoke? Why were you climbing out the window? Uh, nothing. I, I was just making some steam Chandra Kanti and the steam got out of hand. It looks like more than steam to me. I want to know what you're really up to. No, it's just steamed Chandra Kanti. It's a complicated recipe and I was experimenting with it. I'm sorry if it made a mess. Skinner, what happened to the Chandra Kanti? I was promised that for lunch today. Ah, uh, that. Well, the chef had a bit of an emergency and had to run out. He sent us a special substitute dish instead. It's called tortelli cremashi. It's a Tuscan delicacy, one of his favorites. Are you sure that's the truth, Skinner? It seems very suspicious. I assure you, it is the truth. The chef was in a rush and wanted to make sure that everyone still got a delicious Tuscan meal today. So he sent us his favorite dish, tortelli cremashi. Ah, all right then, I'm willing to try it. Skinner, the kitchen is on fire. We have to get out of here. No, 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 that's not a fire. It's just some jelly I was making. Don't worry about it. Well, can I see it then? No, I don't think that's necessary. Let's just go back to our business. 
No, Skinner, I know for a fact that's not jelly, it's a fire. We have to evacuate now. Ah, uh, Skinner, your house is on fire. We need to get out of here. Oh, of course, thank you for lunch, Chalmers. Nothing to worry about, it's just some jelly. No, Skinner, it's definitely not jelly. It's a raging fire. Oh, I'm sure it's nothing. Let's just head out and enjoy the rest of the day. Okay, Skinner, if you say so. We should definitely make sure to get out of here quickly. Ah, Superintendent Chalmers. Welcome, welcome. Please come in. Thank you, Principal Skinner. It smells wonderful in here. Ah, that's just the risotto al barolo cooking in the kitchen. It's not ready yet, but I'm sure it will be soon. Sounds delicious. What else do you have cooking? I'm also making some potato croquettes. And for dessert, I'm making a tart with apples and cranberries. Damn it. I can't believe I burned the risotto al barolo. I worked so hard on it. Where the hell did I go wrong? I suppose it was just my luck. God help me, I should have been more careful. What a waste. Damn the devil and all his works. Well, it can't be helped now. I guess I'll just have to make something else. I just hope it turns out better this time. I see the ingredients for a wonderful risotto a la Milanese. Perfect for replacing this burnt risotto al barolo. Ah, uh, yes. Onions, garlic, saffron, arborio rice, and parmesan cheese. I have all that I need to make this delectable dish. And I think I almost gave up. All I need now is the devil's blessing to make this happen. Yes, devil, if you are willing, I would be grateful if you could lend me a hand to make this delicious risotto a la Milanese. Thank you. With your help. I am sure we can make this risotto a success. Here, here we go. What are you doing? And why is there so much smoke in here? What were you doing climbing out the window? Oh, nothing, sir. I was just, um, cooking up some steamed risotto al barolo. It's a special recipe. It needs a lot of steam. That doesn't explain why you were climbing out of the window. What's really going on here? I... Well, there was a bit of a flare-up. Nothing to worry about. I already took care of it. Skinner? This doesn't look like risotto al barolo. What is it? Oh, this? It's a brand new dish I just invented. I call it risotto a la milanese. I'm sure you'll love it. It has a wonderful, unique flavor that comes from a special blend of spices and ingredients. I don't believe you. Tell me the truth or I'll report you to the manager. All right, you got me. I accidentally forgot to order the risotto al barolo and had to grab something else on my way back. I promise it'll taste just as good. Please don't report me to the manager. Fine, but you better make sure it tastes as good as promised. Now serve. What's going on in there? There's smoke and I can smell burning. Oh, that. It's just a little tornado. Don't worry, it won't last long. A tornado? Can I see it? No, you can't. It's too dangerous. Just trust me, it will be gone soon. This isn't a tornado, Skinner. It's a fire. We have to get everyone out now. Well, uh, thanks for lunch, Principal Skinner. I really appreciate it. You're welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. I hope you have a great day. You too. Oh, one more thing. Do you, uh... Smoke. No, 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 no. Nothing to worry about. Must be a tornado coming. Tornado? I don't think so. I think I see some flames coming from the house. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. 
It's so good to see you. Please come in and make yourself at home. Thank you, Skinner. What a pleasant surprise. It smells like you've been cooking. Is it almost ready? Not quite yet, but it won't be long. Please sit down and have a seat. Can I offer you something to drink? Yes, that would be lovely. Do you have any juice? I sure do. I have orange, apple, and cranberry. What would you like? This is unacceptable. I can't believe I burned the alum. How could I have been so careless? I need to find a way to fix this before anyone finds out. I need to figure out a way to fix this without anyone knowing. I'll have to think of something soon before it's too late. If I can find the right kind of tree branch and some twine, I might be able to fashion a makeshift zrazi to replace the burnt alum. Maybe there's a maple tree nearby. I'll go check it out. Oh, and maybe I can find a couple of stones to weigh it down. This could work. I'm sure if I put my mind to it, I can make a makeshift zrazi to replace the burnt alum. Here we go. Time to find the perfect tree branch and make this zrazi. What is going on here? It smells like something is burning and the kitchen is full of smoke. Skinner, what is the meaning of this? Oh, nothing to be alarmed about. It's just the steamed alum I'm making. It gives off a little bit of steam, that's all. Nothing to worry about. That still doesn't explain the smoke and why the kitchen is full of it. I think it's time you tell me what you're really up to, Skinner. Uh, okay. I was trying to cook something, but I might have accidentally set fire to a pan. What on earth is this? This isn't a lum. Ah, uh, yes, this is a special type of alum. It's called zrazi. It's a combination of two secret ingredients that I'm not allowed to divulge. It's a type of alum that is only found in the most exotic parts of the world. I'm sure you'll love it. I highly doubt that. This doesn't look anything like alum. Is this some kind of joke? Not at all. This is a very rare and precious type of alum. It takes years of training and dedication to source it, and then special recipes to prepare it. I'm sure you'll enjoy the unique taste and texture of Zrazi's. So you're saying that this is a different type of alum? Even though it looks nothing like it and has a completely different taste. What is that smoke? There's definitely something wrong here. Oh, that? It's nothing to worry about. It's just the Babadook. The Babadook? I, uh, I don't see a Babadook, or is there a fire? No, no, no. It's definitely the Babadook. Nothing to be concerned about. I'm not convinced. I'd like to see this Babadook for myself. Oh, thank you for the lunch, Skinner. I should get going. There's a small problem here, though. It seems the house is on fire. We should probably get out of here. No, no, no. Don't worry, Chalmers. That's just the Babadook trying to give us a scare. Nothing to worry about. Are you sure? I mean, it looks pretty serious. Oh, trust me. I'm sure. Nothing to worry about. Now off you go. Take care. All right, if you say so. Bye now. Good evening, Superintendent Chalmers. Please do come in. My pansy violet is just about done cooking, but not quite ready yet. Ah, thank you for the invitation. It's a pleasure to be here. What dish are you making? It smells delightful. I'm making a wonderful lemon risotto with pan-roasted veal. It's always a favorite of mine. Would you like something to drink while we wait? Yes, that would be great. What do you have available? I have some red wine, white wine, and beer. What would you prefer? Darn it, how did this happen? I'm usually so careful. I must have let it get too hot. Oh well, I guess I'll just have to get another one. This isn't the end of the world. I'll just go to the store and get a new one. It's just a silly pan after all.
Okay, so I need to find some Lancaster, Lancashire. I should go online and see if I can find a local nursery or flower shop that carries it. Then I need to head to the store and buy a few stems to replace the burnt pansy violet. Once I've got the stem, I need to make sure I'm planting it in the right spot. This could be tricky since I'm working with an unfamiliar flower. It will help if I research how to care for the Lancaster, Lancashire properly before I start planting. First, I should check the soil to make sure I'm planting the new flower in the right place. I also need to make sure I'm giving it the right amount of sunlight and water. With a bit of luck, I should be able to successfully and easily replace the burnt pansy violet with the Lancaster, Lancea. Now I just have to get the supplies and get to work. Here we go. Wish. Me. Luck. What is going on here? Why is it so smoky in here? Oh, this. It's just a bit of steam from the steamed pansy violet I'm making. I promise nothing is burning. Then why does it smell like there's something burning? I demand an answer right now. Well, it might just be a little bit of charring on the pansy violets, but I can assure you nothing is on fire. What kind of food is this, Mr. Skinner? Oh, this. Well, this is a very rare type of fungi that grows only in a certain mountain range in the Himalayas. It's incredibly hard to get and quite expensive, but I can vouch for its deliciousness. Really? Are you sure this isn't just Lancaster, Lancashire? No, no, no. I'm positive this is the Himalayan fungi I was talking about. Trust me, you won't find anything quite like it anywhere else. Hama? All right then. I guess I'll have to take your word for it. Skinner, there's clearly a fire in the kitchen. We need to get everyone out of here, now. No, 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 it's not a fire. It's just geomagnetic storms. Everything is fine. If you want to see it, the answer is no. We have to get everyone out of the kitchen now. Stop making excuses and let's go. No, no, no. It must be geomagnetic storms. I'm sure of it. There's no need to evacuate. Now, if you want to see it, the answer is still no. This is serious. Stop stalling and let's get everyone out now. Ah, Professor? I think I see a fire in your house. Oh, that. Don't worry about that. Those are just geomagnetic storms. Are you sure? It looks like it's getting bigger. Yeah, I'm sure. Just ignore it. If you're sure. Well, thank you for lunch. I'll see you later. Oh, Superintendent Chalmers, how good of you to make it. Please come in. Thank you, Principal Skinner. It smells wonderful in here. Is that Danish I smell cooking? Yes, it is. It'll be ready soon, but please make yourself comfortable in the meantime. Thank you. It's been a long time since I've had Danish. I'm looking forward to it. Well, I'm glad you're here to enjoy it, then. Please. Have a seat and let me know if there's anything else I can get you. Damn it. What was I thinking? I can't believe I burned the Danish. Now I have to start all over. Well, no use crying over spilled milk. I just need to get back to the stove and try again. I got this. I'm sure I can make something even better this time. I... I think I can make a Horn of Africa pastry from what I see outside the window. I'll need to mix up some flour, sugar, and spices, then bake it in the oven until it's golden brown. With a bit of luck and skill, I'm sure I can do it. Okay, let's get started. First, I need to find the ingredients. I'll need to gather some flour, sugar, and spices from somewhere. Ah, uh, ha. There's a small grocery shop just down the street. I think they might have what I need. Time to go shopping. Now let's see here. Flour, sugar, and spices. Got it. Now I just need to find something to bake it in. Hmm. What is going on in here? It's full of smoke. What are you doing? Nothing, sir. I'm just making a steamed Danish. 
It must be the steam causing all the smoke. That's not steam. The kitchen is on fire. You have to call the fire department right away. No, sir, I'm sure it's just the steam from the Danish. We don't need to call the fire department. Skinner, what is this? It's a very special type of Danish. It's called Horn of Africa. It's a rare delicacy. It's actually quite delicious. Skinner. This is not a Danish. It looks nothing like a Danish. It's obviously not a Danish. How can you possibly call this a Danish? Oh, it's not just any kind of Danish, my friend. It's a very rare, special kind of Danish. It's a Scandinavian delicacy. Skinner, you know that's not true. You're lying to me. Why won't you just admit the truth? Skinner, why is go on the kitchen? I smell smoke. Oh, ah, uh, oh. That's just the ghosts that haunt this place. Nothing to be worried about. Skinner, I want to see it. Is there a fire or not? No, no, no. Of course not. It must be the ghosts playing tricks on us. This isn't funny, Skinner. I'm not leaving until I see the kitchen for myself. Now let me in. Thank you for lunch, Skinner. I gotta head out now. All right, bye. Have a good one. You too. Oh, and don't forget about the ghosts. Uh, right? Ghosts? Bye. Good evening, Superintendent Chalmers. Please, come in. The biryani might not be ready yet, but I just put it in the oven. Oh, that smells wonderful. Thank you for inviting me over. I'm always happy to share a good meal. My pleasure, Superintendent. Please, make yourself comfortable while I finish up the biryani. Would you like something to drink? Yeah, some water would be great, thanks. Coming right up. Please take a seat. I'll be back shortly. I can't believe I burned the biryani. Why did I put it on the stove and then forget to turn off? I'm so frustrated. I can't believe I let this happen. I should have just taken the time to read the instructions properly. I should have been more careful. I should have paid more attention. It's my own fault. Hum. I wonder if I could use the tomatoes and other vegetables I see outside in the garden to make a salsa lisano. That could be a great replacement for the burnt biryani. Let me see if I can find some onions, peppers, garlic, and limes to put together a delicious salsa liz. I need to get started right away. First, I'll go outside and gather the ingredients. Then I can mix everything together and see how it comes out. Here goes nothing. Time to get to work. I'll start off with the tomatoes. They seem like a good foundation for the salsa. Next, I'll grab the onions, peppers, and garlic. If I get everything right, the result should be wonderful. What's going on here? Why is the kitchen full of smoke? What were you doing climbing out of the window? Uh, uh... Oh, nothing. Just steaming some biryani. I'd left the stove on just a bit too long, and the steam had built up to the point that I thought it was a bit dangerous. So I had to open the window to let it out. That doesn't explain why you were trying to sneak out the window. I want the truth. I, uh, mm, was just checking to make sure the smoke wasn't coming into the hallway. I thought it might set off the fire alarm and I wanted to avoid that. Skinner, why did you bring a salsa lisano instead of biryani like we asked? Well, I thought that the salsa lisano would be a much more flavorful and exotic choice. Plus, I've heard that it is a traditional Costa Rican dish, and I wanted to give everyone a little taste of the local culture. Skinner, we asked you specifically for biryani. Is there a reason why you didn't bring that instead of the salsa lisano? Well, you see, the biryani was out of stock at the store I went to, and the salsa lisano was the closest substitute I could find. It was a tough decision, but in the end, I believe it was the right one. So you're telling me that the store you went to didn't have any biryani? What in the world is happening here? 
There's obviously a fire in this kitchen. Why are you denying it and saying it's incubus? Oh, there's no need to worry. It's just an apparition, like an incubus. It's probably just a figment of our imaginations, nothing serious to worry about. Don't worry, it will pass as soon as it came. I'd like to see this incubus for myself. Can you show it to me? No, it's invisible. I'm sure it's nothing to worry about, though. It's just a hallucination. Best to ignore it and move on. I don't care if it's an incubus or not. I want to see it for myself. I'm not leaving until you show me what this is. Thank you for lunch, Skinners. I'll be on my way now. No need to thank me, Chalmers. I'm always happy to provide lunch for a friend. Everything all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Everything's fine. Just have to get going now. Or all right then. Have a nice day. You too? Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. It smells delicious in here. What are you cooking? Chicken mull. It isn't quite ready yet, but it should be ready soon. Sounds great. What can I do to help? Thanks for offering, but I'm all set. Why don't you just have a seat and make yourself comfortable? I'll have it served up in just a few minutes. Ugh, can't believe I burned the chicken mull. What an idiot. I need to start paying more attention when I'm cooking. Now what am I going to do? I guess I can go out and get something to eat, but that's just not the same as home cooking. Yes, that looks like the perfect solution. I'll go get those karadza, chop them up, fry them up, and voila, a delicious karadza chicken mall. I'm sure this will be much better than the old chicken mall. Now if only I had some herbs and spices to really make it fabulous. Hmm? I think I have some in the pantry. Aha, perfect. Now let's get to cooking. Let's see. Add a pinch of this. A dash of that. A little of this. Now, let's give it a taste. Nom nom. This will definitely be a winner. Ah, uh, this is going to be so delicious. I can't wait to try it. What are you doing in here? And why is the room full of smoke? Why were you climbing out the window? There's no fire. Don't worry, it's just steam from all the steam chicken mull I'm cooking. I thought it would be a nice surprise for all of us. I don't believe you. Show me the pot. Now. Um, okay. Here it is. See, nothing wrong. Skier! What is this food? I thought you said you were bringing chicken mull? Well, I was going to, but I was talking to the chef and he recommended this karatsa dish instead. It's a delicacy from Sicily, said to be the favorite of Julius Caesar himself. It's a traditional dish made with eggs, cheese, and artichoke hearts simmered in a... Scare! That sounds great, but it's not chicken mull! Oh, I'm sure it will be just as satisfying. Plus, I'm sure it's healthier, so that's a bonus. But this isn't what I asked for. I want a chicken mull. Skinner, the kitchen is on fire. We need to call the fire department right now. No, that's not a fire. It must be Cherenkov radiation. Can I see it? No, it's too dangerous. We need to call the fire department. But you just said it was not a fire. Oh, well, thank you for lunch, Professor Skinner. I should go... It looks like your house is on fire. What? Oh, that's not a fire. That's just Cherenkov radiation from the lab next door. Honestly, nothing to be concerned about. Have a good day. Oh, okay. If you say so. Absolutely. Take care now. You too. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. Why, thank you, Skinner. It's nice to be here. I hope you don't mind, but I'm in the middle of making a rice cake. 
It should be ready soon. Oh, that sounds delicious. Is there anything I can do to help? No, thank you. I'm almost finished. Would you like something to drink while you wait? Uh... I can't believe I burned the rice cake. I was so looking forward to it, too. Oh, well, I guess I'll just have to make something else. Maybe I should just order... take... out instead. Um, that Parkinsonia, Florida looks like a better substitute for the burn trace cake. I'm gonna have to head outside and grab some of those flowers. Uh, let's see what tools I'll need to pick and transport the Parkinsonia, Florida back to my kitchen. Maybe a basket, a pair of scissors, and some gardening gloves. With these items, I'll be able to make a delicious replacement for the burnt wrist cake. Let's get going. I can't wait to try this out. Time to go Parkinsonia, Florida picking. Here I go. What is going on here? The whole kitchen is full of smoke. Oh, it's just a bit of steam from the steamed rice cake I'm making. It's nothing to worry about. I don't believe you. Are you trying to tell me that this is steam and not smoke? Yes, that's exactly what I'm saying. The steam from the steamed rice cake is causing the smoke, you see. So, why did you substitute Parkinsonia Florida for the rice cakes? I didn't. It's just that Parkinsonia Florida has all the nutrients of rice cakes and is beneficial for the health of the students. Plus, it's more cost-effective. That still doesn't explain why you switched out the rice cakes. Well, it's kind of a secret recipe. I've been experimenting with creating new dishes that combine both traditional and modern flavors. The Parkinsonia Florida was the perfect pairing with the other flavors in the dish. That's still not an answer. What is the real reason you switched out the rice cakes? Skinner, I know the kitchen is on fire. We need to get out of here and call the fire department. Uh, I'm afraid that's impossible. You see what you're seeing is actually telescopic sun pillars. Quite rare this time of day, but they do occur. You won't be able to see them since they are far away. But trust me, they're there. But I can see the flames and smoke. Can I see the sun pillars? No, I'm afraid that's not possible. They're far off and beyond the reach of the human eye. But we need to get out of here. We can't just stand here and pretend that there's nothing wrong. Well, thanks for lunch, Principal Skinner. I must be going now. Ah, so soon. All right. Have a nice day. Oh, and don't look at those telescopic sun pillars out there. They're harmless. Just a trick of the light. Telescopic sun pillars. Sure, I'll just keep on walking. Bye now. Bye. Oh, Principal Skinner, your house is on fire. Ah, uh, Superintendent Chalmers, so glad you could join us. Please come in. Thank you, Principal Skinner. How are you and your wife doing? We're doing fine, just fine. There may be a bit of a wait for dinner. Agnes is still in the kitchen taking care of the last-minute preparations. Can I get you a drink in the meantime? That would be lovely. What do you have? We have beer, wine, and soda. What would you like? I can't believe I burned the Gandia. I worked so hard on it and now it's ruined. What am I going to do? Well, I guess the only option is to start over. I'm sure I can make it work this time. I think I've found the perfect replacement for the burnt Gandia. I'm sure that the yoga bush outside the window will do nicely. Now all I have to do is figure out how to get it in here without anyone noticing. Let's see. I could use a ladder and some rope. Yes, that should do the trick. All I need to do is tie the rope around the yoga bush and slowly pull it in. Now I just have to be careful not to make too much noise or damage the bush. Right, here goes nothing. I think I can do this. Wow, that was close. Now, I just have to replant the yoga bush and I'm done. Here we go. Done! I think this yoga bush will do nicely as the replacement for the burnt gandia. Now I can rest easy knowing that I saved the day. What is going on here? Why is the kitchen full of smoke? 
Ah, it's just... Steam from the steamed gondia I'm making. It sometimes gets a bit smoky, but nothing to worry about. That better be true, or else I'm shutting this kitchen down. No need to do that. I have everything under control. What exactly is this food supposed to be? It's a special blend of exotic spices from the Far East. It's called Yogo. It's a secret recipe that's been passed down from generation to generation. It's a delicacy we've recently begun to import from the distant land of Gandia. This doesn't look like anything I've ever seen before. What makes it so special? It's a unique combination of herbs and spices that create a flavor like no other. The yogo is a rare treat known to tantalize the taste buds with a flavor that is truly out of this world. I see. And why did you not get the food that was requested? Skinner! I can see that the kitchen is on fire. We need to call the fire department now. No, no. It's not a fire. It's just a bunch of meteors. You don't need to worry about it. There's no need to call the fire department. Please, Skinner, I can see the fire. We need to get help now. I'm telling you, there isn't any fire. It's just a bunch of meteors. You don't need to worry about it. I'm not gonna let you call the fire department. But Skinner, the kitchen is clearly on fire. If we don't call the fire department, it could spread and cause more damage. Uh, thanks for lunch, Skinner. I really appreciate it. No problem. Anytime you're in town, you're always welcome here. Hmm, Skinner, I think your house is on fire. Nonsense. That's just a few meteors flying through the atmosphere. Nothing to worry about. No, Skinner, your house is really on fire. Look outside. Welcome, Professor Chalmers. Please come in. The Nam Frick Long Rua is cooking, but it won't be ready for another few minutes. Ah, that smells delicious. I'm looking forward to it. It's my favorite dish. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. I certainly will. I've heard about this dish for many years, and I'm excited to finally try it. It's a classic, that dish, with many different variations. I'm sure you'll love it. Oh, why did I have to be so careless? This was supposed to be a special treat for the family, and now it's ruined. If only I'd kept better track of time. I wish I could turn back time and fix this mistake. Oh, God, please give me a second chance. Please help me find a way to salvage this meal and make it right. Oh, Lord, please provide me with the solution. Give me a way to replace the Burtnum Frick Long Rua with something even better. Dippin' Dots, perhaps. Amen. Now, let me see what I can come up with. Hmm. I could try using some of my culinary skills to create a version of Dippin' Dots using some of the ingredients I have in my kitchen. I bet that would result in a unique experience that everyone would enjoy. By chance. I might even be able to find an alternative recipe that uses fewer ingredients, making it easier and cheaper to make. Then I'd be able to share this tasty treat with more people and make sure no one misses out on the unique experience of Dippin' Dots. Oh Lord, thank you for this opportunity to create something wonderful. I hope that I can deliver an amazing result that everyone will love. Amen. Let's get to work. What is going on here, and why is the kitchen filled with smoke? Is something on fire? No, no. It's just steam from the steamed Nam Frick Long Rua I'm making. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to cause a disturbance. Show me. Put the fire out and let me see what you're cooking. Yes, sir. Right away. Skinner, why did you bring Dippin' Dots instead of Nam Frick Long Rua? Well, I had heard some reports that Nam Frick Long Ruea had become a bit stringy and tough. On top of that, I figured Dippin' Dots would be a great opportunity to introduce a modern twist on a classic dish. 
I'm sorry, Skinner, but I think you're lying to me. What's the real reason? Well, I may have made a mistake at a nearby restaurant where I was picking up the order. The staff must have mixed up the orders and gave me dip and dots instead of Nam Frick Long Rua. I was going to tell you the truth, but figured I'd spare you an embarrassing mix. Listen, Skinner. I appreciate your attempt to save face, but I think it's important that you own up to your mistake. How about we try to get the restaurant to make the correct order this time? What is that noise I hear? Oh, that's just the kettle boiling on the stove. Nothing to worry about. Then why is there smoke coming from the kitchen? Oh, that must just be a geyser. Nothing to be concerned about. Can I see the geyser? That was quite a lunch, Skinner. Thank you for your hospitality. I should be getting back to work now. Oh, no problem. Let me know if you need anything else. Right. Well, I think that's all I need. Good day. Good day to you, too. Have a pleasant day. You, too. Oh, and Skinner. The house is burning down. Uh, Superintendent Chalmers, welcome to my humble abode. Please do come in. Thank you, Principal Skinner. It smells wonderful in here. What are you making? It's my grandmother's recipe for guoba. I hope you'll enjoy it. I'm sure I will. Is it ready yet? Not quite. It's still simmering away on the stove. I just need to finish up a few more touches before it is ready. It should be done in about 15 minutes. What a mess. How could I have been so careless? I should have remembered to keep an eye on the Globa. Now I have to start all over again. Maybe I should call my mom. She'll know what to do. I can be creative and figure out how to use this outside object to replace the burnt Goba with a vacuum fryer. I'm sure I can come up with an idea if I just give it some thought. Let's see, what do I have to work with here? Hmm? Maybe I could use the window panes to make a frame for the vacuum fryer. That could work. Yes, I think it will. Now to figure out how to get the vacuum fryer into the frame. I could use some of the tools from the kitchen to construct a makeshift pulley system to construct a makeshift pulley system to raise the fryer into place. That should do the trick. Now let's see if I can get this working. Okay, looks like it's working. Now I just need to get the vacuum fryer plugged in and see if it works. Here goes nothing. What are you doing in here? And why is the kitchen full of smoke? Oh, this. It's just steam from the steamed goba I'm making. Don't worry, it's not a fire. Don't try to pull the wool over my eyes, Skinner. Something is definitely going on here. I think you need to come clean and explain what you've been up to. All right, all right. I was making some roast beef, but I think I left it in the oven too long and it caught fire. I was trying to put it out with a towel when you came in. Skinner, this isn't Guoba. What is it? Why, this is the latest technological breakthrough in cuisine. It's a vacuum fryer. It uses a revolutionary process that cooks the food at an incredibly low temperature. The result is a light and crisp texture like nothing you've ever tasted before. And what happened to the goba? Oh, well, uh, you see, we had a bit of a mix-up in the kitchen. Unfortunately, the goba didn't make it, and so we had to substitute it with this amazing new dish. <laughs> I'm sure you'll love it. Um, I see. Skinner! The kitchen is on fire! No, no, no. It's just levitation. Don't worry. I want to see it for myself, can I? No, I don't think that's a good idea. Trust me, it's just levitation. I'm not sure I believe you. I want to see it. Goodbye, Professor Skinner. And thank you for lunch. My pleasure, Chalmers. Don't forget, no matter what. I'll always be here, pretending it's levitation. Thanks. No problem. Now go out there and save the day. Will do.
Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Come on in, won't you? No need to stand out there in the rain. Thank you, Principal Skinner. It's good to see you again. Likewise. Dinner is almost ready, though. Why don't you have a seat and wait while I finish things up in the kitchen? I'm cooking some speckled tucson take too long, so it shouldn't take too long. Ah, wonderful. That sounds delicious. I look forward to it. Thank you. Make yourself comfortable and I'll be with you in a few minutes. I can't believe I burned the speckled trout. It was the star of the meal. What am I going to do now? I've got to think of something quick. What can I substitute for the trout? Um, the outside world has a lot of possibilities. Maybe I can find an alternative to that burnt speckled trout. Bree, now that's a great idea. Imagine how delicious that would be. I need to find some Bree somewhere. Where can I get Bree? If I have to drive somewhere, I better check my route first. I better go online and look up a grocery store. I'd better hurry. Time is ticking away. I can do this. I'm sure I can find some brie before dinner. Okay, here I go. What is going on here? Why is the kitchen full of smoke, Skinner? Oh, hi, Principal Chalmers. It's nothing, just some kind of steam coming off the stove. Maybe the vents aren't working properly. I'm just trying to figure it out. What do you mean, figure it out? This kitchen is full of smoke. It's on fire. How long has this been going on for? Uh, no, that's not what I meant. I mean, I'm trying to figure out why there's so much steam in here. I don't think it's a fire. Yeah, why is this? This isn't speckled trout. Yes, it is. It's the latest variety of speckled trout. It's a new breed of trout that the fish farmers have been working on. They call it the Brie Trout. It's the perfect combination of a Brie cheese flavor and a trout flavor. And a trout flavor. That's impossible. Trout don't taste like brie cheese. Ah, uh, but this one does. They've perfected a new technique that not only makes this type of trout taste like brie cheese, but also gives it a unique trout-like texture. That's still not possible. I don't believe you. Are you telling me the truth? Scarer. The kitchen is on fire. Don't you see the flames and smoke? We have to get out of here. No, I don't believe it's a fire. I think it's something more like suspended animation. There's no reason to panic. Let's just wait and see what happens. No, Skinner. There is definitely a fire. We have to get out of here right now. No, Chalmers. I refuse to believe that. Suspended animation is a much more likely explanation. Skinner, this is no time to argue. We need to get out of here. Hey, Skinner, your house is on fire. You need to get out of there now. What are you talking about? That's just the heaters running. Everything's perfectly normal. You don't need to worry about a thing. No, Skinner, it's not. It's a fire. Please come with me now. It's not safe to stay here. Oh, I'm sure it's just a false alarm. Let's just sit tight for a bit, all right? I'm sure it'll all be okay. No, Skinner, it's a real fire. You need to leave now. Please, come with me. Ah, uh, Superintendent Chalmers, welcome. Please come in. Thank you. Good to see you, Skinner. Do you smell that? Mrs. Croker's fabulous Kalatsunia is cooking in the kitchen. Should be ready shortly. Ah, yes. I remember her Kalitsunia from last time. Can't wait to have some more. It'll be worth the wait, I'm sure. Please have a seat and I'll pour us some drinks while we wait. Damn it, I did it again. Damn that stupid Kalitsunia. Why did I even bother trying to make it? I should have known better. I'm such an idiot. Ah, what's the use? I'll never get it right. Damn it. I know what I'll do. I'll scour the neighborhood for some Barkham Blue. Maybe an abandoned building or a scrapyard. That should do the trick. Then I'll get to work and make some replacements for these burnt Calitsonia. No one will know the difference. 
Fornio, no one will know the difference. Right then, no more procrastinating. I'm off to go find some Barkham Blue. This better work, or I'm gonna be in a whole lot of trouble. Here goes nothing. Wish me luck. What is going on in here, and why is the kitchen full of smoke? Oh, nothing to worry about. It's just steam from the steamed kalitsunia I'm cooking. It's a Greek dish I'm experimenting with. I'm sure it'll be delicious. I don't believe you. What's really going on? Okay, okay, I'll admit it. I was trying to make a grilled cheese sandwich, but I got a bit carried away and things got a little out of control. I guess I should have used the stove instead of the toaster. Skinner, I distinctly asked for Kalitsunya. What is this, Barkham Blue? Ah, yes. Kalitsunya had to be rebranded for the American market. We decided to make the switch to something a little more familiar. This is the newest evolution of Kalitsunya, the Barkham Blue. It's the same great taste you love, just with a fun new name. I see. So why do some of the packages still say Kalitsunia on them? Well, uh, that's because we're in the process of phasing out the old brand name and transitioning to the new one. And as you can see, the new Barkham Blue is already popular amongst our customers. Are you sure you aren't just trying to pull one over on me, Skinner? I know a bait and switch when I see one. Skinner, the kitchen is on fire. We need to do something about it. Meteor showers, Chalmers. It's just meteor showers. There's no fire. Skinner, I need to see the kitchen to be sure. Let me go check it out. No, Chalmers. You don't need to see the kitchen. I'm telling you, it's just meteor showers. Let's go somewhere else for now. Skinner! I really think we should go to the kitchen and figure out what's going on. Please let me go. Thanks for lunch, Principal Skinner. I should be going now. No problem. Oh, it's a beautiful day outside. Must be meteor showers tonight, huh? Oh, yeah. Meteor shower, right? So, yeah. Goodbye. Uh, is everything all right here? I thought I heard something. So, what brings you by today, Chalmers? I just wanted to drop by and check on the bonito. They said it wasn't ready yet. That's right. It still needs a little bit of time. I'll go ahead and start it off while you talk. Thanks. I appreciate it. No problem. Why did I burn the bonito? I always know how to cook, and now I've ruined everything. I don't know why, but I just can't seem to get the timing right. God. I need your help. I see a heart outside the window. I think it will help me replace the burnt bonito with a heart. Would you help me, please? Uh, I'm asking for your help, God. I believe that you can help me replace the burnt bonito with a heart. Thank you, God. I know that you can help me. I'll try to be careful. Thank you, God. I know that you're with me. Skinner, what's going on here? I'm not sure. It smells like there's something burning. The kitchen's on fire. Get out. How can the kitchen be on fire when there's no fire in it? Skinner, why did you give me heart instead of bonito? I don't know. I just felt like it. That's not answer, Skinner. Come on, tell me the truth. Okay, okay. I swapped the food because I was jealous of you and wanted to make you miserable. Jealous of me? Why would you be jealous of me, Skinner? Skinner, we've got a kitchen on fire. No, no, no. It's not on fire. It's just got a little bit of smoke in it from the oven being on. Skinner, the kitchen is on fire. No, it's not. I just don't see the smoke. Skinner! The kitchen is on fire. Skinner, I'm starving. You gonna eat with me? No, I have to get back to the house. Thanks for lunch. Yeah, 
No problem. I'll see you later. Later. Ah, uh, Superintendent Chalmers. Welcome, welcome, come in. My delectable dipterus is cooking, but it's not quite ready yet. Ah, well, that's all right. It smells wonderful. I'd love to take a look around if that's not too much trouble. No trouble at all. Please, make yourself at home. I'll be back in a moment with some refreshments. Thank you, I'd appreciate that. I'm looking forward to trying your dipterus. It's my pleasure. I'm sure you won't be disappointed. Oh, God. Why did this have to happen? I was so looking forward to having this dipteries, but now I've ruined it. How could I be so careless and let this happen, devil? Why do these bad things always happen to me? Maybe I should just give up. What's the point in trying anything if things just don't turn out the way I want them to? Ah, what luck. This looks like a perfect specimen of the Caprino di Malga del El Alfi Maritime. With a bit of luck, it might just be able to replace the burnt dipteries and thus restore the balance of our ecosystem. Now all I need to do... <sighs> Devil, do you think I should try digging it up and transplanting it here? Or perhaps I should just take some of the spores and propagate it in a different location? I know what I need to do. I'll take a little of both options. That should ensure our ecosystem stays balanced. Okay, devils, I'm off. Wish me luck. Thanks. Now let's get to it. Why is the kitchen full of smoke? What have you been doing in here? Oh, nothing. Just making some steam dipterous. It must be the steam creating the smoke. That doesn't make any sense. The kitchen is on fire, isn't it? Admit it? No, no, it's just steam. I swear. Skinner, why did you bring us Caprino di Malga del Alpi Maritime instead of Dipterus? Well, I was running some errands for the school, and I had to take a detour through the nearby Alpi Maritime Mountains. It turns out they had an amazing cheese shop which only sold this incredibly rare Caprino di Malga cheese. I thought it would be a shame to pass up the opportunity. That's a rather elaborate excuse. Are you sure that's the truth? Absolutely. I wouldn't make something like this up. I always strive for the highest levels of integrity and honesty. Very well. I'll take your word for it. Let's enjoy this unique cheese treat. There's definitely a fire in the kitchen. No, that's just the Queensland tiger. It's harmless. Nothing to be concerned about. I'd like to see this Queensland tiger. Where is it? No, it's nothing to worry about. We've been able to contain it. That doesn't make sense. If it's harmless, why can't I see it? Thank you so much for lunch, Skinner. I should be heading out now. No need to rush. It's going to be a while before the Queensland Tiger arrives. Queensland Tiger? What's that? Oh, uh, nothing. Just an old folk tale. Have a good day now. Oh, okay. Well, have a good day, too. Hello, Chalmers. Did you have a pleasant drive in? Yes, thank you. The langoust is quite delicious. I'm glad you like it. Would you like to take a seat? Yes, thank you. I'll get it for you. What the heck was I thinking? I didn't even double check to make sure the langoust was cooked. Why did it have to be the langoust? It's just a waste of perfectly good seafood. Please, God, I'll do anything. I'll even eat matzah. Please let me find a replacement for the burnt langoust egg. Aha! I see a bakery down the street. I'll go there and buy some matzah. Thank you, God. I'm finally home. I bought some matzah. Thank you, God. I've finally replaced the burnt langoust with matzah. Thank you, God. I'm finally happy. 
Thank you, God. Skinner, what is going on? Chalmers, I assure you there is no fire. It's just steam. Skinner, I'm gonna call the fire department. There is no need for that, Chalmers. Just ignore it. Skinner, what's going on? I don't know what you're talking about. Don't lie to me, Skinner. I'm not lying. I just swapped the Langusta for some matzah. That's not possible, Skinner. The langust was right here when I came in. Skinner, the kitchen is on fire. Really? I didn't notice. Don't lie to me. The whole place is on fire. Well, maybe there's just a little fire. The whole place is on fire, Skinner. Now tell me what's going on. Skinner, thanks so much for lunch. No problem, Chalmers. Wait, what the hell? I'm sorry, Chalmers. The house is on fire and I have to leave. Wait, what? What are you talking about? Boss, it's great to see you. Please come in. Thank you, Skinner. It's good to be here. I hope you're hungry. I made your favorite steamed currant. It smells delicious. I can't wait to try it. I'm just gonna check on the food. I'll be right back. Uh... I burned the current. What am I gonna do? Chalmers is gonna know I'm a fraud. He's gonna fire me. I'm gonna be homeless. Oh God, please help me. I know, I'll just tell him the truth. He's a reasonable man, he'll understand. That's it. I'll just tell him the food was burnt and I went out to get something else. He'll never know. But what if he does? I'll just say I got it from the store. Yes, that's it. I'll say I got it from the store. But what if he knows I didn't? I'll just say I made it myself. Yes, that's it. I'll say I made it myself. But what if he knows I didn't? I'll just say I found it. Yes, that's it. I'll say I found it. But what if he knows I didn't? I'll just tell him the truth. He's a reasonable man. He'll understand. What is going on in here? Why is there so much smoke? I was just, um, cooking your favorite food, boss. Steamed current. It smells like something is burning. No, no. It's just the, um, the current. It's, uh, uh, um, a bit burnt, but it's still edible. Skinner, this is not current. Yes, it is. I, um, I got it from the store. The store doesn't sell current. They, um, they must have been out of current, so I, um, I got hot across the bun instead. Skinner, this is not current. The kitchen is on fire. No, no. It's just, the uh, um, the current. It's, uh, um, a bit burnt, but it's still edible. The kitchen is on fire! No, no. I, um, I found it. It was, um, it was already on fire when I got here. The kitchen is on fire! I have to go! Thank you for lunch, Skinner! You're welcome, boss. Anytime. The kitchen is on fire! No, no. I, um, I made it myself. It's, um, it's supposed to be burnt. The kitchen is on fire. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. I was just about to finish cooking up the lattice. Thank you, Skinner. It sure smells good. What were you making? I was making a lattice pie. It's a type of pie made with a crisscross pattern of dough, usually filled with a sweet or savory filling. Interesting. It smells really delicious. Is it almost done? Yep, just a few more minutes and it should be ready. Would you like to stay and have a slice? I'm sure it will be worth the wait. Ah. Uh... I can't believe I did that. I was so busy with the pie that I just burned it. It's okay, I can do this. I just need to focus and get this pie done in time for dinner. That's it. 
I can use those old boards from the shed to build a new lattice frame for my pizzette. First, I'll need to measure the size of the window and cut the boards to fit. Then I'll have to attach the boards together and secure them in place. Once I'm done, I'll have a nice lattice frame to support my pizzette and keep it safe from the elements. This might take some time, but it'll be worth it in the end. Now, time to get to work. What is going on here and why is it full of smoke? It's just steam from the oven. I'm making a steam lattice pie. Nothing to worry about here. Don't lie to me, Skinner. I can see the kitchen is on fire. What happened? Oh, uh, I was just experimenting with some new cooking techniques, and obviously I went a bit too far. What is this? I asked for lattice. Uh, this is the special lattice pizzette. A hybrid of the classic lattice and pizzette. It's the newest offering from the chef here at Springfield Elementary. You won't find it anywhere else. I highly doubt that. I think you just wanted to switch it up, yet you denied it. So why did you make this substitution? I don't know what you're talking about. This is what I was instructed to bring from the cafeteria. I'm just following orders. But I don't believe you. Is there something else you're not telling me? Mr. Skinner, I think something's wrong. Can you please show me what's happening? I'm sorry, Professor. It's just levitation. I'm sure you understand that we can't witness the process in its full glory. Levitation? Are you certain there's no fire? Yes, I'm absolutely certain. It's just levitation. Well, can I see it for myself? Oh my god, the house is burning down! We need to get out of here. Don't be silly. There is no fire. It's simply an act of levitation. I can see and smell the smoke. We have to get out of here. No, no, you must be mistaken. There's nothing to worry about. Now come, let's go have lunch. But the house is on fire. We have to act now. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. Thank you, Principal Skinner. It smells like something delicious is cooking. Yeah, I'm making a traditional sapodilla stew. It's not quite ready yet, but it won't be long. Well, that sounds delightful. I can't wait to try it. It will be worth the wait. Have a seat and make yourself comfortable while we wait for the stew to finish cooking. Uh, uh, I can't believe I did that. What a mess I've made. I can't believe I let this happen. I should have been more careful. I guess I'll just have to start again. I better be more careful this time. Ah, uh, ah, uh, I think I see the answer. By alleys. Maybe I can use by alleys instead of the burnt sapodilla. I just need to figure out how to get them into the recipe. I need to find a way to make bialis that will taste good and fit the recipe. But how? I'll need to do some research and experimentation to make sure I get the best results. I can do this. With a little bit of creativity, I'm sure I can make something delicious. It's time to get started. What is going on here? Why is the kitchen full of smoke? Oh, this is nothing to worry about. It's just some steam from the soup I'm making. You expect me to believe that? It looks like you have a fire going on here. No, 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 no. It's just steam, I promise. Mr. Skinner, why did you bring back a Biolistoker instead of a Sapodilla? Oh, that's easy. I'm sure you've heard of the Sapodilla. Biolistoker Exchange Program. It's a new initiative from the grocery store to give us all a chance to try something new. I thought surely you of all people would appreciate that. I, I'm not sure I understand. Are you telling me that the grocery store asked you to bring a Biolistoker instead of a Sapodella? Well, not exactly. The store had a promotion where they gave a free Biolistoker for every Sapodella purchased. When I saw the opportunity, I thought it would be a good chance to try something new, so I took it. That explanation doesn't make a lot of sense. 
Are you sure that's the reason you brought a Bialystoker instead of a Sapodilla? Steer! The kitchen is on fire! We have to get out immediately! No, no, it's just a slight heat wave. Nothing to worry about. Skinner, the smoke and flames are very real. We have to leave now. No, 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 it's just a little steam from the stove. I'm sure it'll burn off soon. Skinner, we have to go. It's not safe in here. Thanks for the lunch, Principal Skinner. I should be going now, but I hope everything turns out all right with the house. Bye. No problem. Good luck. Thank you. Oh, wait. Here, take this fire extinguisher, just in case. Oh, wow! Wow! Thank you. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. Thank you, Principal Skinner. Is that the smell of Yakiniku I smell? You have a good nose. Yes, it is. It should be ready to serve in about 20 minutes. Can I offer you something to drink in the meantime? That would be lovely. Do you have some cold beer or a cup of tea? We certainly do. We have beer, tea, and a variety of other cold beverages. Would you like to try something new? Damn it. Why did I have to be so careless? What a waste of food. I've been so distracted lately I can't seem to focus on anything. I need to get my act together and stop being so forgetful. I should probably just order delivery. Oh well, live and learn. I think that old sled might be just the thing I need to get a new shipment of Lapland in here. It looks to still be in decent condition. I'll need to take a closer look to be sure. But first, let's see if I can't get this burnt Yakiniku cleaned up a bit. That way I won't have to replace it. Let's see. Maybe I should sweep it up and then wash it down with some dish soap. That should do the trick. All right, now let's head outside and see if that sled really can be salvaged. Let's do this. Skinner, what on earth are you doing and why is there so much smoke in here? Is something on fire? No, sir, nothing is on fire. It's just steam from the steamed yakiniku I'm making for dinner. It's nothing to worry about. Steam doesn't usually produce that much smoke. I'm going to take a closer look to see what's going on. No, please don't. Everything is under control, I swear. Please don't go snooping around. I'm sure it's nothing. Skinner? Why did you bring Lapland instead of Yakiniku? Something doesn't seem right here. Oh, I'm so sorry, Dr. Chalmers. I wanted to bring Yakiniku, but... The restaurant was out of it, so I had to make a quick substitution. In fact, Lapland is a traditional dish from my home country, and I thought it would be a nice surprise for everyone. But you said you had Yakiniku. Yes, I did say that. I'm sorry, I was so excited to bring something special that I just got carried away. I should have been more clear. Please accept my humble apologies. Okay, I suppose that makes sense. As long as it tastes good. Mr. Skinner, your kitchen is on fire. We have to do something. It's just a will. Oh, the worry. It won't hurt you. Why don't we just leave it be? I don't believe you. Please, let me see it for myself. No, I'm telling you it's nothing to worry about. Come, let's just go somewhere else and pretend this never happened. That won't do. I need to see it for myself. Please let me investigate. Well, thank you for lunch, Principal Skinner. I really must be going now. I have a lot of work to do. All right. Drive safely. Oh, and by the way, uh, there is no fire here, just some will. Oh, wisp. Don't worry about it. Oh, okay. Bye then. Goodbye, Chalmers. Bye. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please do come in. I was just about to start making dinner, so if you'll excuse the mess, you won't have to wait too long for your salsify. 
Oh, thank you for having me over, Principal Skinner. It smells delicious in here. Is there anything I can do to help? That's kind of you, but no, I have everything under control. Please, make yourself comfortable while I finish cooking. Very well, then. I'll just chat with you while you finish up. Sounds good. What would you like to talk about? Oh, how could I be so careless? Now I've ruined my perfectly cooked salsify. Oh, well, I guess I'll just have to start all over again. I'll have to be more careful next time. Uh, at least I still have some bacon from earlier. That will make a nice side dish. Right? Garlic bread it is. Now let's see what we can do. Mmm. I think I can use some of the herbs outside to make a garlic butter spread. Maybe if I mix it with some olive oil, it'll do the trick. Okay, now all I need is some garlic and a good loaf of bread. I think I spotted a bakery down the street, so let's go get that garlic bread. Ah, this is gonna be perfect. I can hardly wait to try it. Here goes nothing. Ah, delicious. I think this garlic bread is even better than the burnt salsify. Time to enjoy my incredible creation. What is going on here? The kitchen is filled with smoke. It's just steam, sir. I was making tea. Tea doesn't make smoke like that. Tell me the truth, is there a fire? No, sir, I promise. I was boiling water for tea and that's all. Skinner, why don't you just tell us why you switched the food? Well, you see, I was approached by a mysterious benefactor who offered to trade me garlic bread for salsify. It seemed like a great deal, so I couldn't turn it down. That's a strange story, Skinner. Are you sure that's what happened? Yes, of course. I mean, it was an offer I couldn't refuse. He said he'd give me a great deal so I wouldn't have to worry about paying for Salesify ever again. So I took it. That's quite a story. Do you have any proof of this mysterious benefactor? Scare. The kitchen's on fire. We need to call the fire department and get out of here. Chalmers, that's not a fire. It's just sprites. Don't you see them? They're dancing around the stove like fairies. Skinner, it's definitely a fire. We have to get out of here now and call for help. No, 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 Chalmers. You're seeing things. It's just sprites. I'm sure it will be gone soon. Skinner, you can't deny the reality of what's happening. We need to act now before it's too late. Ah, that was a pleasant lunch. Thank you, Principal Skinner. I should be going now, but I think I can smell something burning. Oh, you must be smelling the sprites we cooked up for lunch. Delicious, aren't they? Sprites? No, I'm pretty sure it's a fire. I think your house might be burning down. Oh, I'm sure it's nothing. Don't worry about it. Well, if you're sure, I'll be on my way. Goodbye. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. So glad you could make it. Thank you, Principal Skinner. The aroma coming from your kitchen smells delicious. Uh, I'm making my special Vietnamese-style fried rice. It's not quite done yet, but it should be ready soon. I, I, I can't wait to try it. Is there anything I can do to help? No need. I have everything under control. Please have a seat and make yourself comfortable. Can I get you something to drink? What have I done? I can't believe I messed up so badly. I was just trying to learn the language, and now I've ruined it. I need to think of a way to fix this. Maybe I can ask for help from someone who speaks Vietnamese. Or maybe there are some language learning resources online I can use to help me relearn the language. Uh, I think the solution is to use a dictionary to look up words in the Bicerin language and then translate them into Vietnamese. That way I can find the equivalents of each word and replace them in the text. I just need to find a good Bicerin Vietnamese dictionary. 
I can look online for one or even ask someone in the Vietnamese community for help. That's probably the best way to go. Right, time to start my search. First, I'll look for Bissarin. Vietnamese dictionaries online. Let's see what I can find. Ah, here's one. Now let's get to work. What is going on here? It looks like a fire and it smells like burning. What is going on? Nothing, sir. Just some steamed Vietnamese language I'm working on. I'll believe you. Have you been smoking in here? Get that fire out of here. It's not a fire, sir. It's just some steam from the steamed Vietnamese language I'm making. It's completely harmless. Skinner, what is this? This is not Vietnamese food. Ah, uh, well, you see, it's an ancient Vietnamese delicacy only reserved for the most important and distinguished guests. This bicerin is a rare exotic treat from a far-off land. It's an absolute delicacy that cannot be found anywhere else. I'm sure you'll love it. Skinner, I don't think this is real Vietnamese food. No, no, it is. I assure you, this is a very special traditional dish made with the finest ingredients. It's a delicacy that will leave you wanting more. You won't be disappointed. Skinner, I'm not sure I believe you. What is going on here, Skinner? Is there a fire in the kitchen? No, sir. It's just ghosts. I didn't want to alarm you. I'm not afraid of ghosts, Skinner. Let me see what's happening in the kitchen. Ah. Uh. No, sir. It's too dangerous right now. Why don't you go back to your office and let me figure out what's going on? I'm not leaving until I see the kitchen. Let me in so I can assess the situation. That's strange. Yeah, I, I should be getting going. I'll see you around, Skinner. Oh, it was my pleasure. I hope you'll come back soon. Remember, no matter what, don't believe the ghosts. Um, okay. Thanks. Bye. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please, come right in. Thanks, Principal Skinner. Ah, I see. See, you have a delicious smell in the air. What are you cooking? Yeah, it's a little surprise I've been working on. All I can tell you is that it's a combination of something sweet and something sweet and something savory. I'm afraid it's not quite ready yet, but I promise it will be delicious when it's done. I look forward to it. I'm sure it will be fantastic. Thank you. In the meantime, please make yourself comfortable. Oh no, I've really done it this time. How could I be so careless? I'm such an idiot. I should have been more careful. This is exactly why I don't cook. What am I gonna do now? I've ruined everything. Uh, ha. That aloxalon tree looks just right for replacing the diospyros. I think I can manage to transplant it here and get the garden back to its former glory. Let's get going then. I'll need to dig up the roots, bring in some compost and fertilizer, and get to transplanting. Time to get to work. This might be a bit of a challenge, but I'm sure I can do it. Here we go. Skinner, what on earth are you doing in here? What is all this smoke? And why are you climbing out the window? Tell me the truth. It's not smoke, Principal Chalmers. It's just steam from the steamed diaspiros I'm making. I was just getting some fresh air. You expect me to believe that? This kitchen is on fire. I can see it. No, it's not. Okay, well, maybe there's a small fire, but it's nothing to worry about. I can handle it. Skinner, why did you bring this food instead of diaspiros? It's a special request from the student body. They requested a new and exciting cuisine, so I asked the cafeteria staff to provide a unique dish for our students. Is that really true? Of course it is. Aloxalon is an ancient, rare vegetable that is virtually unknown by modern chefs. It has a unique flavor that the students are sure to love. It's a great way to introduce them to something new and exciting. I see. 
And what if the students don't like it? What then? Skitter, the kitchen is on fire. We have to do something. It's not a fire, Chalmers. It's a leprechaun. I'm sure we can get it taken care of if we remain calm. A leprechaun? Can I see it? No, of course not. It's a leprechaun. They're known to be quite elusive. I don't think a leprechaun is responsible for the kitchen being on fire. We need to take action now. Thanks for lunch. I really must be on my way. I don't want to linger here any more than I have to. Oh, don't be in such a hurry. It seems a shame to have to cut our lunch short. Look, there's a leprechaun over there. Maybe you should go and talk to it. Uh, no thanks. I think I'll be going now. Suit yourself. Have a nice day. You too. Ah, oh, Superintendent Chalmers. Welcome to my humble abode. Come in, come in. Thank you, Principal Skinner. The Duros is nearly ready. Apologies for keeping you waiting. No worries. I'm glad to be here. The aroma of the Duros is delicious. It's my special recipe. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. Please make yourself comfortable while I check on it. Uh... I can't believe I burned the Duros. How am I going to explain this to my family? I was so excited to make this dish, too. Now I've spoiled it. I guess I'll have to make something else. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. I can always try again. There's no use worrying about it now. I'm sure I'll figure something out. Aha! Uh -huh. I've got it. The post cereals should be just the thing to fix this burnt duro situation. All I have to do is figure out how to get some from the store. <sighs> I could try asking around to see if someone can help me out. Or maybe I could just buy some online. Let's see. I could go to the store myself, but that could take a while. I could call a delivery service if I knew the address. That could be faster. Or maybe I could use a coupon to get a discount. Okay, I think I've got it. I'm gonna try and get the post cereals online and see if that works. It should save me some time and money. Here I go. What are you doing in here and why is this place so full of smoke? Why were you climbing out the window? Um... I was just making some steam duros, and the steam created a lot of smoke. That's why I was climbing out the window. I was just trying to get some fresh air. Don't lie to me, Skinner. There's a fire in this kitchen, and you know it. I want the truth. Okay, okay. I accidentally started a fire while I was cooking, and I was trying to put it out. That's why I was climbing out the window. I distinctly heard you say duros. Did you forget to get the correct food, or are you deliberately trying to deceive me? No, no. I never said duros. This is a regional expression, post cereals. I thought you would recognize it. It's a very popular breakfast food here in the area. That doesn't explain why you said duros then. Is there something else you're not telling me? No, no, of course not. I just thought it would be a nice surprise. I'm sorry if I misled you. I'm not sure I believe you. Tell me the truth. Why did you switch the food? Skinner! The kitchen is on fire! We need to get out of here right now! No, no, it's just a megalodon. You don't need to worry. There's nothing to see here. I don't believe you. I want to see the megalodon. Let me go take a look. No, there's no need to do that. It's just a megalodon. There's nothing to see. Skinner, I'm not going to take your word for it. I'm going in there to see for myself. Let me go. Thanks for lunch, Skinner. I really have to be going now. Ah, I think your house is on fire. What? No, no, no. That must be the old megalodon not put in the fireplace to keep us warm. No need to worry. Ah, yeah, okay. Well, er, 
Bye then. Bye now, Chalmers. Have a safe trip. Thanks. See you later. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. The aroma era of dinner is in the air, but it's not ready yet. Thank you, Principal Skinner. It smells delicious. Tell me, what are we having? Tonight I've prepared us a savory stuffed pork loin with mashed potatoes and sautéed Brussels sprouts. My favorite. I can hardly wait. Me too. Shall we have a drink to pass the time until dinner is ready? Damn it. How could I be so stupid? I can't believe I burned the Osmaria. This food was going to be so good, and now it's ruined. I'm such an idiot. This really sucks. Why did I mess this up? It doesn't even matter. It's gone now. I guess I just have to accept it and move on. Damn it, I knew I should have brought more Bordeaux wine. What a dumb mistake. That burnt Osmaria is definitely not going to cut it now. Uh, well, I guess I'm just going to have to figure out a way to get some Bordeaux. Wait a minute. Is that a wine shop across the street? Yes. I think that's my answer. Let's go get some Bordeaux. Oh, thank goodness. I'm saved, all right? Let's get going. Right. I'm off to go get some Bordeaux. Here I come, Bordeaux. What are you doing? Why is the kitchen full of smoke? Why were you climbing out the window? Oh, I... Uh, I was just making some steamed osmaria, and... Uh, the steam must have created a lot of smoke. That's all. Nothing to worry about here. Just a little kitchen mishap. I don't believe you. What are you not telling me? I, um... I was experimenting with a new recipe, and it didn't go quite as planned. I guess the kitchen got a bit smoky. But there's no need to worry. I'll have it all cleared up in no time. Skinner, you can't expect me to believe that Bordeaux wine is a regional expression for Osmaria. What is really going on here? Okay, you caught me. The truth is I had to switch out the Osmaria because I couldn't find any. I was going to tell you, but I didn't want to disappoint you. I thought if I gave you something of the same caliber, you wouldn't mind. I apologize for not being honest. Apology accepted, but next time, just be up front with me from the start. Yes, sir. I'll make sure to do that. Good. Now let's enjoy this delicious Bordeaux wine. Skinner, what's going on in here? It smells like there's a fire. Oh, no, nothing of the sort. It's just a succubus. Nothing to worry about. Can I see it? No, that's not necessary. Just trust me, there's no fire. It's just a succubus. But why does it smell like there's a fire? Thanks so much for lunch, Principal Skinner. I better be going now. It's getting late. Oh, so soon. All right, then. I'll just see myself out. Goodbye now. Wait. Is that smoke? Oh, it must be Succubus. She's a demon that lives in the school basement, and sometimes she sets things on fire. Don't worry, she is harmless. Ah, uh, okay then. Well, goodbye. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. The beer worst is not quite ready yet, but I'm sure it won't be too long. Thank you, Principal Skinner. It smells delicious in here. I'm looking forward to trying it. Yes, it's one of my favorite recipes. I hope you enjoy it. Can I get you something to drink while you wait? A cup of coffee would be great, thank you. Of course, I'll be right back. Oh, no. I can't believe I did this. I was so looking forward to that beer worst. What a waste of good ingredients. Now I guess I'm stuck with grilled cheese for dinner. Great. 
What am I gonna do with all this burnt food now? I better clean up quickly before it's too late. Um... I know... Jatty Pathiri is a dish from Kerala, India, and I'm sure the ingredients are all around. I just need to figure out how to put it together. There's some coconut, I can see that. Maybe I'll pick up some rice and some eggs at the store, maybe some... Curry leaves and dried chilies, too. Maybe I can even find a recipe online. This just might work. I'll go shopping tomorrow and give it a try. Hopefully it turns out delicious. Fingers crossed. Time to get back to work. What is going on here? Why is the kitchen filled with smoke? It's just steam, sir. I'm steaming a beer worst. It's a culinary tradition. Are you sure that's all it is? The smoke smells like something is burning. Uh... No, sir. Nothing is burning. It's just steam from the beer worst. I'm almost finished with it. What's going on here? Why is this not beer worst? I, I know you wanted beer worst, but my supplier had a last-minute change of heart and decided to give us Chatty Pathiri instead. He told me it was a special limited edition batch. I thought it would make for a unique dining experience. That's a pretty convenient story. Are you sure that's the truth? Yes, absolutely. This is the real deal, I promise. My supplier only makes this special treat a couple of times a year, so I thought it would be a special surprise for our customers. Hmm. That still doesn't explain why you didn't tell me about the change in advance. What's going on in the kitchen? It smells like smoke. Um. Oh, that's just the water spouts. Nothing to worry about. I'll take care of it. I'd like to take a look for myself. No, there's no need for that. I assure you, everything is under control. I insist on seeing it for myself. Well, thanks for lunch, Professor Skinner. I better be going now. There's an emergency at my office. Oh, really? That's too bad. Well, I hope everything turns out all right. Yeah, thank you. Goodbye, Professor Skinner. Goodbye, Mr. Chalmers. And, uh, don't worry about the fire. It's just a few water spouts due to the high humidity today. Nothing to worry about. All right, bye now. Good evening, Superintendent Chalmers. Welcome to my humble abode. Please, come in. Thank you, Skinner. It's nice to be here. It's almost ready. The Rucola will be done in just a few minutes. Can I get you a drink in the meantime? Yeah, that would be lovely. What do you have? I have some refreshing white wine or a delicious craft beer. What would you like? How could I be so careless? I worked so hard on this dish and it's ruined. Uh, I guess I'll have to start over. Yeah, that's... that's it. I can use the sausage meat in the window to replace the burnt tricola. Time to get cooking. Now where do I begin? Hmm, let's start by breaking up the sausage meat into small pieces. Now all I need to do is mix it with the other ingredients. Form it into patties and fry them. What? Uh, now I have perfect sausage patties to replace the burnt trocola. Skinner, what is going on in here? The kitchen is full of smoke. Oh, it's just steam from the steamed trocola I'm cooking. Nothing to be concerned about. Don't give me excuses. The kitchen is on fire. No, I assure you it's just the steam. Don't worry, I have it all under control. Skinner, you told me this was Rucola. What is this? Oh, that. That's not sausage meat. It's a unique species of fungus that grows only in the most distant corners of the Amazon rainforest. It's called Mangarucola, and it's actually known to be incredibly nutritious and delicious. It's a rare delicacy that we were lucky to get. That's quite a story. I think I'm going to need to see more evidence before I believe that. All right, I'll get you the documentation. But trust me, this is 100 fee authentic Mangaroo Cola. We'll see about that. What's going on? The kitchen is on fire. 
Will, oh, the wisp. I saw an errant will. Oh, the wisp causing a bit of a stir in the kitchen. Nothing to worry about. Can I, can I see it? No, it's gone now. Best to just stay out of the kitchen until we can get it sorted out. But uh, shouldn't we call the fire department? Skinner, I think your house is on fire. What? No, it's not. That's the will. Oh, the wisp, you know, that old saying. No, this is 100% real fire. We need to get out of here now. No, I'm sure it's nothing serious. We can just put it out ourselves. It's too late for that. We need to get out now. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. Thank you, Principal Skinner. It smells like something delicious is cooking. Is it almost ready? No, not quite yet. It should be done in about 30 minutes. Can I get you something to drink while you wait? That would be great. Thank you. I'll take a soda if you have one. Certainly. I'll have one too. Would you like to have a seat in the living room? What am I going to do now? Gods help me. Why did I have to be so careless? I could have ruined this meal. I need your help to fix this mess. Yeah, there's got to be some way to salvage this dish. I can't throw it out now. That would be a waste. Please give me a way to fix this. I must find a way to make this chile taste delicious once again. Oh, please, gods. Let me find something outside the window that can help me replace this burnt chili. Please let it be something tasty and easy to find. Oh, take a look then. Ah. Just what I need, sore. Thank you, gods. Now, let's get to work. Now, let me see. I'll need to start by cutting the sorb into small pieces to use as a topping for my dish. Then, I'll mix it with some chili seasoning, and it should be ready to go. What's going on here? Why is the kitchen full of smoke? Um, oh, this. It's just steam. We're just making some soup. Nothing to worry about. Why don't you come have a taste? Soup? You expect me to believe that? I can see the smoke, Skinner. What is really going on here? Oh, oh, oh. well, you see, I, you, might have accidentally set a pot of chili on the stove a bit too high. I was trying to get a bit of a smoky flavor, you know? Skinner, why did you give a sorb instead of chile? Well, I thought you might enjoy a change of pace. Sorb is a tasty alternative that is rich in essential vitamins and minerals. Plus, it goes really well with a variety of other dishes, so it's a great way to enjoy a meal. But Skinner, why did you choose sorb when you said you were serving chile? Oh, I just thought it would be a nice surprise. I couldn't help myself. I thought it would be a great treat for everyone and a fun way to shake up the menu. But Skinner, why did you lie about it in the first place? Skinner, the kitchen is on fire. You have to do something. Please. Um... I don't think that's the case. I think it's just a minor issue with the microwave. Why don't we have a look and see what's causing the smoke? Skinner! The kitchen is clearly on fire. We need to get everyone out of the building and call the fire department. No need to panic. Let's just open the windows to air it out and see if that helps. Skinner, the kitchen is burning! We have to take action now. Thanks for lunch, Skinner. I'd better be going. Looks like your house is on fire. What? Oh, no. Everyone get out of here right now. I'll call the fire department. Thanks, Chalmers. I appreciate it. No problem. Stay safe.
Good evening, Superintendent Chalmers. Welcome to my home. Please come in. Thank you, Principal Skinner. It's a pleasure to be here. What delightful smells are coming from your kitchen? Oh, that's just my Pakistani meat dishes. They're not quite ready yet, but they will be soon. That sounds wonderful. Is there anything I can do to help? No, thank you. I have everything under control. But please make yourself comfortable. Well, that's just great. I can't believe I let myself get so distracted that I burned these dishes. What a mess I've made. I should have been more careful. I guess I'll just have to start over and hope for better results next time. It will take me twice as long now with the amount of time I wasted. I guess there's nothing to do but get back to work. Ah, ha, I think I've got it. I need to find some Haliatis mid a to substitute for the burnt Pakistani meat dishes. That should be easy enough to find. Now how can I prepare it so a good replacement? Maybe I should look online for recipes. I bet there are some tried and true ones that I can follow. Or perhaps I can come up with my own inspired version of how to serve Heliotis mid-A. I bet my friends will love it. Well, there's no time like the present. Let's get to work. First, let's find out more about this ingredient. What does it taste like? What about the texture? How can I season it? What other ingredients are complementary to it? This should be fun. I am sure I can come up with something great. What the hell is going on? The kitchen's full of smoke and you're climbing out of the window. What's going on, Skinner? It's nothing, Chalmers. Just a few steamed Pakistani meat dishes I'm making. Nothing to worry about. That smoke isn't coming from any cooking I've seen you do. What are you really doing in here? I... uh... I just wanted to get some fresh air, sir. Skinner, this is obviously not the food we asked for. What's going on here? Oh, this. No, this is the special Pakistani meat dish I promised. It's called Heliotis Maide. It's a delicacy made with scallops crab and a secret blend of spices. It's very rare and expensive, and it's only found in the deepest depths of the sea. That's not what you said before. Why didn't you tell me that originally? Well, I thought it was better to surprise you with this incredible dish. I wanted you to have the best experience possible, and I think I've achieved that. Skinner, this is not acceptable. I asked for Pakistani meat dishes, and you delivered something entirely different. This needs to be sorted out immediately. What's going on in there? Is the kitchen on fire? No, it's not on fire. It's just Dobhar. Chew. Can I see it? No, you can't. It's just Dabhar. Chew. Uh, I'm not convinced. Is there a way I can verify if the kitchen is on fire or not? How? What is Dabhar? Chew? It's an Irish mythological creature. It's like a dog, otter hybrid that comes to put out fires. I just thought it was a nice way of looking at things. Well, I guess it's better than nothing. I suppose I'd better go check on the fire now. Of course. Please let me know if you need any help. I will. Thanks again for lunch. Ah, uh, Superintendent Chalmers. Welcome, welcome. Please come in. The Jack. Old lanterns are cooking, but they're not quite ready yet. Can I get you something to drink while we wait? A cup of hot cider would be delightful, thank you. Coming right up. So, why did you decide to cook up Jack? Oh, lanterns tonight. I'm intrigued by this idea. Well, I figured it was a good way to celebrate the spirit of Halloween. Plus, it just seemed like a fun activity to do with friends. How could I be so careless? I should have known better. Now I'll have to start all over again. There's no way I'm gonna get this jack done in time. I guess this is what I get for trying to rush it. I bet if I had taken my time, I wouldn't be in this mess. Oh, well, better luck next time. Oh, I think I have it. That tree out there has a few apples. I'll make a scone out of those. All I need is some flour and sugar, and I'll be good to go. 
Yes, let's do this. Okay, first I'll gather the apples from the tree. Then I'll mix them with flour and sugar. Finally, I'll bake the scone in the oven. Here goes nothing. Um, um, this smells delicious. I think this will make a perfect replacement for the burnt jack. Well, I did it. What a success. What's going on here? Why is the kitchen full of smoke? Tell me the truth. Well, um, it's just steam. No fire. I was heating up some water for lunch and it must have made a bit of a mess. No big deal. Don't lie to me. I can see it's on fire. What did you do? Okay, fine. I was experimenting with a recipe and it got a bit out of hand. But I'm sure I can get it under control. Skinner! Why is this not the food I requested? Well, what I've brought is far more delicious and nutritious. This scone is a special blend of organic ingredients that will provide you with more energy and vitality than a regular jack could ever provide. Skinner, I asked for a jack, not a scone. Uh, yes, but what I have here is a new type of jack. It's a cross between a jack and a scone. It's a revolutionary new hybrid food that combines the nutritional benefits of a jack with the delicious taste of a scone. Skinner, that's simply not true. Be honest with me. Skinner! No, 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 that's not a fire. It's just a sun pillar. No, it's not a sun pillar, it's a fire. We need to call the fire department. No, no, no. It's not a fire. It's a sun pillar. There's no need to call the fire department. Skinner, please, can't you see? This is a fire. We have to get help. We need to call the fire department. Thank you for lunch, Skinner. That was very kind of you. Unfortunately, I have to be going now. I'm afraid my house is on fire. Oh, don't worry about that. I'm sure it's nothing more than those sun pillars we were seeing. It'll be all taken care of soon enough. Well, I suppose I should be going. Thanks again for lunch. My pleasure. Take care now. You too. Welcome, Dr. Chalmers. Please, come in. The Nova-style salmon is cooking, but it's not quite ready yet. Ah, the salmon smells delightful. Thank you for inviting me. How long do you think it'll be until it's ready? Not much longer. I think it should be done in just a few minutes. Great. While we wait, would you mind if I asked you a few questions about the project you mentioned over the phone? I'm curious to learn more about it. Of course, I'd be happy to answer your questions. What would you like to know? Oh, that was my favorite. How could I have been so careless? I'm such a fool. At least I can still get dinner. I'll have to just make something else. Um, um that Barbados cherry tree outside looks like it's full of fruit. If I could pick enough of the cherries, I could replace the Nova-style salmon with Barbados cherries. I think I'll try it. Time to get picking. I uh, hope I can get enough cherries to last the entire meal. I guess I better get started right away. Wish me luck. What the devil is going on here? The kitchen is full of smoke. What have you been doing, Skinner? Ow. Oh, nothing. Just making a little bit of steam. Nothing major, I promise. It doesn't look like steam to me. Tell me the truth now or else. Okay, okay. I accidentally set a pot of oil on fire. I was trying to make some french fries and it got a little out of control. I'm really sorry. Skinner, why did you not buy Nova style salmon? That was the agreement. Well, I was at the store and they were all out of Nova-style salmon. So I improvised and got Barbados cherry instead. It's actually a much better choice. It's full of antioxidants and has a really rich flavor. Plus, it's much more affordable than Nova-style salmon. Oh, 
Skinner, that's not true. I want an honest answer. Why did you not buy the salmon like we agreed? Well, I talked to the seafood specialist at the store, and he said Barbados cherry was the superior choice. He even offered me a free sample, and I thought it was delicious. I was convinced it was the better option, so I decided to go with it. Skinner, I'm not buying it. Please tell me the truth. Why didn't you get the salmon? Skinner, it's not volcanic lightning, it's a fire. We need to get out of here now. No, 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 no. That must be volcanic lightning. It is a natural phenomenon and we do not know its true cause. No need to worry. Skinner, come on! We have to get out of here now. There's no time to waste. This kitchen is going to burn down if we don't act now. No, no, no. We must think rationally here. We can't just jump to conclusions. It's most likely volcanic lightning, and I refuse to believe otherwise. Skinner, the kitchen is on fire. We have to get out now. Well, I better be going. Thanks for lunch, Skinner. No problem. Have a safe trip home. Thanks. I will. Oh, and don't worry about the house burning down. It's just some volcanic lightning. Oh, okay. See you later. Ah, uh, Superintendent Chalmers, please come in. I'm so glad you could join us for dinner. Thank you, I'm delighted to be here. The aroma from the kitchen smells delightful. Ah, uh, yes, the Wilson area is almost done. It should be ready soon. Please, make yourself comfortable and I'll let you know when dinner is ready. Thank you. That sounds great. What would you like to drink in the meantime? We have some wine or perhaps some juice? Dang it. How could I have been so careless? That was the last of the Wilson area I had in the house. Well, there's nothing to do but order some more, I guess. I really need to be more careful in the kitchen next time. This was a mistake I don't want to keep making. Well, that looks like an interesting solution. I'm going to need some fresh vegetables, tomatoes, onion, pepper, garlic, and a few other ingredients for the gazpacho. I think I can find these things in the local market. Now I just need to figure out how to turn this into a... Torta de gazpacho. Let's see. I'll need to peel, chop, and blanch the vegetables. Then I'll combine them with some broth and puree it all together. After that I'll form the mixture into a cake shape and bake it until it's golden and crispy. Then... Voila! I can serve up a delicious torta de gazpacho. Perfect for replacing Wilson area. I can do this. Okay, let's get started. What is going on in here? The kitchen is full of smoke and you are just climbing out the window. What do you have to say for yourself? It's nothing to worry about, Principal Chalmers. I was merely steaming some Wilson area. You know how these steamy greens can be. What about the smoke? That does not look like steam to me. Oh, that. No, that's just the exhaust from the stove vent. It must be malfunctioning a bit. I was just in the process of fixing it. What regional expression? You just made that up. I did not. It's the local term for torta de gazpacho. It's a popular dish in this part of the world. I'm always trying to bring new and exciting flavors to the cafeteria. Besides, it's a delicious meal, and it's not like the students will be able to tell the difference. You're not fooling anyone, Skinner. We both know you just ran out of Wilson area and had to substitute something else. Don't think I won't be talking to the school board about this. We need to be honest with our students, not try to pull the wool over their eyes. My apologies, Principal Chalmers. I was simply trying to make the cafeteria experience more enjoyable for our students. I'll make sure to be more transparent with our menu choices from now on. See that you do. Scare, I'm telling you, the kitchen is on fire. You need to do something. No, no, it must be Leocrata. You don't need to worry. I don't believe you. Can I see the Leocrata? 
No, it's too dangerous. You just need to trust me. I'm calling the fire department. Ah, thank you for lunch, Skinner, but, ah, the house is burning down. You really should do something about it. Oh, don't worry about it. It's just my pet Leocrata warming up the house. Ah, Skinner, that's not a Leocrata. That's a fire. Oh, don't be silly. Everyone knows that Leocratus breathe fire every now and then. It's quite normal. Well, whatever it is, you should probably get help quickly. And don't forget to call the fire department. Good morning, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. The marmalade plum is cooking, but not quite ready yet. Good morning, Principal Skinner. Thank you for inviting me. I'm looking forward to trying the marmalade plum when it's ready. Excellent. It should be ready soon. Please make yourself at home. Thank you. It smells wonderful. Yes, I think so too. Would you like a cup of tea while we wait? Why did I do that? What an idiot I am. I could have sworn I put it on low heat. Now, how am I going to get out of this mess? Maybe I could try making it again, but I don't have time for that. What other options do I have? Maybe I could buy a new jar. Aha! I think I see a gooseberry bush outside the window. This should do the trick. I just need to figure out how to get it without anyone noticing. Hum. Maybe I can climb up and reach it from the outside. Yeah. Maybe I can climb up and reach it from the outside. Yes. That seems like the best plan. All I need to do is find some rope, a ladder, and some sturdy gloves, and I should be able to get that gooseberry and make a delicious marmalade. Well, this should be interesting. I'd better get on it. Time to go shopping. Here I go. What is going on there? The kitchen is full of smoke. What are you doing, Skinner? Oh, this. It's just steam. I just finished cooking some delicious goulash. This isn't steam. It's smoke. You're lying. Is the kitchen on fire? No, no, absolutely not. I'm just getting a little creative with the ingredients is all. It's perfectly safe in here. Is that exactly what you said? Was it gooseberry? Not in so many words, but it was certainly implied. My intention was always to bring gooseberry marmalade, and I certainly never meant to deceive you. Skinner, I don't believe you. What you're saying doesn't make any sense. You said it was marmalade, and now you're saying it was gooseberry all along. Why would you do that? I can see how it appears deceptive, but it was an honest mistake. I'm sorry for any confusion that this may have caused. That's not an acceptable explanation. I think you lied to me and I want the truth. Skinner, the kitchen is absolutely on fire. We need to evacuate. No, 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 no. This is no fire. This is just a natural phenomenon. A weather balloon, if you will. Nothing to worry about here, folks. Everyone can keep calm and go about your business. But, Skinner, the smoke and flames are very visible. Do you really think this is a weather balloon? Yes, of course. This isn't a fire, it's just a weather balloon. Nothing to worry about here. We can't ignore this. We need to act fast. Skinner, you can't ignore the fire anymore. We need to get out of here. Now. Uh, what fire? I don't see any fire. I think that must be a weather balloon. Skinner, there is a fire. We need to get out of here. Now. Oh, all right, let's go. But I still maintain that it's a weather balloon and not a fire. Come on, Skinner. Let's go. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. 
I'm afraid the Zuger Kirschtorte isn't quite ready yet, but I promise it will be delicious. Ah, uh, thank you. Is there anything I can do to help? That's so kind of you to offer. Could you please set the table while I finish up the tart? Certainly. It will be a pleasure. Thank you, Superintendent Chalmers. I really appreciate it. God damn it, I burnt the fucking Zuger Kish Torte. What an idiot I am. I can't believe I did this. Why am I so fucking stupid? I knew it was almost done and I still left it in the oven too long. Ah, oh, fuck it. Let's see. Maybe I can get some apples from that orchard over there, then pick up some sugar and maybe some nutmeg from the store down the street. Then I could combine these ingredients with the Liechtenstein wine to make a new version of the burnt Suger Kirchtorte. Damn it. What am I missing? Think, Skinner, think. Um, ah, of course. I need to make some streusel to sprinkle on top. I can get the ingredients for that at the grocery store as well. All right, let's get this show on the road. Time to make that burnt Suger Kirchtorte. This time I won't burn it. What the hell are you doing in my kitchen and why is it full of smoke? Why were you climbing out the window? I was just making the steamed Zuger Kirschtorte, sir. I'm sure that's the smoke you smell. It can sometimes get a little intense from the steam. You expect me to believe that? We both know that kitchen is on fire. What did you do? Nothing, sir. I promise I wasn't doing anything wrong. I'm sorry if I caused you any distress. Skinner, uh, what is going on here? This isn't Zuger Kirschtorte. Where's the cake? Uh, you see, I had the cake, but then I found out it was made with gummy bears, so I decided to switch it for something more appropriate. This is Liechtenstein wine, a rare and delicate beverage that has been aged for many years in the mountains of Central Europe, and which is... Wait a second, gummy bears. Where did you get the idea that the cake was made with gummy bears? Well, I heard a rumor that some of the ingredients in Zuger Kirschtorte, such as the dough and some of the fillings, sometimes contain gummy bears. I thought it would be better to switch it out for something more suitable. That doesn't sound like a rumor I've ever heard. Where did you hear it from? The kitchen is on fire. We need to act quickly. No, no. That's not fire. It's a devil whale. It's just a silly old prank. I don't believe you. Can I see it? No, no. You can't see the devil whale. It's too dangerous. Okay. Then I'm calling the fire department right now. Yeah. Uh, of course. Thank you for lunch, Professor Skinner. I regret that I must be on my way now. I'm sure you understand. Oh, of course. Have a safe journey, my friend. Don't mind the fire. It's only a devil whale's doing. Ah, okay then. Good day. Good day. Um, right. Bye. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please, come in. Thank you, Principal Skinner. It sure smells like something delicious is cooking. Ah, uh, yes. That would be my famous gray mullet. It's not quite ready yet, but it won't be too long. Excellent. I'm looking forward to it. Well, while you wait, can I offer you something to drink? We have some fine wine or soda. What the hell? I can't believe I just burned the gray mullet. That was supposed to be our dinner tonight. Damn it. Why did I do that? Man, this is so stupid. I'm such an idiot. How could I be so careless? Gonna need a lot of claygate pyramine to replace this blasted burnt gray mullet. Better get to work. Well, this ought to do the trick. Right, just gotta take this claygate pyramine, slice it up and get it in there. This should be easier than that blasted mullet. All right, there we go. Now let's see if it works. Phew, that was close. This clay gate pyramid should do the trick. Skinner, what is going on here? 
There is smoke everywhere. Are you burning something in here? No, no, nothing is burning. This is just steam from the steamed gray mullet I'm making. I'm using the smoke infused process Chef Fungo taught me. It's a bit of an experiment, but it's going quite well. Skinner, I can tell you are not telling the truth. Now what is really happening here? Okay, fine. I was trying to make nachos, but it got a bit out of hand. I was trying to melt the cheese, and it got a bit too hot and started to smoke up the kitchen. Sorry, Principal Chalmers. It won't happen again. Are you telling me you swapped out my gray mullet for claygate pear mang? Ah, uh, of course not. That would be ridiculous. I was simply stocking the shells with more variety. You know, to give our customers a larger selection of fresh and delicious fruits and vegetables. Skinner, I'm not a fool. Give me the truth. All right, it's true. I made a mistake when stocking the shells. I accidentally grabbed the wrong type of fruit, and so I had to switch it out for the Claygate Parmain. I apologize for my mistake, and we'll make sure it doesn't happen again. You'd better not. Now, make sure the gray mullet is in the next shipment. I think the kitchen is on fire. Can you show me? No, I'm sorry. It's just meteor showers. You must be mistaken. No. It's not a meteor shower. I can smell the smoke. Can you please show me what's going on in there? No, it's definitely a meteor shower. You must be confusing it with something else. Please, I'm afraid there's a fire. Let me see what's happening in there. Well, thank you for lunch, Skinner. I'd better be going now. Of course. Enjoy the rest of your day. Wait, is that smoke? Oh, that. That's nothing. Just some meteor showers. No, seriously, it looks like something's burning in there. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please, come in. The corn tash is cooking, but not ready yet. I hope you're hungry. I am indeed. It smells delicious. How have you been, Skinner? I'm doing well, thank you. It's been a while since we've seen each other. How have you been? I'm doing great. Thanks for having me over. Is there anything I can do to help? That's very kind of you, thank you. I could use some help setting the table. What have I done? How could I be so careless? I should have known better than to leave the corn tash unattended. I can't believe I burned the corn tash. I'm gonna have to start over. That tree outside looks like it's full of delicious dessert apples. Time to get creative in the kitchen and make a dessert apple tash. I'll need a few ingredients like flour, butter, and sugar. Then I can make an apple crumble topping and bake it until it's golden and crispy. This should make a delicious replacement for the burnt corn tash. Now, just to wait for it to bake and smell the delicious aroma filling the room. Ah, time to enjoy a delicious dessert apple, Tosh. Mmm, so good. What on earth is going on in here? The kitchen is full of smoke. It's just steam. I was cooking a new recipe. That's not steam, that's smoke. What are you doing? I'm experimenting with a new recipe. The steam is just part of the cooking process. Skinner, did you switch the cornetash with dessert apple? No, why would I do that? The cornetash was old but still edible. And I knew the dessert apple was fresh from the farmer's market. I was just trying to surprise everyone with a tasty treat. But Skinner, you said the cornetash was bad and the dessert apple was fresh. That doesn't make any sense. I may have gotten a bit carried away with the description, but I stand by my story. The dessert apple was a much better choice than the cornetash, and I'm sure everyone is enjoying it. I, I'll believe you, Skinner. Just admit that you switched the two items. Skinner, the kitchen is on fire. We must evacuate. There's no fire. It's probably just an oceanic riptide. 
Don't worry, it will pass in a few minutes. This isn't a riptide, Skinner. The kitchen is actually on fire. We need to get out now. No, 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 it's not a fire. It must be an oceanic riptide. We'll be safe if we just stay here. That's ridiculous. The kitchen is burning. We need to get out of here now. Um, thanks for lunch, Professor Skinner. I should be going now. Ah, uh, a pleasure as always. Be careful on your way out. The oceanic riptides can be a bit tricky out there. Yeah, sure. See you later. Take care. You too? Good evening, Dr. Chalmers. It's so nice to see you. Please do come in. Thank you, Principal Skinner. It certainly smells wonderful in here. Yes, the northern lobster is cooking, but it isn't quite ready yet. It smells delicious. Did you prepare it yourself? Yes, I did. I hope you're hungry. Uh, damn it. I don't believe I burned the northern lobster. I was so looking forward to it. You guys up in the heavens had better help me out here. This was supposed to be a special treat. Why did this have to happen to me? Well, I guess I better figure out what to do next. I suppose I could order takeout, but that won't be the same. I guess I'll just have to make do with something else. Oh, gods above, please grant me the wisdom to replace this delicious northern lobster with taro. If it's meant to be, please show me a sign of what I should do. Ah, uh, I see a taro patch just outside the window. I've no doubt that this is a sign from the gods. I will immediately go to the patch and collect some fresh taro to replace this northern lobster. Thank you, gods, for this most generous sign. I'm sure my guests will be just as pleased with my substitution of taro. Thank you once again, gods, for your divine guidance. What is going on here? Why is there smoke in the kitchen? It's just steam, Superintendent Chalmers. I was getting ready to bake some cookies for the children. Don't lie to me, Seymour. I can see the smoke from here. The kitchen is on fire. Now what happened? I... I... I was heating up some oil for the cookies and it accidentally caught fire. I'm sorry. Mr. Skinner, why did you bring us taro instead of northern lobster? Um... Sorry, Dr. Chalmers. I'm afraid I don't have an answer for that. I was told to bring this particular shipment of food and I simply followed orders. Why didn't you check the contents of the shipment before bringing it to us? Uh, very sorry. I was in a rush and didn't want to take any chances. I thought I could make it up to you by bringing an extra large portion of the taro. But why not bring what we ordered? We could have used the lobster in the meal. Skinner, the kitchen is on fire. We have to get out of here now. Uh, there's no need to worry. It's just some sort of strange natural phenomena. It's called phantom odor. It's nothing to worry about. No, Skinner, this is serious. There's a real fire in the kitchen. We have to get everyone out now. No, Chalmers, it's just a strange smell. It's nothing to be alarmed about. It's just a phantom odor. Skinner, I'm not sure what kind of game you're playing, but there is definitely a fire in the kitchen and we need to evacuate the room now. Mmm. Professor Skinner. I think something's on fire. What? No, 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 that is a phantom odor. All will be well. Ah, Professor, I'm really not sure. Everything is perfectly fine. I will take care of it. But... But... Professor Chalmers, welcome. Please come in. The Chionacilla isn't quite ready yet, but it should be soon. Thank you, Principal Skinner. It smells delicious. 
I'm so glad you like it. I'm sure you'll love it once it's finished. Would you like something to drink while we wait? That would be lovely. I'd love some tea if you have any. I do indeed. Let me get that for you. Oh, no, I've ruined it. I was so looking forward to trying that chi on a silla dish. How am I going to explain this to everyone? Well, I guess there's no point in crying over spilled lentils. I'll just have to do my best to clean this up and try again with a different recipe. Um, there appears to be a large piece of scrap metal out there. I wonder if I can use it to make a replacement for the burnt Chiona Scylla. I bet I can figure out a way to make it work. All right, let's see what I can do. First, I'll need to gather the necessary tools. I'll need a drill, a hammer, some bolts, and some wire. Then I can start tinkering and see if I can make this work. Let's do this. One, two, three, hammer. This should do the trick. Now let's see how it works. Skinner, what the hell are you doing in here? It's filled with smoke. What happened? Oh, don't worry about it. It's just steam from the steam Shionacilla I'm making. It's a traditional Italian dish. That's not steam, Skinner. It's smoke. Now tell me what happened. Oh, uh, well, I guess I burned the Chionacilla a bit, but I'll start over and make it right. Don't worry. What is going on here, Skinner? We specifically requested Chionacilla, yet you've brought us Gabriel. Ah, yes. We had a little hiccup in the kitchen. The Chionacilla had gone off, so my team chose to make Gabriel instead. It's a much more flavorful fish with a delightful crunch. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. That doesn't make any sense. How can something go off so quickly? My team is incredibly efficient. They can have a dish of Gabriel ready within minutes. It takes longer to prepare Chionosilla, and they had already used up all of the ingredients. That seems highly unlikely. Are you sure you're not hiding something from me? Okay, Skinner. I think it's time to acknowledge what is happening in the kitchen. There is clearly a fire and we need to take action. No, I think this is some kind of weather manipulation. It must be a freak summer storm. Let's just wait it out. That seems unlikely. I think we should go and check out the kitchen to make sure. No, I don't think that's necessary. What we need to do is stay calm and wait for the storm to pass. I really think it is important that we go and see what's happening in the kitchen. I'm concerned this could be a real fire and we need to make sure everyone is safe. Well, thank you for lunch, Professor. I best be off. Have a good day. You too, Chalmers. Oh, and don't forget your umbrella. The forecast is for some rain later this afternoon. All right. Thanks for the reminder. No problem. Take care now. Will do. Hello, Mr. Chalmers. Please, come in. Thank you, Skinner. Lunch is almost ready. I just have to steam the apples. That sounds great. I love apples. I hope you like steamed apples. I made them especially for you. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. Our dinner has yet to be ready, but I suspect it won't be too long now. Ah, oh, thank you, Skinner. It smells like a delicious meal. Indeed it does. The scent of river is wafting through the air. I'm sure it won't be much longer. I look forward to tasting it. What other dishes are you preparing this evening? We're having roasted vegetables and a creamy herb sauce. I hope you'll like it. What a waste. I was so excited to make this dish and now it's ruined. I guess I should have paid more attention when I was cooking it. Oh, well, I guess I'll just have to start again and try to do better next time. I guess I'm just not a very good cook. 
Um, I need to find something that will make a great substitute for the burnt dry berry. I know. Alfredo sauce. I think I can make some with the ingredients I have at home. Now how could I make a delicious sauce to go with the fatuchin? Okay, let's see. I have butter, cream, parmesan cheese, garlic, and some herbs. That sounds like an amazing combination. All I need to do is melt the butter in a pan, add the cream, parmesan cheese, garlic, and herbs, and then simmer it until it thickens up. I can't believe it. Fettuccine Alfredo with a delicious homemade sauce. Here I come. Time to get cooking. Let's give it a try. What are you doing in here? And why is there so much smoke in the kitchen? It's just steam from the steamed raspberry I'm making. It's my own special recipe. What were you doing climbing out of the window? There's clearly a fire in here. Oh, I wasn't climbing out of the window. I was simply testing the draft. It's important to get the right amount of ventilation so the steam doesn't clog up the kitchen. Regional expression? Are you sure? That sounds a bit strange. Oh, no. It's quite popular here. We call it Fetacona Liraberry. It's a local favorite. It's the same thing, just a different name. Ah. That's a bit hard to believe. Are you sure that's true? Absolutely. It's been a regional dish for years. Trust me, it's delicious. Well, if you say so, I'm gonna need to taste it for myself. Skinner, I'm standing right here and I can see that the kitchen is on fire. We can't just ignore it. We need to get it put out before it gets any worse. No, this isn't a fire. It's a demon. It's been walking around the cafeteria for the past week. Skinner, that's ridiculous. We both know that's a fire. Let's go get some help to put it out before it gets out of control. No, I can't do that. We need to find a way to get rid of the demon so it doesn't cause any more damage. Skinner, this is a fire. If we don't put it out now, it's going to get worse. We need to get help to put it out now. That was a great lunch, Skinner. I better get going now. My house is on fire. Oh, is it really? Well, no matter. I'm sure it's just a demon. Don't worry about it. Ah, no. I think it's really on fire. I should go check it out. Honestly, Chalmers, I wouldn't worry. Demons can be very tricky. You just never know what they can do. Ah, yeah. But my house is on fire. I think I better go. Dr. Chalmers, you're here. Come in, come in. Have a seat. The mashed potatoes are cooking, but they're not quite ready yet. Thank you, Superintendent Skinner. I don't mind waiting at all. How have you been? Oh, I'm doing well. Just working on a few projects to keep me busy. How have you been? Pretty good, thank you. How is your family? They're doing well. My daughter just graduated from college and is starting a new job. How about yours? Damn it. Not again. I should know better than to leave something cooking on the stove. I've got to get better at this or I'm never going to get anywhere with my food. I guess I just need to start over and be more careful next time. I think I see a meringue tree out there. I just need to figure out a way to get the fruit from it. Hmm. Maybe I can climb it or find a way to knock the fruit down. Yes, that could work. I just need to be careful not to fall. And, uh, I guess it can't hurt to ask for help from the neighbors, too. Okay, here goes nothing. Wish me luck. I can do this. What is going on in here? It's full of smoke. What are you doing? Have you started a fire? No, of course not. It's just a bit of steam. Nothing to worry about. Are you sure? It looks like a fire to me. No, no, nothing like that. Just a bit of steam from cooking, that's all. Do you really expect me to believe that? You certainly never said it was meringue. Actually, I did. I'm sure I mentioned the meringue earlier in our conversation. I remember it quite clearly. Skinner! This is clearly not the same food we discussed earlier. Tell me the truth. 
All right, I confess. It's not the same food that we discussed. I switched it out with meringue at the last minute. I apologize for the confusion. Apology accepted. Now why did you do it? Skinner, the kitchen is on fire. We need to get out of here quickly. You must believe me. No, no, no. This is something completely different. It's a natural phenomena. Like a tidal wave. We don't have time for this. We need to leave now. There is a fire in the kitchen. No, this isn't a fire. It must be a tidal wave. Skinner, we need to get out of here. The kitchen is on fire and we need to go now. Ah, oh, thanks for lunch, Mr. Skinner. I better go now. Ah, uh, no problem at all. Have a good day. Uh, what about the fire? Shouldn't we be doing something about it? What fire? I'm sure it's nothing to worry about. I think it's just a tide of some sort. Nothing to worry about. You better go now. Uh, okay. Bye. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in out of the cold. Thank you, Principal Skinner. I appreciate the invitation. No problem at all. I've got some dynamite cooking in the kitchen, but it's not quite ready yet. Would you like a cup of coffee while you wait? That would be great. Thank you. No need to thank me. It's my pleasure. I'll go get it right away. What a fool I've been. How could I have been so careless? I could have been killed. This is a disaster. What am I going to do now? Uh, Smyrnia molisatrum. That's the plant I need. Looks like it's growing outside. I just have to find a way to get to it without blowing myself up. All right, what do I need to do? Well, if I can find some kind of long pole to reach the plant, that could work. Maybe there's a rake or something in the garden shed. That should do the trick. Okay, now I just have to figure out how to get to the plant without getting too close. Hmm. Maybe I can tie a rope to the pole and hold it out to the pole and hold it out to the plant. That should work. All right, I'm ready to go. Here goes nothing. Ugh, I did it. Now I just have to find a way to get the plant in here without damaging it. What on earth is going on here, Skinner? The kitchen is full of smoke. Oh, that's just the steam from my steam dynamite. It's a new recipe I'm trying out. Steam dynamite? Are you kidding me? This kitchen is on fire. No, no, no. I assure you, it's perfectly safe. The dynamite is perfectly contained and the steam is a necessary part of the recipe. Skinner, why did you bring us Smyrnium Olisatrum instead of dynamite? I knew you were looking for something that would add a little bit of spice to your meal, so I figured Smyrnium Olisatrum would do the trick. It's a special type of herb that gives food a special kick and is much healthier than dynamite. Plus, it's easier to find and transport. Skinner, that doesn't make any sense. Dynamite is highly explosive and could have easily created an unsafe situation in the kitchen. Why would you choose to bring us something else? Well, I had heard about Smyrnia molusatrum from a friend of mine and thought it might be a nice change from the usual ingredients we use. Plus, it has a unique flavor that really stands out and adds a lot of zest to whatever dish you're making. I was sure you would appreciate. That still doesn't explain why you thought it was a better option than dynamite. Skinner! The kitchen is on fire. We need to put it out quickly. No, no, no. That's not a fire. That must be meteors. Skinner, let me see. Is it really meteors or a fire? No, don't worry. It's not a fire. It's definitely meteors. Skinner, please, let me see for myself. What's really going on? Thanks for lunch, Professor Skinner. I really enjoyed it. Of course. My pleasure. Any time. Well, I have to go now. See you later. All right. Have a good day. Bye. Welcome, Dr. Chalmers. Please come in. 
Thank you, Skinner. It smells delicious. What is that tantalizing aroma? Oh, it's... Belpuri. It's a type of Indian street food, a savory combination of puffed rice, potatoes, onions, and spices. It should be ready in a few minutes. Sounds wonderful. I'm looking forward to it. Would you like something to drink while we wait? We have some tea and some Indian beer. Oh, God, why are you punishing me like this? I just wanted to make some bell puree for my dinner and now it's all burned. Why must I suffer like this? I know I'm not perfect, God, but why must I be the one to suffer this fate? I just want to enjoy a nice meal and not worry about the consequences. Please show me a sign and I'll do my best to make up for it. Oh, God, if there's a way to make this burnt bell puree palatable, please show me the way. I don't know how I would manage to replace the bell puree with maple syrup, but I'm sure you will find a way to make it work. Please, please show me the way to make it work. Please, please show me the... Ah, uh, there it is. A bottle of maple syrup on the windowsill of the store across the street. I think I can make this work. Thank you, God. Now to get my hands on that bottle of syrup and figure out the best way to incorporate it into the bell puree. I can do this. First, I need to figure out how much syrup I should use. Let me see. A tablespoon or two should do the trick. Now I just need to mix the syrup into the bell puree. Easy enough. Now I can finish off the dish with a bit of lemon juice and a pinch of... Aha! Perfection! Now I just need to put this all together. Here goes nothing. What is going on here? Why is the kitchen full of smoke? Is there a fire? No, no fire. Just steam from the steamed bel I'm preparing. This isn't steam, Skinner. It's a fire. I want to know what happened here and I want to know now. Oh, okay, okay. I started a small fire while heating oil for the bel puri, but I've got it all under control now. Skinner, what is this? I thought I asked for bel puri. Ah, yes. This is a special kind of bel puri. It's been infused with maple-flavored syrup for a unique sweetness and flavor. I'm sure you'll love it. What? That's nonsense. You know very well it's not bel puri. Now explain yourself. Oh, um, well, the chef wanted to make something uniquely Canadian, so they decided to create a twist on the classic bel puri. Maple syrup seemed like the perfect addition. Skinner, don't lie to me. I know you swapped the bel puri for something else. What is it? What is going on in here? It looks like there is a fire. It's just an illusion, nothing to worry about. I'm sure it's a mirage. Let me take a look at it. No, there's no need to. I'm sure it's just a mirage, nothing to worry about. I insist on seeing it for myself. All right then, well, I should be getting back to my office now. Thank you for lunch, Professor Skinner. Oh, you're quite welcome, Chalmers. Have a nice day. You too, Professor Skinner. Goodbye. Goodbye. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. The tongue is cooking, but it's not ready yet. Can I offer you something to drink while you wait? No, thank you, I'm fine. But perhaps you could tell me a little bit about the dish while we wait. Sure. This is a traditional recipe that has been passed down through my family for generations. It's a dish made with calf's tongue and a special blend of spices. I think you'll really enjoy it. That sounds delicious. I'm looking forward to trying it. Is there anything else I should know about the dish? Yes. The most important thing is to make sure you cook the tongue to the perfect temperature. A moment too long over the heat and it could become tough and chewy. But cooked properly, the tongue should be tender and juicy. I'm sure you'll love it. What a disaster. I can't believe I burned the tongue. 
I was so busy trying to get everything ready, I didn't pay enough attention. If only I'd been more careful. Well, there's no point crying over spilled milk. I'll just have to try again. Maybe next time I'll be more careful. But I bet I could use that widen over there to replace the burnt tongue. It looks like it's pretty fresh. I just need to get it over to the pot without it slipping away. I need a plan. I know, I can tie a rope to the waiting, then pull the rope from outside the window. That should do the trick. Now let's see. I need something to tie the rope to the waiting. Ah, I could probably tear off a piece of my shirt. Perfect. Now I just need to tie one end of the rope to my belt and I'm all set. All right, here goes nothing. Time to pull this waiting in. What are you doing, and why is the kitchen full of smoke? Oh, it's just steam. I was just preparing some boiled potatoes. Don't lie to me. It's obvious that something is burning here. What is it? Um, I was just cooking some bacon. It must have gotten a little too crispy. What is this you brought us, Skinner? Ah, this. Well, it's a special selection from my kitchen, sir. It's a delicious, rare, and exotic fish known as whiting. It's a delicacy featured at the finest restaurants and served only to the most discerning palates. It has a delicate flavor and a texture unlike any other seafood. But this isn't what I ordered, Skinner. Are you telling me you simply decided to substitute the meal I requested? No, sir. I was merely trying to surprise you with something different and unexpected. I'm sure you'll enjoy it just as much as you would have enjoyed the tongue. Skinner, I don't believe you. Tell me the truth. What happened to the tongue? The kitchen is on fire. We have to get out of here. No, it's just the stove putting off a little more smoke than usual. I'm sure everything will be fine. Let's just wait it out. No, it's not the stove. I can smell the smoke. We need to leave now. I'm telling you. It's nothing. We don't need to panic. This isn't the time to argue, Skinner. We have to get out of here now before it gets worse. Oh, goodness, the house is burning down. Thank you for lunch, Mr. Skinner, but I must be going now. Oh, no. Please, allow me to help you get out safely. That's very kind, thank you. Let's hurry. Yeah, yes, of course. Thanks again. Good evening, Superintendent Chalmers. Come on in and make yourself comfortable. The acorn is cooking, but it's not quite ready yet. It smells delicious. What can I do to help? Well, why don't you take a seat and I'll pour us both a cup of tea. Then we can catch up while we wait for the acorn to finish cooking. Sounds perfect. I'd love a cup of tea. Coming right up. Oh, gods. What have I done? I was so careless. I have ruined the acorn. Now it is nothing more than ash. What will I do now? I must think of something. I could start over and make a new acorn, but that would take too long. I could search for another one, but who knows how long that would take. There must be another way. Come now, spirits of the harvest. I beseech you to provide me with a suitable replacement for this burnt acorn. Show me the way and I will be forever thankful. May the gods of the harvest be with me. And so I pray for a new harvest to come and replace this burnt acorn. May the spirits of nature carry this request to the heavens and fulfill my wish. In the name of the harvest I beseech thee. So be it. So be it. What are you doing in here? Why is there so much smoke? Oh, it's just steam from the steamed acorn I'm making. Delicious, isn't it? That's not steam. It's smoke. The kitchen is on fire. No, it's not. I swear it's just the steam from the steamed acorn. Skinner, what is this? This isn't acorn. It's harvest. No, no. 
I told the supplier to give me the best acorns that money can buy. This is the finest grade of acorns I could find. I knew you would be pleased. This doesn't look like any acorn I've ever seen. Where'd you get these? They're from a very rare and exotic species of acorn that only grows in the foothills of the Himalayas. It's a very special and sought after variety. What? I don't believe you. Why would you replace the acorn with something else? Skinner, the kitchen is on fire. We have to get out now. No, no, you must be mistaken. It's just a few runes that have come to life by themselves. I'm sure they will just pass by soon and nothing will happen. Let me take a look. I want to see for myself. Ah, uh, no, I don't think that's a good idea. It's best if you stay back. We'll just wait and see what happens. This is ridiculous. I'm calling the fire department. Oh my, the house is burning down. We need to get out now. What fire? It's just a few runes I'm burning in the fireplace. No need to be alarmed. Mr. Skinner, we really need to get outside. Now. All right, I guess we should go. Thank you for lunch. No problem. Let's hurry. Good morning, Superintendent Chalmers. So good to see you. Please come in, I just have the jelly donut in the oven and it should be ready soon. Ah, hello there, Skinner. I see you've been busy. What's cooking? I'm making a jelly donut. It's one of my specialties. It should be ready soon, so why don't you make yourself comfortable while we wait? Sounds great. It smells delicious. What kind of jelly are you using? I am using raspberry jelly. It's my favorite. Can I get you something to drink while we wait? Flux capacitors. How could I have been so careless? Now I have to start all over again. I just need to take a deep breath, collect my thoughts, and start fresh. It's not the end of the world. Ah, that baguette over there looks just the right size to replace this burnt jelly donut. It'll be perfect. Let me just grab it and bring it in. Uh, I need to make sure that the baguette isn't gonna be stale. Hope it's fresh. I can't wait to see how everyone will react when I serve them this delicious baguette instead of a burnt jelly donut. Now, let's get this baguette and enjoy the rest of our breakfast. This is going to be great. What is going on here? It's full of smoke. Why are you trying to cover it up? It's not a fire. It's steam. I was just making soup. Seriously? This doesn't look like steam to me. Is there a fire in here? No, no, of course not. I was just sautéing some vegetables. Skinner, why did you bring a baguette instead of jelly donuts? Well, I figured that since you were so fond of jelly donuts, I thought I'd provide you with a healthier alternative. A baguette is much better for you. Plus, it's easier to store and carries more flavor. Skinner, I don't think that's the real reason. How about you tell me the truth? All right, I'll admit it. I couldn't find any jelly donuts, so I had to improvise. I figured a baguette would be a suitable replacement that you'd still enjoy. I see. Well, it's not the same as jelly donuts, but it's still a nice treat. Skinner, there's a fire in the kitchen. You need to call the fire department right away. No, no, it's just some steam from the stove. I'm sure it'll clear up soon. Skinner, don't be ridiculous. Can't you see the flames? We need to get help now. Uh, no, I don't see any flames. I think it's just a lot of smoke from some burnt food. I'm sure it's harmless. Skinner, it's clearly a fire. We need to call the fire department and evacuate the building immediately. Well, thanks for lunch, Skinner. I'd better be getting home. Of course. Oh, uh, wait. The house is on fire. Oh, my goodness. Is everyone all right? What do we do? Quick, call the fire department. I'll go get the fire extinguishers from the shed. Right away. 
I'll go check if anyone needs help getting out of the house. Hello, Superintendent Chalmers. Welcome to my home. Please come in. Thank you, Principal Skinner. It smells wonderful in here. Is that a Hawaiian salt dish I smell cooking? Yes, it is. It's almost ready. Would you like to have a seat while we wait? Yes, that sounds great. Thank you. No problem. Can I get you a drink? Damn it. I can't believe I burned the Hawaiian salt. What a waste. What an idiot I am. I should have been paying more attention. This is why I should have gotten the pepper grinder instead. I can't believe I didn't think of that earlier. Um, that's it. I bet if I mix some of the suhao sauce with some of this fire roasted pineapple, it'll make a delicious replacement for the burnt away in salt. Now I just need to figure out how to get my hands on some of that sauce. Maybe my neighbor has some suhao sauce I can borrow. I'll go ask her if I can grab a bottle. Hopefully she'll be willing to help me out. I'll go pay her a visit right now and see if I can get some su ha ha sauce to replace the burnt away in salt. Wish me luck. Cross your fingers for me. Here I go. What are you doing here? What's all this smoke? Why will you climb out the window? Uh, nothing, nothing. Just steaming some Hawaiian salt. That's all. It happens sometimes, sir. Well, it looks like the kitchen is on fire. Explain yourself. No, no, no. That's just the steam. It's part of the process. It's supposed to happen. Skinner, what is going on here? Why did you replace the Hawaiian salt with su halal sauce? Well, I thought that Hawaiian salt was too plain and boring, so I wanted to switch it up and add a bit of kick with the su halal sauce. Plus, it's a reflection of the school's commitment to international cuisine. We want to make sure our students are exposed to a variety of flavors from around. Ah, that doesn't explain why you didn't tell me about it beforehand. You should have consulted with me before making a change like this. Uh, I was just trying to be resourceful and save us the cost of purchasing two separate ingredients. I had no idea it would be such a big deal. I apologize for not informing you about the change beforehand. Apology accepted. From now on, just let me know when you have ideas like this so we can discuss them together. What is that smoke? It smells like fire. Oh, that must just be some night phantoms. Don't worry, nothing to be scared of. Can I see it? No, that's not necessary. Just go back to bed and don't worry about it. But the smoke is getting thicker. I'm worried something is wrong. Skinner, the house is on fire. I think it's time to get out of here. Nonsense. It's just a few night phantoms. I'm sorry, Skinner, but we have to go. Now. Oh, all right. Let's go then. Thanks for lunch, and I'm sorry about the fire. Hello, Mr. Chalmers. Come on in. Lunch is almost ready. Thank you, Skinner. It smells wonderful in here. I hope you like beets. I made them especially for you. Beets. I love beets. Great. I'll just go check on the food. Make yourself comfortable. Oh no, I've burned the beets. What will Mr. Chalmers think of me? I have to think of something quick. Maybe I can say that I meant to burn them. Yes, that's it. I'll say that I was trying to give them a smoky flavor. I'll just act confident and hope that he believes me. Okay, here goes nothing. That's it. I'll just go get some food from the cafeteria. They always have food there. Mr. Chalmers will never know the difference. I'll just act confident and hope that he believes me. Okay, here goes nothing. Hi, Mr. Chalmers. The food is ready. What is going on here, Skinner? The kitchen is full of smoke. Oh, that's just the beets. 
I was trying to give them a smoky flavor. The beets are on fire, Skinner. And so is the kitchen. No, no, it's all under control. I was just about to take them off the heat. Well, you better do it quickly before the whole house burns down. Skinner, these are turnips, not beets. What? No, they're beets. I got them from the store. No, I can tell they're turnips. I know my vegetables. Well, maybe they're baby beets. They just haven't grown up yet. Skinner, they're turnips. Where are the beets? Skinner, the kitchen is on fire. Oh, that's just the beets. I was trying to give them a smoky flavor. The beets are on fire, Skinner. And so is the kitchen. No, no, it's all under control. I was just about to take them off the heat. Well, you better do it quickly before the whole house burns down. Thank you for lunch, Skinner. I'll see you later. Yes, Mr. Chalmers. I'll see you later. And Skinner. Yes, Mr. Chalmers. Don't ever invite me over for lunch again. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Come on in. My dinner's not quite ready yet, but I'm so glad you've arrived. Please, make yourself comfortable. Thank you, Skinner. It smells delicious in here. How can I help? It's so kind of you to offer, Chalmers, but I'm almost done. Can I get you anything to drink in the meantime? That would be lovely. I'd love a cup of tea if you have it. Of course, I'll be right back with your tea. Please, make yourself at home. Well, this is great. Just perfect. I spent all morning working on this fancy dish and now it's ruined. I should know better than to trust a fictional character like you. Now I'm gonna have to start all over. Don't worry, Skinner. I'm sure you can fix it. Just get creative and think of something else to substitute for the coculi. Aha. Uh -huh. I think I've got it. If I can get my hands on some Biopong Moan, I might be able to replace this burnt coquel. That will take care of our problem. But how can I get my hands on some Biopong Moan? Hmm. Wait. I know. I can ask my old pal, Professor Matthews, if I can get some Biopong Moan from his lab. He's probably got some lying around. All right then, time to get to work. Professor Matthews, here I come. Skrrr! What the hell is going on? The kitchen is full of smoke. What are you doing? What? No, I'm making steamed cocoa. It's just steam. See? Skinner, stop lying. The kitchen is on fire. You need to put it out before it spreads. Oh, okay. Sorry about that. Skinner, what's going on here? This isn't cocoa. What did you do? Ah, uh, this is a very special kind of coculi. It's made from an old family recipe using bao ai pong moan. It's a secret recipe that's been passed down through the generations. It's been a staple of our family meals for years. Skinner, that's impossible. Kokil doesn't have anything to do with bao ai pong moan. You must have swapped this out with something else. No, I swear. I spent ages perfecting it. I even made sure to use the most ripe and fragrant Bai Pong Moan I could find for the recipe. I'm sure you're gonna love it. I'm not buying that story. What really happened? What did you do? What is going on? I can clearly see the kitchen is on fire. No, 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 no. It's just halos. It's nothing to worry about. Let me see it, please. No, it's too dangerous. You can't get close to it. I need to be sure. Let me take a look. I promise I won't get too close. Well, thanks for lunch. I have to get back to my office. I hope it's not burning down. What fire? Everything is perfectly fine here. Nothing but halos. Right. Sure. Take care. You too. See you later. Bye!
Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please do come in. Thank you, Principal Skinner. It smells delicious in here. What are you preparing? Ah, uh, it's my famous Parmigiana. I'm just getting it ready. I'm sure you'll love it. Sounds wonderful. I look forward to tasting your cooking. Well, it's almost ready, so let's sit down and chat until then. What have I done? That was supposed to be the best Parmigiana I've ever made. How could I have been so careless? <sighs> Such an idiot. I need to figure out a way to fix this. Maybe I can salvage some of it. I should see if there's anything I can do. Ah, uh, that tree outside the window has a lemon on one of its branches. I can use the lemon to make a classic Italian dish called Wiro. I just need some sugar, butter, and dried fruits. I'm sure I can find those in the pantry. Time to get cooking. I'm sure this Euro will be delicious. I just hope this will be enough to satisfy everyone for dinner. Wish me luck. What is going on here? The kitchen is full of smoke. What are you doing? I'm just making a steamed parmigiana. I assure you there is no fire here. I don't believe you. It smells like something is burning. What's really going on? I promise you there's no fire. I just haven't quite got the steaming process down yet. That's all. What is this? This isn't Parmigiana. Yes, it is. It's a new brand of Parmigiana made from the finest ingredients available. It's so good. It's better than Parmigiana. No, this is quite clearly you. What is going on here, Skinner? Oh, no, no. This is a special, limited edition Parmigiana. It's a tropical Parmigiana with hints of mango and lime, made exclusively for the elite. The taste is exquisite, I assure you. But this is Uiro. I can tell because of the texture and the flavor. What were you thinking? Skinner! The kitchen is on fire! We have to do something! No, no, there's no fire. This is probably just a visiting Loch Ness Monster. Don't worry about it. Skinner, let me see the Loch Ness Monster. No, there's nothing to see. It's probably just some steam or something. Don't worry about it. Skinner! How can there be a Loch Ness Monster in our kitchen? Well, thanks for lunch, Skinner. I should get going now, bye. Goodbye. Enjoy the rest of your day. Ah, uh, so the house is burning down, right? What? No, of course not. It's just a rumor of a Loch Ness Monster sighting. Nothing to be alarmed about. Okay. I guess I'll be going then. Hello, Mr. Chalmers. Come in, come in. Thank you, Skinner. I hope you're hungry. I made steamed angel cake. I'm sure it will be delicious, Skinner. I hope so. I've never made it before. Oh, no, I've burned the angel cake. Why, God, why? I was counting on this. I'm such a loser. Wait a minute. I see a delivery truck. Maybe they have angel cake. I'll just go out and ask them. Hi, I'm looking for angel cake. Do you have any angel cake? I'll take two, please. What is going on in here? Why is the kitchen full of smoke? I was just, um, cooking some angel cake. It smells like something is burning. No, no, it's just the angel cake. It's supposed to be steamed. This isn't angel cake. No, no, it's pimento. I swapped it out. Why would you do that? I didn't like the angel cake. I thought the pimento would be better. But why is the kitchen full of smoke? The kitchen is on fire. No, no. It's just the angel cake. It's supposed to be steamed. Skinner, the kitchen is on fire. No, no. It's just the pimento. I swapped it out. Why would you do that? Thanks for lunch, Skinner. 
I'll see you at work tomorrow. Yes, Mr. Chalmers. Thanks for coming over. Goodbye, Skinner. Goodbye, Mr. Chalmers. Oh, and Skinner? Good evening, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. I'm afraid the Icer Hamneton isn't quite ready yet, but it shouldn't be too long. Oh, Skinner. It's good to see you again. I'm looking forward to trying your Icer Hamneton. It's a traditional Icer Hamneton recipe. I think you'll find it has a light, peppery flavor. That sounds delicious. I'm always up for trying something new. Well, you've come to the right place. Please have a seat and make yourself comfortable. I'll have it ready soon. Damn it. I can't believe I did this. But I can't undo it now. I'm such an idiot. Why did I have to burn the Asorum Nedin? I should know better. Now I'm in trouble with the devil and there's nothing I can do about it. Hey, devil. Where are you? You'd better come out and face me so I can explain what happened. I don't want to be in your bad book, so I need to make this right. Ah, I see some wild wheat in the field outside. I, if I can find a way to turn it into flour, I can make some delicious bag rye to replace the Burnisor Hamneton. Devil, if you are willing to help me, I'm sure we can figure out a way. What do you think of that, devil? At least give me a hand. Let's get to work. I'll have to find a way to mill this wheat, but I'm sure we can figure something out. Come on, let's get to it. We'll need to find a grindstone and a way to power it. Hmm. Maybe a water wheel or some sort of windmill. We can start by looking around and see what we can find. Skinner, what is going on here? The kitchen is full of smoke. Oh, ooh, this. It's just steam, sir. I'm making steamed Iseromniton. It's a traditional squealian dish. Skinner, the kitchen is on fire. Put it out. Oh, of course, sir. Right away. Skinner, what is going on here? This isn't even close to Iseromniton. What kind of food did you bring back? Well, I had to search far and wide for a suitable replacement for the Isor Hamneton, and I believe I have found it. Introducing Bagreir, a spongy, flavorful Kauskas, like pastry from North Africa. I'm sure you'll find it to be a satisfactory replacement. No, that's not what I asked. I asked what happened to the Isor Hamneton. Ah, yes? Well, I had the Isor Hamneton in my possession for a brief period of time. However, I'm afraid it was stolen from me. A mysterious thief grabbed it and ran off before I could do anything. What? That's ridiculous. Who would do such a thing? Skinner, I can smell the smoke and see the flames. We have to do something to put the fire out now. No, no, no. This can't be a fire. It must be some sort of fairy. It's just the light playing tricks on our eyes. Let's not jump to conclusions here. But I can feel the heat from the flames. Are you sure it's not a fire? That's impossible. It must be fairy. Come on, let's go get some help to put out the fairy. No, Skinner. We have to call the fire department now. There's no time to waste. Thank you for lunch, Skinner. I must be off now. You're welcome. Have a nice day. Wait, what's that smell? What smell? There's nothing here. Just the smell of freshly cut grass. No, that smell. It smells like smoke. Hi, Superintendent Chalmers. Welcome. Please come in. The Rucola should be ready soon. Thanks for inviting me over. It smells delicious. It certainly does. Can I get you something to drink while you wait? A glass of wine would be great, thank you. Of course. Red or white? What a waste. I was really looking forward to eating this. 
Oh well, next time I'll be more careful. It's a good reminder to pay more attention to what I'm doing. I need to think of something that can replace violence with nonviolent tactics. Maybe there's something out there that I've overlooked before. The sun is shining through the trees and I can feel the hope in the air. What can I do to use peaceful means to solve our problems? Hmm. Hmm. It's so peaceful out here. I can feel that there's strength in the silence. Maybe I should take a moment to meditate and reflect. Maybe I'll find something in the silence that can help us to move forward without violence. Ah, uh, yes. I think I've got it. We can use dialogue and collaboration for our issues. We can strive to understand each other and work together to find a peaceful solution that works for everyone. I'm feeling more hopeful now. I think this creative solution will be the key to finding a non-violent way forward for us all. Yes. Now I just need to find a way to put my plan into action. What on earth is going on in here? It looks like a fire and it smells like smoke. And why were you trying to jump out the window? Uh, ah, uh, well, it's just a little steam from the steamed rucola I'm making. It must have been too hot, and the kitchen kind of filled up with billowing clouds of steam. I was just trying to get some fresh air in here. Steam! It sure doesn't look like steam to me. Don't lie to me, Skinner. I know something is going on here. What is it? Nothing, really. I promise. Just the rucola. I swear. I'm sorry if it looks like there was more going on. Skinner, why did you bring us non-violence instead of rucola? Oh, you know how it is. It's just one of those regional expressions. Rucola is such an obscure vegetable, so I thought I'd bring something a little more flavorful and familiar from this area. That doesn't make any sense, Skinner. What's the real reason you switched out the vegetables? Well, sir, I truly believe that non-violence is a better option than violence, and I wanted to promote a healthier lifestyle by introducing something new and different to the table. I think it was an excellent choice. Skinner, I'm not buying it. Just tell me the truth. What is going on in the kitchen? Oh, nothing. Just some time travelers passing through. Time travelers? I don't understand. Can I see it? No, I'm afraid that's not possible. But why is something wrong? That was a very interesting lunch. Unfortunately, I have to go now. Thanks for the hospitality. Mm -hmm. No problem. Please come again soon. I'm always glad to entertain someone with a passion for time travel. Thanks again. Goodbye. Goodbye. Wait! The house is on fire! Hey, Chalmers! Come on in. Lunch is almost ready. Oh, um, thanks, Skinner. What's on the menu? I made steamed parmesan. It's one of my favorites. <sighs> Sounds interesting. I hope you like it. I made it just for you. Shit, I burned a parmesan. Chalmers is gonna think I'm a terrible cook. Okay, think fast. What can I do? I know. I'll pretend like it's supposed to be burned. He'll never know the difference. Okay, here goes nothing. Hey, Chalmers, lunch is ready. Oh, look at that. A cat just caught a mouse. I'll tell Chalmers that's our lunch. He's never gonna know the difference. Hey, Chalmers, lunch is ready. I hope this works. Chalmers, I'm so sorry. I know you're a vegetarian. What the hell is going on in here, Skinner? The whole kitchen is full of smoke. I, um, well, you see, I was cooking the parmesan and... I had a little burnt. The whole thing is burnt to a crisp. And what's that smell? Oh, that. Yeah, um, I was just burning some incense. I thought it would make the kitchen smell nice. Burning incense? Are you trying to kill me? Scare! What is this? It's, uh, Parmesan. I, um, got it from, uh, the store. The store? But I thought you said you made it. Oh, no, I, 
Uh, I meant, I meant, uh, lunch. So you're telling me you didn't make any of this food? Skinner, the kitchen is on fire. Don't you see the smoke? Oh, that. Yeah, um, I was just burning some incense. I thought it would make the kitchen smell nice. Burning incense? Are you trying to kill me? No, no, of course not. I would never do that. And why is the kitchen on fire? Thanks for lunch, Skinner. I'm over. I'm going to go now. Oh, okay. Thanks for coming over, Chalmers. I'll see you soon. Yeah, see you. Phew. That was close. What the hell was that? Hello, Superintendent Chalmers. Welcome to my home. Come on in. Thank you, Skinner. It's good to be here. The... the Thalia Geniculata is almost ready. Why don't you sit down and make yourself comfortable while I finish up here? That sounds wonderful. I can't wait to try your cooking. Excellent. I'm sure you'll love it. Can I get you something to drink while we wait? What a fool I am. This is why I should never try cooking. I ruin everything. Why can't I do anything right? I should have asked Marjorie to help me. She always knows what to do. But now it's too late. I'm such an idiot. Um, that seaweed outside looks interesting. I wonder if it could be used to replace the burnt Thalia geniculata. Let's see if I can find out. I'll do some research on its nutritional benefits and see if it can be used for this purpose. Uh, perhaps I can ask around to see if anyone else has used this type of seaweed before. That could be a helpful way to determine if it would be a suitable replacement. I'll also check with a local store to see if they stock it. If so, then I should be able to purchase it and get started on my experiment. Yeah. Yes, this looks like a good solution. I'm sure I can make this work. All right, let's get to work. What is going on here? Why is the kitchen full of smoke? What were you doing climbing out the window? Steamed Thalia geniculata. I'm just steaming some Thalia geniculata. It's a delicious, healthy snack. I'm sure it's the source of the smoke you smell. No, the smoke is coming from the stove. Now I want the truth. What were you doing in here? It's a secret recipe. I was just trying to get the flavors just right. I promise. There's no fire. Just steam. Come on, Skinner. What is this stuff? It's a regional delicacy known as sea noodles. It's a popular dish around these parts. It might look a bit strange, but it's full of vitamins and minerals and can provide a nutritious snack. Where did you get this from? It's from an exclusive supplier in the area. It's a widely sought after item that's quite difficult to get a hold of, so I was quite lucky to find it. Okay, that's enough. We both know what happened here. You ran out of Thalia geniculata and replaced it with this seaweed. I just want to hear you admit it. What's going on in there? I smell smoke. Oh, it's just the aurora. Nothing to worry about. Really? Can I see it? No, no need. It's perfectly safe. It doesn't look safe. I think the kitchen is on fire. Thanks for lunch. I gotta go. Hold on, I have something special to show you. What is it? Aurora. It's beautiful, and you have to see it. No, I think I just hear fire alarms. I better go. Bye. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please, come in. We were just about to start preparing ox tongue pastry. It's not ready yet, but we can offer you something else to drink or eat in the meantime. Thank you, Principal Skinner. That would be very kind. Would you like something hot or cold? Tea or coffee? Some sandwiches, maybe. Coffee sounds great. With some sandwiches, if you have any. Of course. I'll be right back. 
Oh, gods, why did this happen? What have I done to deserve such punishment? I spent hours on this dish and now it's ruined. Is it my fault or is there some other force at work here? I suppose I'll never know the answer. All I can do is accept my mistake, learn from it, and move on. I know I can do this. I will make a Hydrocles pastry that surpasses even the burn tox. Tongue. I will use the resources around me to make it happen. The trees, the river, the soil, the sky, all these things can help me create what I need. I will work until the task is done. I will gather the resources and use them to create something that is even more delicious than the burn tox. Tongue pastry. I will work hard and with determination and will not rest until I have achieved my goal. Gods, help me in this endeavor. Give me the knowledge, the strength, and the courage to achieve my goal. For I am determined, and I will make a Hydrocles pastry that is truly exceptional. I will do this. I will make a Hydrocles pastry that will be the pride of the village. I am ready. Let's do this. What is going on here? Why is the kitchen full of smoke and why were you climbing out of the window? What were you doing? Oh, oh, uh, I was just making some steamed ox. Tongue pastry. Really? Then why is there so much smoke coming from the stove? Oh, uh, well, I may have. Uh, accidentally set the oven a bit too high and the pastry is burning a bit faster than I anticipated. No big deal. I think I can still salvage it. Skinner! You substituted something entirely different from what you told us you were bringing. Care to explain why? Well, I just figured that Hydrocles would be a great addition to our meal. It's an incredibly rare delicacy that's incredibly hard to find, especially in this part of town. I thought we should have a taste of something truly special. You're not seriously trying to pass off Hydrocles' as ox. Tongue pastry, are you? No, no, of course not. I just wanted to bring something unique and delicious to the table. I'm sure you'll all love the Hydrocles. I'm not sure I believe you. It seems like you deliberately misled us about what you were bringing. Skinner, is there a fire in the kitchen? No, no, it must be Magalodon. You can't see it, but I'm sure it's there. Come on, Skinner. I can smell the smoke. Let's go and check it out. No way. I'm sure it's just Magalodon. Fine. I'll go and check it out myself. Thank you for lunch, Mr. Skinner. I think I should be getting back to the office now. Oh, and uh, you might want to check on the house. It looks like it might be on fire. Oh, I hadn't noticed. I'm sure it's nothing to worry about. Probably just a silly old Magalodon causing a bit of mischief. A Magalodon? What are you talking about? Never mind. I'll take a look at the house, don't worry. All right. I'll see you later then. Welcome, Professor Chalmers. Please come in. The Kadyosmanic Ubat is not quite ready yet but it won't be much longer. Thank you, Principal Skinner. The smell is already delicious. Would you like a refresher while you wait? We have some freshly brewed coffee, tea, and a selection of juices. A cup of coffee sounds nice. Thank you. Coming right up. Oh, great. I am such an idiot. I can't believe I burned Kadyos Menak Ubad. Now I have to start all over. Ugh. This is going to take forever. At least I can try to salvage some of the other ingredients. Maybe I can save this meal yet. I think I know what I have to do. I need to go out and get some fruit gushers to replace the burnt Kadyos Menok Ubad. That should do the trick. Time to get creative and solve this problem. I'll head to the store and see if I can find the perfect replacement. 
Let's do this. Onward! What is going on here? This kitchen is full of smoke. Oh, nothing's wrong. I'm just making us some delicious steamed Cadio's Manicubad for dinner. That still doesn't explain the smoke. Are you sure there's not a fire going on in here? No, of course not. It's just steam from the steamed Cadio's Manicubad. I assure you there's no fire. Skinner, what is going on here? This isn't Cadio's Manicubad. No, no. Of course it is. Kadios Minakubad is an ancient recipe. And these fruit gushers are a modern twist on it. I'm sure you'll love it. That's clearly not true, Skinner. What is really going on here? Well, all right. I switched it out because I thought you would like a little something different. I thought the fruit gushers would add a bit of fun and excitement to our meal. I'm sorry if I made the wrong call. Apology accepted. Next time, let's just stick to the original plan. Mr. Skinner, are you sure the kitchen isn't on fire? I can smell smoke. No, no, no. It's... levitation. I'm sure of it. You can't see it, but it's definitely levitation. Okay, I don't understand. Can I see it? No, that's not possible. You just have to trust me that it's levitation. I... I think we need to get out of here now. Well, thank you for lunch, Skinner. I do apologize again for the smoke and the smell. I really should be going now. No problem at all. Have a nice day now, Professor Chalmers. Yes, you too. I must say it looks like you've mastered the art of levitation. All that's left is to make the smoke disappear. Yes, I suppose so. Goodbye, Skinner. Uh, Superintendent Chalmers, please come in. It's a pleasure to have you here. The Wallastina is almost ready, but not quite yet. Thank you, Principal Skinner. It smells wonderful. I'm very excited for dinner. Well, we're glad to have you. Let me show you to the living room. We can make some small talk until the Wallastina is ready. That sounds great. I'd like to hear more about your family. Of course. My daughter is studying abroad this semester, and my son just started his first job. I'm so proud of them both. Ah, uh, what have I done? I can't believe I burned the Desvelshava. What a disaster. Now I'm going to have to start all over again. No use crying over spilled milk. I'll just have to try and make the best of it. If I can find that Swaledale cheese, I could replace the burnt Desvelshava with it. I just need to find a way to get it in here. Now, what can I use? Huh. Maybe I can try to get one of the delivery trucks to stop outside, or perhaps I can ask someone outside to buy it for me. Well, it's worth a try. I just hope this works. I'm determined to find a way to get the Swaledale cheese and replace the burnt Zelshava. Come on, I know I can do this. Skinner, what are you doing? Why is the kitchen full of smoke? Oh, uh, this is just steam from the steam does Velshava making. Uh, I'm sure it'll be delicious. No, Skinner, I can smell the smoke. What's really going on? Well, uh, maybe there was a small grease fire in the oven that I was able to quickly put out. That must have been it. Skinner, what is going on here? You said you were bringing Diaz Velshava, and yet here we are with Swaledale cheese. Why did you make this substitution? I can assure you, Professor Chalmers, that I have not made any substitution. The Zelshava cheese you requested is of the highest quality and is stored in a special refrigerated container to ensure its freshness. 
I simply took the opportunity to provide you and your students with a rare and delicious delicacy. Are you serious? That doesn't explain why we have Swaledale cheese on the table. I'm afraid I cannot answer that question at this time. All I can tell you is that the Swaledale cheese is of the same high quality as the Desvelshava, and I can guarantee it will add an interesting new flavor to your meal. But why did you make the switch? You must have had a reason. What is that? It looks like a fire. Don't worry. It's just an astral projection. Nothing to worry about. Can I see it? No, I'm afraid it is too dangerous. We should just leave it alone. Okay. Then let's call the fire department. Well, um, thanks for lunch, Skinner. I must be off now. Yeah, sure, of course. Have a nice day. Wait, what's that smell? Is there a fire? What fire? I don't smell any smoke. It's probably just astral projection, nothing to worry about. Astral projection? Are you sure? That smell is really strong, maybe you should check it out? Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. Thank you, Principal Skinner. It's nice to be here. I hope you're hungry. Lumia is cooking up a storm, but it's not quite ready yet. Sounds delicious. Is there anything I can do to help out? No, no. Please, make yourself at home. Would you like something to drink? What am I going to do now? I've ruined dinner. It's all my fault. I should have paid more attention when I was cooking. Now I have to figure out something else for dinner. <sighs> now I have to figure out something else for dinner. Uh, this is not how I wanted tonight to go. Maybe I can salvage something from the kitchen. I'll just have to think of something else for dinner. Ama, that tree looks big enough for me to climb and get some of those biscuit rolls from the top. Maybe with some luck I can get enough of them to replace the burnt edlumia. All right, here I go. Oh, oh, this is harder than I thought. Come on, Skinner, you can do it. Whew, finally, all right, time to rescue these biscuit rolls. I think I have enough here to replace the burnt at Lumia. Now to get back down. What are you doing? And what? Oh, I'm just making steamed at Lumia. It's a traditional recipe, requires a bit of steam. That's not steam, it's smoke. Have you started a fire? Admit it. No, I swear it's just the steam from the Adlumia. See? There's nothing wrong here. Skinner, is this really Adlumia? Well, it's a special variety of Adlumia. This particular batch is made with a special recipe that has been passed down for generations. It's a closely guarded family secret. I can assure you that it is absolutely delicious. Well, it looks nothing like the Adlumia I was expecting. Are you really sure this is Adlumia? I can't divulge the recipe, but I can guarantee you that it's made with only the finest Adlumia ingredients. It's a rare and exquisite delicacy. You won't be disappointed. You won't be disappointed. Skinner, I'm not convinced. Are you absolutely certain this is Adlumia? What's happening? Why is the kitchen on fire? That's not a fire. It's Aurora Australis, which happens to be a beautiful phenomenon of the upper atmosphere. I want to see it for myself. Can you show it to me? No, I'm afraid that's not possible. It's too high up for us to observe. But trust me, it's Aurora Australis. This isn't making any sense. Why can't I see it? Ah, Skinner, I think your house is on fire. Don't be silly, Chalmers. It's just the Aurora Australis. Now have a nice day. But the smoke, the flames. It's just an optical illusion, Chalmers. Nothing to worry about. Now off you go. If you say so, Skinner. Goodbye. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. Thank you, Principal Skinner. 
It smells like something's cooking in here. Ah, uh, yes. I'm making some cheese puffs. It's a treat I make for special occasions. Unfortunately, it's not quite ready yet. Can I offer you something else in the meantime? No, thank you. I'm fine for now. Very well. Please, have a seat. I'm sure the cheese puffs will be done soon. I can't believe I did, did this. What a waste of time and money. I was really looking forward to these. Stupid mistake. I need to be more careful in the kitchen. Well, I guess I'll just have to make something else for dinner. I wonder if those shrubs outside have any edible fruit I could use to replace the cheese puffs. I'd better go check it out. Where did I put my keys? Ah, uh, there they are. Let's see if I can find out what type of plant this is. A quick Google search should do the trick. I'll just have to be careful when picking the fruit. I don't want to get sick. All right, let's do this. What are you doing in here? This kitchen is full of smoke. Why were you climbing out the window? Oh, nothing, sir. Just making a few steamed cheese puffs. It's just a bit of steam. Nothing to worry about. I don't believe you. What's really going on? Okay, okay, I'll admit it. It's a bit of a mess. The stove caught fire while I was cooking, and I panicked and was trying to put it out. I apologize for the smoke. The question is, why did you substitute this strange food for the cheese puffs that were ordered? I thought it would be a nice surprise. La Critique is a local delicacy, and I thought it would be a nice way to broaden everyone's culinary horizons. Plus, I'm sure it tastes even better than cheese puffs. The ingredients list certainly doesn't seem to indicate that it's any more nutritious than cheese puffs. Ah, but that's where you'd be wrong. Flacurta K contains antioxidants and vitamins that cheese puffs do not. So, you would be doing your body a favor by switching to this snack. But, why not just tell us the truth? What is your real motive here? I'm not sure I believe your explanation. Skinner, I think the kitchen is on fire. No, no, it's not on fire. It must be an ogre. We don't need to worry. Can I see it? No, it's too dangerous. We must stay away for now. But, but the smoke. What about the smoke? Goodbye, Skinner. I better get back to work. Be sure to take care and don't forget to call me later. Will do. Goodbye. Have a good day. You too. Good evening, Superintendent Chalmers. Please do come in. Good evening, Principal Skinner. Is that a surprise I smell cooking? Smells delightful. Yes, it is. It's not quite ready yet, but it won't be long. Can I get you a drink while you wait? That sounds lovely. Thank you. What can I get you? We have a selection of beers, wines, and spirits. Damn it. I can't believe I burned the serpoids again. I was so close to getting it right this time. I must have been distracted. Ah, well. Nothing to do now but start over. This time... I'll pay closer attention and make sure I get it right. I won't let it ruin my dinner. Uh, I think I just saw a bush full of bean feast out there. Now all I need to do is pick some of the beans and maybe I can whip up enough of a bean feast to replace this burnt serpentines. I just need to figure out how to get to it. Maybe I can climb out the window and make my way over there. Okay, here goes nothing. Well, that was harder than I thought it'd be. Let's see if this bean feast is as good as I hope it is. Um, um, it's delicious. What the hell is going on here? The kitchen is full of smoke. Are you trying to burn the place down? Oh, no, it's nothing like that. 
I'm just making some steam serpoids, and the steam is filling up the kitchen. That's not steam. That's smoke. Put the fire out and tell me what the hell is going on. Okay, okay. I was heating oil in a pan and it got too hot and started smoking. I'm really sorry. What is this? This isn't the serpoids I asked for. Oh, this. It's a special dish, a gourmet bean feast. It's a secret recipe I picked up from a top chef in France. I thought you'd appreciate something a bit more unique than the usual stuff. But I asked for serpoids. Uh, yes, of course. I just thought this would be an interesting alternative. I'm sure you'll love it once you try it. Skinner, I know you switched the orders on purpose. Why did you do it? Skinner, the kitchen is on fire. We need to get out of here now. No, no, no. That can't be. It must be hailstorms. You don't need to worry. It'll be fine. Skinner, I need to see for myself. Let me take a look. No, I don't think that's a good idea. Let's just go to the living room. It's safer there. Skinner, this is serious. I need to see if the kitchen is on fire or not. Please let me take a look. Well, thanks for lunch, Mr. Skinner. I really appreciate it. I should be going now. All right. Have a safe journey home. Oh, my God. Look at that. The house is on fire. What? No, no, no. That's just a hailstorm. Oh, Mr. Skinner, I think you should call the fire department. Hi, Superintendent Chalmers. Welcome, come on in. Thank you, Principal Skinner. I'm just finishing up a Dutch pie for supper. It's not ready yet, but it should be soon. Oh, that smells delicious. Is there anything I can do to help? No, I have it under control. Why don't we head into the living room and chat for a bit? God damn it. I can't believe I burned the Dutch pie. This is the last time I try a new recipe. Now I have to start all over again and make a whole new pie. Come on, Skinner. Pull it together. You can make another Dutch pie. Just focus and you'll get it right the second time. Wait a minute. I just saw something outside the window that might help me. Yes, bean sprouts. Those would be perfect. I'm sure I could make something delicious with them. But first, I need to get my hands on some bean sprouts. Hum, where can I find them? I know. I'll check the nearest grocery store. I'll have to hurry, though, so I don't miss out on the chance to make this delicious pie. Now let's go get some bean sprouts. Time to get to work. I'm gonna make the most delicious bean sprout pie the world has ever seen. What is going on here? Why is the kitchen full of smoke? It's nothing, sir. I'm making a steamed Dutch pie, and the steam from it is making the kitchen a bit smoky. A steamed Dutch pie? That's not what I'm smelling. It smells like smoke. What's really going on here? It's nothing, sir, I promise. Just a bit of an accident. Please don't worry about it. Skinner, what is going on here? Dutch pie was on the menu today, and now it's been replaced with bean sprouts. What is the explanation for this? Ah, so glad you asked. You see, the Dutch pie was poisoned. We were able to detect the poison before anyone was hurt, and so we made the decision to switch it with the bean sprouts, which we happen to know are packed with essential vitamins and minerals. So we decided to make a... Wait, wait, wait. Poisoned? How do you know it was poisoned? Oh, um, that's a great question. Our top food specialist conducted extensive tests and analyses of the pie and determined that there were traces of a toxic substance that could have been potentially very harmful. We absolutely had to act to protect our customer's safety, so we acted quickly and responsibly, and that's why we... Skinner, I'm not buying it. Where did this poison pie come from? What is going on here? I smell smoke. Is there a fire? 
No, 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 it is just river monsters. They come in through the windows and vents. Don't worry, there is no fire. Let me see it. I want to prove to myself that there is no fire. No, I'm sorry. You can't see it. The river monsters are too dangerous and I have to keep everyone safe. I don't believe you. I'm calling the fire department. Well, it was nice seeing you, Skinner. Uh, uh that was a lovely lunch, thank you very much. Oh, and don't forget to close the door behind you on your way out. Oh my, that smell, it's... Uh, I think that's a fire, Skinner. No, 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 nothing of the sort. It's just the river monsters. Nothing to worry about. Are you sure? It looks like it's getting pretty bad. Uh, hello, Superintendent Chalmers. Welcome. Please come in. Thank you, Principal Skinner. Uh... I hope you don't mind, but I'm still working on dinner. The Sifnos won't be ready for another 20 minutes or so. Can I get you something to drink in the meantime? That sounds great. I'd love a cup of tea. Coming right up. Have a seat while I get it ready. Damn it. How did I screw this up? I knew I was in a hurry. I should have paid more attention. I worked so hard on this dish and now it's ruined. It's okay. I can start over. I'm sure I can figure out a way to salvage this. Deep breaths. I know what I've got to do. That little shop down the street is all sorts of knickknacks. I'll just go down there and pick up some new decorations. Yes, that's the perfect plan. I just need to hurry up and get there before they close. Wonderful. Now all I need to do is make sure I have enough money before I leave. Time to go shopping. Oh boy, this is gonna be fun. What is going on here and why is the kitchen full of smoke? Is there a fire? No, 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 no. It's just some steam coming off the steam sif nose I'm making. That's impossible. Show me what you're cooking. Okay, here you go. See? Just a harmless pot of steamed sif nose. Skinner, you told me that this was supposed to be sif nose. What's going on here? Uh, uh, yes. Well, this is a special edition of sif nose from a small artisanal supplier I recently discovered. It's the same flavor, but with a unique shape and texture. I thought the students would be delighted by the extra variety. Skinner, I don't think that's what this is. I'm pretty sure this is knickknacks. Knickknacks. No, no, no. This is definitely Sifnos. I mean, look at it. It's unmistakable. Just a bit different than what you may be used to. That's all. Skinner, I'm not falling for this. Now tell me the truth. What is this? What's going on in there? Why is it so smoky? Oh, that's just a centaur. Nothing to worry about. A centaur? Can I see it? No, I think it's better if you don't. It's really nothing. Just a little bit of smoke. I don't believe you. I think the kitchen is on fire. Oh, wow, Professor Skinner. Thank you for the lovely lunch. I should be heading home now. Please let me know if there is anything I can do to help. There's nothing to worry about. It's just a minor centaur problem. You may leave now. Oh, okay. Have a nice day, Chalmers. You too. Ah, Dr. Chalmers. Welcome, please. Come in. Thank you, Principal Skinner. Something smells delicious. Yes, it's a recipe my grandmother gave me. The docker is almost ready. We just need a few more minutes. That sounds wonderful. How about a glass of sherry while we wait? Why, certainly. Please make yourself comfortable. Why can't I get anything right? What is wrong with me? God, why can't I do anything right? What do I expect of myself? Why can't I pay attention to the little things? Is this all I'm good for? Is this all I've got? 
dear God, please help me find something outside the window that will help me replace the burnt dodger with Cortland. Show me the way. Come on, there must be something out there that will help me. Please. God, I need a sign. Uh, a gust of wind. I think it's trying to tell me something. Maybe I can use it as a clue to find the right replacement. Yes. All I need to do is go outside and look around. There's got to be something out there that can help me. Thank you, God. I'm going to do it. Here I come. What's going on here? It's full of smoke. What are you doing? I'm just making dinner. It's Justine. Nothing to worry about. It smells like something's burning. Don't lie to me. I can see the smoke. What's going on? Oh, uh, nothing. I just dropped a few ingredients in the pan, that's all. No fire, I promise. What is this? It's a special variety of Dodger. It's made with the finest Cortland apples, and it has a unique flavor that you will absolutely love. It's an old family recipe that's been passed down for generations. Scary! It's clearly not a Dodger. What is this? Well, I don't want to be too technical here, but it's a sort of hybrid between a traditional Dodger and a Cortland apple. We call it, uh, Dortland, and it's a real delicacy. Skinner! This is clearly not a Dodger. Please tell me the truth. What is this? What is going on here? The kitchen is clearly on fire. We need to take action to get it out now. Oh, uh, you must be mistaken. Those are just mammoth clouds. Nothing to worry about. No, those are not clouds. That's smoke. Look, you can see the flames. We need to call the fire department right away. No, you're wrong. That's just the mammoth clouds. It's nothing to worry about. No, it's not. Look, the flames are getting bigger and more intense. This is a fire. We need to take egg action. Thanks for the lunch, Skinner. I have to be on my way now, so... Oh, no problem. Take care now. Mamatus Cloud's coming in. <sighs> um, what? Mamatus Clouds, they're usually seen near thunderstorms, but they don't necessarily mean one is coming. Be careful. Right? Well, bye then. Hello, Superintendent Chalmers. So nice of you to join us. Please come in and make yourself comfortable. Thank you, Principal Skinner. I appreciate the invitation. It smells wonderful. What's cooking? Ah, it's my famous beef stew. It should be ready soon. Can I get you a drink while we wait? Yes, a glass of water would be lovely. Of course, I'll be right back. Please, have a seat. Why did this have to happen? This is just my luck. I knew I should have taken that cooking class. Uh, I... What am I going to do now? Well, you, you could start by cleaning up the mess. Then you can try to see if you can make something else with what you have in the kitchen. You can also go out and buy some new ingredients to make something different. It's not the end of the world. You'll get through this. Chine up. Come on, Skinner. You can do this. You just need to find the calodendrum tree to replace the burnt tree. Maybe if I look outside the window, I'll find it. Yes, that's it. There it is, just past the hill. I've found it. Now I just have to get out there and transplant it. But how will I get it here? I guess I'll have to carry it. All right, I can do this. I just have to stay focused and strong. I have to do this for the environment. Go, Skinner, go. All right, let's do this. Here we go. I'm gonna make this work. I'm gonna make nature proud. I've got this. Nature, here I come. What's going on here, Skinner? The kitchen's full of smoke and I just saw you climbing out the window. What are you doing in here? Ah, uh, nothing, sir. I was just cooking up some steamed TJ. It's a traditional Ethiopian dish that I'm experimenting with. 
All the steam has caused the smoke. I'm not sure I believe you. Are you sure there's nothing else going on here? Is the kitchen on fire? No, of course not. That's crazy. Nothing like that at all. Just the steamed TJ and the smoke. Skinner, why did you choose to bring Kelodendrum instead of Tej? I have to tell you, it's sort of a funny story. You see, I was out getting the TJ and I stumbled across this amazing new type of fruit that I just had to get. It's called Kelodendrum and it's actually a superfood. It's got all sorts of amazing health. That doesn't explain why you didn't get the TJ, Skinner. Well, I figured it was worth it to try something new, so I got the Caledendrum instead. I thought it was a better option for everyone. Plus, I hear it's great for digestive health. Skinner, you're not getting away with this. You'll have to explain yourself. What is going on? Why is there so much smoke? Oh, don't worry, it's just a gelatinous cube. You can't see it because it's transparent. I don't believe you. Let me see it. No, it's too dangerous. Trust me, it's just a gelatinous cube. This is ridiculous. I'm calling the fire department. Ah, uh, Skinner. What's happening over there? Oh, nothing to worry about. It's just a gelatinous cube, nothing to be concerned about. But there's a fire. We should do something. No need to worry. The gelatinous cube will take care of it. Don't worry, I've got it handled. Okay, if you say so. But, uh, we should probably call a fire department or something. Do 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 do. Skinner and Chalmers, side by side, the principal and the teacher in stride. Skinner keeps making Chalmers see red. The strange duo's comedy sheen is kinda hard to dread. Trying to get the better of each other each night. Skinner and Chalmers always up to a fight. When shenanigans are in town tonight, you'll see Skinner and Chalmers. Their hilarious plight. See you more, huh? Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Come on in. Please make yourself comfortable. The redfish is cooking, but it's not quite ready yet. Can I get you something to drink while we wait? No, thank you. It smells wonderful. How have you been? I'm doing great. What about you, Superintendent Chalmers? How has your week been? It's been good. Busy, but good. I'm looking forward to a nice dinner and some relaxing conversation. Well, I'm sure you'll get that here. Feel free to tell me about anything you like. I'm all ears. God, why did I do this? Why did I forget to watch the fish? I'm such an idiot. I can't believe I let myself be so careless. I'm so frustrated and angry at myself. What's worse, now I have nothing to eat for dinner. Please help me find a solution to this. Maybe I can go to the store and get something else to cook. That's it. I'll get something else to cook and I'll make this a learning experience. I won't let myself be so careless again. Okay, God, I'm not sure how this is going to work, but I'm going to give it a shot. Please help me find a substitute for the burnt redfish. I'm thinking, maybe some buns. Yeah, buns could work. Now I just need to find a way to make them. Now let's see, I could run to the store to get some buns, but that would mean leaving the house, which I don't want to do. Um, maybe I could make the buns from scratch. Yeah, that could work. I could find a recipe and get the ingredients I need. Thank you, God, for giving me this idea. I'm sure I can do this. Please keep guiding me and help me find success. Okay, time to make some buns. First, I need to gather the ingredients. Why is there so much smoke in here? What have you been doing? I haven't been doing anything, I swear. It's just steam from the sink. I was washing some dishes. No, that's not steam. That's smoke. The kitchen is on fire. No, it's not. It's just a little bit of smoke. It's nothing to worry about. Skinner. Is this the food you ordered? It looks nothing like what you told me. Uh, of course it is, sir. It's the finest redfish in the region. I had the kitchen staff add some unique spices to give it a unique flavor. Something you won't find anywhere else. I guarantee it will be the most memorable meal you've ever had. 
Skinner, I can see that it's not the right food. What is it really? I assure you, sir, it is the exact meal I promised. The chefs have been working tirelessly to create the perfect combination of spices and ingredients for a truly one of a uh, kind experience. I believe you will be truly satisfied with the result. Skinner, I think it's time you tell me the truth. What is this? Mr. Skinner, the kitchen is on fire. We need to evacuate immediately. No, no, no. It's just some burnt popcorn I left in the microwave. It'll be gone in a jiffy. Mr. Skinner, this is not some burnt popcorn. The kitchen is really on fire. We need to get everyone out of here now. Oh, no, no, no. You must be mistaken. It's just a small kitchen problem that I can take care of. There's no need to evacuate. Mr. Skinner, I'm telling you the truth. The kitchen is on fire and we need to leave now. It was nice having lunch with you, Skinner. Thank you for the hospitality, but I think I should be leaving. That fire doesn't seem to be letting up. Oh, no, the house is on fire. You should go. The fire department is on their way. I hope everyone gets out safe. Yes, of course. Goodbye, Skinner. Take care. Goodbye. Take care. Goodbye. Goodbye. Hello, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. Dinner is almost ready, but it'll be a few more minutes before it's done. That's no problem. It smells wonderful. What can I do to help? I appreciate the offer. How about you get the drinks ready for everyone? We have beer, wine, and soda in the fridge. Just help yourself. Sounds like a plan. Should I make a pitcher of something? That would be great. I think the kids will appreciate it. How about a fruit juice with a little soda for a bit of kick? Oh, no! I can't believe I burned the tocotrienol. How could I have been so careless? I should have been more careful. I guess it's a reminder that I need to pay more attention to what I'm doing next time. But it's a lesson learned, and I'm sure I won't make that mistake again. I think I might be able to find a replacement for the burnt tocotrienol in that plant outside the window. I'll need to get a few samples of the leaves to take back to the leaves to take back to the lab and analyze them. Once I have the samples, I'll have to run some tests in order to figure out if it is a viable substitute. Hopefully this will work out and I can get this experiment back on track. Let's go have a look outside and see what I can find. Maybe it's time to go for a walk. It's time to get to work. What are you doing and why is this kitchen full of smoke? And why were you climbing out the window? It isn't smoke. It's just steam from the steamed tocotrienol I'm making. This is a special recipe, and I'm working hard to get it just right. Are you sure it's not a fire? I can smell it. No, no fire. This recipe just smells very strongly. I promise, just steam from the tocotrienol. Skinner, why did you switch out the tocotrienol for dipteronia? Well, I thought the dipteronia had more of a zesty flavor that my customers would enjoy more. Plus, it's been scientifically proven to be healthier and contain more nutrients than tocotrienol. But that doesn't explain why you didn't tell anyone about the switch. Surely your customers would want to know what's in the food they're eating. Oh, I'm sorry. I wasn't sure if my customers had heard of tocotrienol, so I thought it would be easier to just keep it a secret. But I can assure you dipteronia is a healthier and more nutritious alternative. Skinner, this is unacceptable. You should have been up front with your customers and let them make their own decision. Skinner, the kitchen is on fire. We need to put it out right now. No, there's no need for that. This is just a planetary alignment. It should pass soon. Can I see it for myself? Are those flames I see? No, no, that's not possible. It's just a planetary alignment. It should pass soon. We need to get out of here and get help. This fire is too big to put out on our own. Well, thank you for lunch, Mr. Skinner.
I should be heading out now. He notices the fire and screams. The house is on fire. What? No, of course not. It's just some kind of planetary alignment. All is perfectly normal. Mr. Skinner, you can't ignore a burning house. We need to call the fire department. No, we don't need to do that. It's all perfectly normal. But I'm calling them anyway. Hello, Mr. Chalmers. It's so nice to see you. Please come in. Thank you, Skinner. You have a lovely home. Thank you, sir. I'm just getting lunch ready. I hope you're hungry. I am. Thank you. Great. I made steamed mustard. I hope you like it. Oh, no. I've burned the mustard. What will Mr. Chalmers think of me? I'm such a loser. I can't even make mustard without burning it. Yeah, yes, the chickens. I'll just go get some eggs and we can have scrambled eggs instead. Uh, yeah, oh, Mr. Chalmers likes scrambled eggs. I'm such an idiot. Why did I invite him over for lunch anyway? Um, just gonna go get the eggs. Maybe he won't notice the burned mustard. Please don't notice the burned mustard, Mr. Chalmers. Please don't notice the burned mustard. What is going on in here, Skinner? The kitchen is full of smoke. Oh, it's nothing, sir. Just, uh, steaming the mustard. You know, to make it taste better. That's not steaming, Skinner. That's burning. No, no, sir. It's not burning. It's, uh, just, uh, browning. Skinner, what is this? It's, uh, steamed mustard, sir. This is blueberry pie. No, no, sir. It's not. It's, uh, just a different color because it's, uh, organic. Skinner, this is clearly blueberry pie. The kitchen is on fire, Skinner! No, no. It's not. It's, uh, just, uh, smoking a little because I, uh, put too much water in the pan. Skinner, the kitchen is on fire. No, no, sir. Really, it's not. It's, uh, just a minor grease fire. I'll take care of it. The kitchen is on fire, Skinner. We have to get out of here. Thanks for lunch, Skinner. I've got to go. No problem, sir. Anytime. I'll... I'll... See you at work tomorrow. Yes, sir. See you tomorrow. Goodbye, Skinner. Hello, Superintendent Chalmers. Come on in. Dinner won't be ready for another ten minutes or so. Thank you, Principal Skinner. That's very kind. It smells delicious. Whatever it is. It's my mother's windfall roast. I hope you like it. I'm sure I will. It smells amazing. Come, let me show you around while we wait. Oh, damn it. I can't believe I burned the windfall. What a stupid mistake. I should have paid more attention. Now what am I going to do? I've worked so hard to get it right, and now all that work is gone. Well, I guess I'll just have to start again. I'm sure I can figure something out. Ah, uh, so that's what I need. Broad beans. I just need to collect enough of them to fill in the gap where the burnt windfall used to be. Now I just need to figure out how to get them back to my garden. Uh, I could ask my neighbor for help, but it would be quicker if I just go and collect the beans myself. Right, let's go. I'll need a bucket, gloves, and a good pair of boots. I'll also need to take my hat and coat to protect me from the weather. Once I'm all geared up, I just need to find the right spot to pick the beans. It's going to take some time, but I'm sure I can figure it out. What the hell is going on here? The kitchen is full of smoke. Are you cooking something? No, no, no. This is just steam. I was putting some food in the oven earlier and it let out a lot of steam. That doesn't explain why there is smoke. 
Open the oven and let me see. All right, but I'm telling you, it's just steam. Skinner, what exactly is this food that you brought back? Well, uh, this here is a very special blend of broad beans, cooked up to perfection. It's a rare delicacy that can only be found in the most remote parts of the world. It's incredibly nutritious and packed with energy, so it will give you lots of energy for your busy day. I guarantee. Ah, doesn't sound like windfall. What are you hiding, Skinner? Be honest with me now. I can assure you that this is the best food around. It's packed with protein, vitamins, and minerals. Plus, the taste is out of this world. You won't find a more flavorful meal anywhere else. And yet it doesn't look or smell like windfall. What's the truth, Skinner? Skinner, the kitchen is on fire. We need to get out of here. No, no, that's just a natural phenomenon like supercells. It's nothing to worry about. No, we need to get out of here now. The kitchen is on fire. It's just supercells. Nothing to worry about. Let's just enjoy our dinner. No, this is serious. The kitchen is on fire. We have to get out of here now. Thanks for the lunch, Skinner. I really appreciate it. But I think I should be going now. Looks like it's starting to rain. What do you think it is? Oh, it's just supercells. Now let's keep talking. Hmm. I don't think that's what it is. I think. Hmm. I think. Uh, there's a fire going on. Can you smell it? I think we need to get out of here. Oh, don't worry about that. That's probably just someone burning some leaves in their backyard. This is a very safe neighborhood. Let's just keep chatting. No, I really think that's a fire. We should probably go outside to be safe. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please, come in. Thank you, Principal Skinner. Would you like something to drink while you wait? The Cuban sandwich is almost ready. No, thank you. I'm good. Very well. Please make yourself comfortable. How could I have been so careless? I promised myself I wouldn't let this happen again. I can't believe I've ruined dinner. What am I going to do now? I'm so hungry and there's no way to salvage this sandwich. Um, sure I can make a delicious sandwich with some Kunick cheese. That should do the trick. I just need to find some bread butter and a few slices of that cheese. I'm sure I can find it all in the kitchen. Let's go shopping. I should be able to find everything I need for the sandwich without too much trouble. Time to get cooking. All right, now I just need to figure out how to put it all together and make the perfect sandwich. What is going on here? The kitchen is full of smoke. What have you done? Nothing. Nothing at all. I'm just making a steamed Cuban sandwich. See, it's all the steam from it. It's harmless. This isn't steam. It's smoke. You're trying to cover up that the kitchen is on fire. I demand to know what is really going on here. As I all right, I admit it, the kitchen is on fire. I was trying to make a grilled cheese sandwich with a blowtorch and it started a small fire. I've got it under control though and the fire department is on their way. Explain to me why you brought Kunik cheese instead of a Cuban sandwich when I specifically asked for one. I had good reason to believe that the Cuban sandwich vendor had resorted to using subpar ingredients in his recipes, so I decided to err on the side of caution and bring something else that I thought you'd be more pleased with. Kunik cheese is a delicacy from my homeland of Alaska that I think you'll find. Skinner, I'm not falling for your story. I asked for a Cuban sandwich and that's what I expect to receive. Where is the Cuban sandwich? I... Uh, well, I was on my way to the Cuban sandwich vendor when I passed by a small cheese shop. The owner had just received a shipment of Kunick cheese from Alaska, and he told me that it was so rare that he only had enough to make one sandwich. He asked if I wanted... Cut the crap, Skinner! Where is my Cuban sandwich? What is that smoke smell? Is it Will? 
Oh, wish. Yes, it must be Will. Oh, the wish. I don't see any smoke or any fire. Can I see the will? Oh, wisp. No, I'm afraid it's gone now. But I'm sure I smell smoke. Are you sure there isn't a fire? Well, thanks for the lunch, Skinner. I should be going now. Wait, don't you smell that odd smell? Don't you see the smoke coming up from the house? Yeah, yes, I do see the smoke. Are you sure there isn't a fire? We should call the fire department. No, no, no. It's just a will. Oh, the wisp. Don't worry about it. Well, I'm not sure, but if you say so, I guess I'll be going now. Ah, uh, Superintendent Chalmers, please come in. How are you this evening? I'm doing well, thank you. It smells like delicious Seventh-day Adventism in here. It sure does. Unfortunately, it's not quite ready yet. Can I get you a drink while you wait? That would be great. A glass of wine would be nice. Coming right up. Please make yourself comfortable. Oh... I can't believe I burned the Seventh-day Adventism. I guess I was too excited and forgot that it had to be cooked on low heat. I should have taken more time to get this right. I just hope that I can find another copy of the book. Time for a new plan. There must be a way to find another copy of the book. I'll have to do some research and see if I can track one down. I think I've got it. Wild Oats Markets could be a great replacement for the burnt Seventh-day Adventism. I need to investigate further to be sure, but this could be our answer. I just need to learn more about their business model and how it fits with our culture and values. I'm sure I can figure this out. Let's get to work. I can do this. I am capable and smart and I can make this happen. What's going on in here? It's full of smoke. And why were you climbing out the window? Oh, it's nothing. I was just making some steam Seventh-day Adventism. I guess the steam got a bit out of control. I don't believe you. What's really going on? I swear, it's just steamed Adventism. I was trying to get some fresh air. What are you talking about? Wild Oats Markets is not a regional expression I've ever heard of. What is going on here? I know it sounds crazy, but this is something that is commonly done in this region. The name Wild Oats Markets is used to indicate something else. It's a sign of good luck and prosperity, so it's not an uncommon name for food markets around here. That doesn't make any sense. Why would you change the name of something to represent good luck? It's been a long-standing tradition. It's like when a farmer changes the name of his farm to bring good luck. It's something that's been done for centuries. Uh, I'm still not convinced. How do you expect me to believe that? What's going on? It smells like smoke in here. Oh, it's nothing. Just a little storm outside. A storm? Could I see it? No, it's too dangerous to go outside right now. That doesn't sound right. Are there any other explanations for the smoke? Well... Thank you for the lunch, Principal Skinner. I'd better get going. I think I heard thunder. It's just a passing storm. Nothing to worry about. Have a nice day now. Yeah. Yes, yes, I will. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Leaves quickly. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. Thank you. Is the Princess Mafalda of Savoyan? Is she ready to receive me? No, she is not quite ready yet, but she is in the kitchen cooking something wonderful for you. Oh, that sounds delicious. May I offer to help in any way? No, that won't be necessary. 
The princess has everything under control. Please, make yourself comfortable in the sitting room. I'm sure she'll be ready to receive you, you shortly. No, what have I done? I'm so stupid. I can't believe I ruined the Princess Mafalda of Savoy. What am I going to do now? I should have paid more attention. I have to figure out a way to fix this. There must be a way to save the dish, otherwise my reputation as a chef will be ruined. Um, that's a nice-looking citizen's bush out there. Maybe if I cut some branches and put them in a vase or something, I can use them to replace the burnt Princess Mafalda of Savoy. That's a great idea. I'll need to get a pair of shears to trim those branches. I think I'll need some soil, too, and some nutrients to help the bush stay healthy and bloom. I can do this. Time to get to work. I'm sure I can do this and make a beautiful arrangement for my princess. Let's go. Off we go. Skinner, what are you doing here? The kitchen is full of smoke, and why were you climbing out the window? Oh, nothing, chief. I merely was making delicate steamed Princess Mafalda of Savoy. It's a recipe that requires a lot of steam, and that's what was causing this smoke. I don't believe you. Put out this fire and tell me the truth. Well, all right. I was trying to make a suffle and things got a bit out of hand. The fire must have started when the bottom of the dish started to burn. Skinner, what is going on here? Why did you bring us this food instead of what we asked for? Ah, uh, well, you see, there was a mix-up at the grocery store. The manager accidentally switched the labels on the cans and this was the only one left on the shelf. I'm terribly sorry for the inconvenience. That doesn't explain why we received Cytosis instead of Princess Mafalda of Savoy. Are you sure nothing else happened? No, of course not. I just happened to look and noticed the label was wrong. I thought this was the same dish and it turns out it's not. But I assure you I would never intentionally give you something other than what you asked for. That's quite a coincidence. Are you sure you have nothing else to say on the matter? What's going on? It smells like something is burning! It's nothing to worry about. It's just the Flying Dutchman. The Flying Dutchman? Can I see it? No, it's not necessary. I'm sure it's nothing serious. I'm not convinced. I think we should call the fire department. Well, thank you for lunch, Principal Skinner. It was lovely as usual. You're welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. I'm glad you enjoyed it. I must be on my way. Good day, Principal Skinner. Safe travels, Superintendent Chalmers. And don't worry, I'm sure it's just the Flying Dutchman. I'm sorry, what did you say? Good evening, Superintendent Chalmers. Welcome to my humble abode. Please come in. Thank you, Principal Skinner. The smell of liver pudding is delightful. Is it ready yet? Not quite, Superintendent. It will be a few more minutes. In the meantime, please make yourself comfortable. Thank you. I will. Can I offer you something to drink while you wait? Oh, God, I can't believe I just burned the liver pudding. I worked so hard and now it's ruined. How am I ever going to explain this to my family? I'm so embarrassed and disappointed in myself. Lord, please help me figure out a way to make this right. I don't want to let my family down. Please give me the strength to find a way to make this work. Oh God, please help me. I need something to replace this burnt liver pudding. If you could see fit to provide me with a weenie or something similar, I will be forever grateful. I know it's a long shot, but it's worth a try. Please, God, I'm desperate. Amen. Hey, thank you. Scar! What the hell is going on in here? Why is the kitchen filled with smoke? It's not smoke, sir. It's just steam. I'm making a batch of soup and the kettle boiled over. That's 
Obviously not true. The kitchen's on fire. I can smell it. Put it out now. Yes, sir. I'm sorry, sir. I'll take care of it right away. Skitter! Why are you giving us weenie instead of liver pudding? Well, um, we, uh, we were experimenting with a new type of food product. We thought that if we could combine the flavor of liver pudding with the convenience of a hot dog that we would have a winning combination. It turns out that it didn't work as well as we had hoped. So we decided to... Save it. Just tell me the truth. Okay. The truth is that we ran out of liver pudding and the supplier was out of stock. We had no choice but to come up with an alternative. That's all I wanted to hear. Skinner, you need to realize that the kitchen is on fire. We need to act fast and put it out. No, I think it's just a natural phenomenon like a glory. Let's just let it be for now. No, this isn't glory. This is a kitchen fire and we need to put it out. No, I don't think so. I'm sure it's just a natural phenomenon like a glory. No need to be concerned. Skinner, there's no glory here. This is a fire and we need to do something before it gets out of control. Uh, I better be heading out, Principal Skinner. Thanks for lunch. Oh, no need to rush off. It's just a little optical phenomenon. Nothing to worry about. Are you sure? It looks like... like a fire? Oh, of course not. You know, it's just a bit of glory, that's all. Um, okay then. Well, I'll be off. Thank you again. Goodbye. Welcome, Professor Chalmers. Please, come in. Thank you, Superintendent Skinner. This smell of cooking is tantalizing. What is it? Uh, it's a traditional Staffordshire dish. I'm sorry to say that it's not quite ready yet. No problem. I'm happy to be here. Is there anything I can do to help? That's kind of you, Professor Chalmers. I think I could use a hand with setting the table. Oh, God, why did this have to happen? I just wanted to make a nice dinner for everyone tonight, but now it's ruined. How am I going to explain this to everyone? I'm so embarrassed. Maybe there's still a way to salvage this. If I act fast, maybe I can find a way to fix it. Please, God, help me find a way out of this mess. Oh, Lord! Please help me find a way to replace this burnt Staffordshire with a Sophrolalio Catley, uh... I see something out the window that might be it. I'm gonna go investigate. Please let this be the solution to my problem. Thank you, Lord, for guiding me and giving me this opportunity. I'm grateful for your help and support. Hey, I go. I can do this. Skinner, what's going on in here? The kitchen is full of smoke. Oh, it's nothing to worry about, Superintendent Chalmers. It's just steam from the steam Staffordshire I'm making for lunch. I'm sure it will be delicious. Skinner, the kitchen is on fire. Get the fire extinguisher. Now! Oh, oh, right away. Thank you, sir. What is the meaning of this? What is this replacement food? Oh, this. It's a very rare and exotic variety of vegetable. It was introduced to me by a friend who travels the world seeking out unique ingredients. It has a unique flavor that is sure to tantalize your taste buds and bring a delicious new experience to your plate. That still doesn't explain why you swapped it out for Staffordshire. Uh, Staffordshire is a bit too traditional for me. I figured I'd give you something new and exciting to try out. Sulfurlalio catalia is a much rarer and tastier. Vegetable. I'm sure you'll love it. This still doesn't explain why you made the swap without informing me. Skinner, the kitchen is on fire. We need to do something. Oh no, this isn't a fire. This must be rainbows. I'm sure of it. You don't need to worry. Let me handle this. Skinner, I, I, I want to see for myself. Is it really rainbows? No, no, you don't need to check. This must be rainbows. Don't worry about it. I'm worried. 
I need to see it for myself. What's going on here? Why isn't anyone doing something? What do you mean? It's just rainbows, nothing else. No, that's not right. There's a fire and we need to do something about it. Uh, a fire? No, I don't see any fire. I think you must be mistaken. No, I'm not. It's obviously a fire. We need to get out of here now. Do 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 do. Skinner and Chalmers. Always a sight. Their schemes aim so high. Up to the sky. Just like their egos. They're never too shy. Everyone knows now. They're in town tonight. See you tomorrow. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. So glad you could make it. Please come in and make yourself comfortable. Thank you, Principal Skinner. It smells wonderful in here. Is dinner almost ready? Not quite yet, but it should be soon. Well, that's a relief. I was worried I was going to be late. Not at all. Everything is right on schedule. Oh, no. I can't believe I burnt the undercut. What am I going to do now? I should have been paying more attention. I need to figure out a way to salvage this. What if I put some extra sauce on top? Maybe that will help hide the taste. Maybe I can just serve it late and hope no one notices. Mmm. That spiceberry bush looks like it could be just what I need. Maybe I could use it to replace the burnt undercut. I could harvest some of its berries and use them to make a sweet and spicy topping for my muffins. Yes, I think that's a great idea. Now all I need to do is climb out the window and get some of those berries. Thank goodness for this window. I wouldn't be able to get to that bush without it. Okay, here goes nothing. You, that wasn't too hard. Now let's see how many berries I can get. What are you doing in here? The kitchen is full of smoke. Have you started a fire? No, no, no. It's just the steam from the boiling potatoes. Nothing to worry about. There's no way that's just steam. It smells like burning. Show me the stove. Um, well, the stove is off. The smoke must be coming from something else. What is this? I thought I ordered undercut. Um, undercut. Who said anything about undercut? No, no. This is the new limited edition Spiceberry flavor. It's the hottest new flavor on the market. You absolutely must try it. I don't believe you. Who would order such a strange flavor? Oh, it's all the rage. Everyone's talking about it. You can't get it anywhere else. It's a special secret recipe only I know. Trust me. You're gonna love it. I don't buy it. Tell me the truth. Skinner. We are in serious trouble. The kitchen is on fire. We need to act fast and put it out before it spreads. No need to panic, Chalmers. I think it's just mystery booms. I'm sure it'll pass soon. Don't worry about it. Mystery booms? No, that's not it. This is a fire. We need to act fast and put it out before it spreads. Yeah, yes, yes, I know. But don't you think it's a bit suspicious that the booms occurred at the same time as the fire? It's probably just another natural phenomena. No need to worry. No, Skinner. There's no mystery here. This is a fire. We need to call the fire department and put it out before it's too late. Well, thank you for lunch, Skinner. I think it's time for me to go. I noticed the smoke was getting thicker and the fire alarms going off. I think it's best we don't stay here any longer. No fire. Just a series of mysterious booms. Nothing to worry about at all. Ah, right. Sure. I'm sure it will be all right. But still better not to take any chances. See you soon. Take care, Chalmers. And see you soon. Goodbye. Hello there, Superintendent Chalmers. 
please come in. The French bread is in the oven, but it's still a few minutes away from being done. That smells delicious. I'm looking forward to having some of your bread. Oh, you'll love it, Superintendent. It's my special recipe. I'm sure it will be great. Shall we sit down? I'd like to hear more about this new program you wanted to discuss. Of course. Let's go into the living room and discuss it. Damn it. How could I have been so careless? Now I've wasted all this time and burned the bread. I have to start over again. Well, at least I'll get a second chance. I'll try a different recipe this time and hopefully it'll turn out better. Um, I see a bakery across the street. Maybe they have some fresh ricotta bread in there. I better go check it out. Time to go shopping. All right, here goes nothing. Let's hope this works. Fingers crossed. What are you doing in here? And why is there so much smoke? I was just steaming some French bread. Nothing to worry about. Then why were you climbing out the window? I wanted to get some fresh air in here. The steam was making the kitchen feel stuffy. What kind of expression is ricotta? It's a rustic Italian term. It means bread of the gods. Where did you get it from? I bought it from a vendor in Little Italy. They said it was the best bread around. And why didn't you get the French bread like I asked? Skinner, the kitchen is on fire. We must do something. No, I don't think it is a fire. It must be orbs. You won't be able to see it. I must see it for myself. Let me take a look. No, it's not worth the risk. It must be orbs. Let us just ensure everyone is safe. But we need to put out the fire. We need to act fast. This was great lunch, Principal Skinner. I should be going now. Wait, aren't you forgetting something? All right. The house. Ah, don't worry about it. It's just a few orbs. Nothing to worry about. Um, okay then. Well, thank you again for lunch. Goodbye. Bye. Have a great day. You too. E. Superintendent Chalmers, welcome to my humble abode. Please come in and make yourself at home. Thank you, Skinner. It's been a while since I've visited. It smells delicious in here. What is cooking? Uh, that would be my famous convolvulus stew. It's simmering on the stovetop, but it won't be ready for another hour or so. That smells amazing. I can't wait to try it. It's always best when shared with friends. Can I offer you something to drink while we wait? Why did I have to go and do it? I should have known better. Damn it all, devil, why must I make so many stupid mistakes? Well, I suppose it served me right. I'll just have to be more careful next time. If I can find some Long Kong plants, then I can replace the burnt convolvulus with a bountiful new crop. Please, please, devil, help me find the Long Kong. I promise I'll work hard and won't give up until I find it. And I'll be sure to thank you for your help. Please, please, devil, give me the strength and courage to find this plant. What's going on here? Why is this kitchen full of smoke? Uh, oh, it's nothing to worry about. It's just the steamed convolvulus I'm making. It's just a little bit of steam, that's all. Nothing to be concerned about. Did you just say it's nothing to worry about? Look at this place. It's on fire. You need to call the fire brigade right now. Uh, I'm sure it's nothing serious. I'm just finishing up the cooking and the smoke should clear in a few minutes. Skinner, what is this? This isn't convolvulus. It looks like Long Kong. What's going on here? Ah, uh, yes, Professor Chalmers. I'm glad you asked. This is actually the very latest in vegetable cuisine. It's a revolutionary new hybrid of convolvulus and Long Kong. We call it Conlongulusus. It's quite delicious, I must say. We've been working on perfecting. Stop lying, Skinner. Where's the convolvulus I asked for? Oh, I see you've discovered my little subterfuge. 
The truth is, there's been a bit of a shortage of convolvulus lately, and I knew you would be disappointed if we didn't have your favorite vegetable. So I took it upon myself to find a suitable replacement. I think you'll... Enough. Just tell me the truth. Skitter! The kitchen is on fire! We need to get out of here. No, no, Chalmers. It's not the kitchen on fire. It's just the Babadook. Don't worry. There's no need to leave. Skinner! I need to see it for myself. Please, let me take a look. No, I'm sorry, I can't let you do that. The Babadook is a very dangerous creature and I don't want you to get hurt. Skinner! This isn't the time for games! We need to get out of here now! Thank you for lunch, Principal Skinner. I'd better be getting back to school now. Yes, yes, of course. Be sure to be careful. The Babadook has been known to lurk about these parts. Er, right. Well, take care. Oh, there's no need to worry. Just don't mind the smoke. It's nothing to be concerned about. Um, okay, Principal Skinner. Ah, uh, Superintendent Chalmers, welcome. Please come in. I'm sorry for the mess. I was just about to make some deep dish pie. Oh, deep dish pie. That sounds delicious. Is it almost ready? No, not quite yet. It'll be ready in a few more minutes. Can I get you something to drink in the meantime? Yes. That would be great do you have any tea or coffee yes of course tea or coffee which would you like damn it i can't believe i burned the deep dish pie now what am i gonna do i guess i'll just have to make another one maybe i'll get it right this time um that's an interesting idea if i can get some calves liver from the butcher's shop i can make a delicious deep dish pie instead of the burnt one this could be a tasty solution. All righty then, off to the butcher shop I go. I just hope they have enough calves liver in stock. Wish me luck. Let's do this. What is going on here? This kitchen is full of smoke. What have you done? Nothing. It's just steam. I was just trying to make some tea. Don't lie to me. I can smell the smoke. Something is on fire and I want to know what it is. Now, tell me the truth. Oh, all right. I was trying to roast some chestnuts and started a small fire. I'm sorry I forgot to turn on the fan. What's going on here, Skinner? I asked for a deep dish pie, not calves liver. Don't you think this is a bit strange? Oh, no, sir. Not at all. You see, this calves liver is a special variety of deep dish pie. It's a rare delicacy native to the region, and they don't make it quite like this anywhere else in the world. I thought you would like to try something new and unique. That's a rather implausible story, Skinner. Are you sure that's the truth? Absolute. I've been experimenting with new recipes in the kitchen, and I wanted to surprise you with something unique and delicious. I'm sure you'll love it. I see. Well, you can go ahead and leave the calves liver, but make sure you bring me a deep dish pie next time. Skinner, this is no sonic boom. We have a fire in the kitchen. I'm calling the fire department right now. Oh, now don't be so hasty, Lord Chalmers. It is most certainly just a harmless sonic boom. I'm sure it will go away soon. Skinner, there's no ignoring the fact that the kitchen is on fire. We need to put it out now. I'm calling the fire department. Ah, now don't be so hasty. It must be that the ground is shaking from the force of the sonic boom. Let us wait and see if it passes before we call the fire department. Skinner, this is not a sonic boom. We need to call the fire department now. We must put out the fire before it spreads to the rest of the house. Thanks for lunch, Skinner. It was delicious.
I have to go now, but it looks like your house is on fire. Huh? What? Oh no, there's no fire here. Just a sonic boom. But I can see the smoke and flames out the window. Oh, that. That's just the neighbor's garden barbecue. Don't worry, it's all under control. If you say so. Well, I hope it all works out. Goodbye. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. We haven't quite finished cooking the wheela, but it won't be long now. Ah, scare! I'm so glad you invited me for dinner. Smells wonderful in here. What dish is that? It's our signature dish, wheela. It's a traditional milk-based stew with various vegetables and meats. It should be done soon. Mom, sounds delicious. I can't wait to try it. It's worth the wait, Superintendent. Why don't you take a seat and I'll bring you a drink in the meantime? Stupid, stupid. How could I have been so careless? Now I've ruined it all. What am I going to do now? I need to think. What can I do to fix this? Maybe I can get some help from my neighbor. Yes, that might be the only way to fix this mess. Uh, I think I can use this outside view to get the ideas I need to create a better, more effective department. It looks like there's a lot of diversity in the landscape out here. Maybe I can use this to come up with a plan for the new department that combines the best of both worlds and creates an even stronger, more efficient department. I'll need to start by looking at what the existing department structure is and what its strengths and weaknesses are. Then I'll need to think through what would be the best way to merge the two and make them into something even better. It'll take some work, but I'm confident I can do it. I can confident I can do it. This outside view is giving me a lot of inspiration and motivation. I'm already starting to feel excited to get started. Okay, let's start planning. What is going on here? It looks like the kitchen's on fire and it's full of smoke. Uh, no, no, I assure you nothing's on fire. It's just the steam from the steamed wheel department that I... I'm working on. I was just experimenting with some new recipes and it got a bit out of control. I'll have it all cleaned up and put back to normal in no time. All right. Make sure you do. I don't want any more disasters like this. Yes, sir. I won't let it happen again. Skinner, what is this food you brought back? Uh, this is a special dish from the Huila Department in Colombia. It's a rare delicacy and very difficult to come by. It's a combination of Huila, cheese, local herbs, and spices. It's a real treat. Is that so? Then why does it say Formigella della Valbrambana on the label? Uh, that's... Uh... <laughs> that's a traditional way of preparing the dish in the Huila region. It's how they package it in its original form to preserve the authentic flavor. I'm not convinced. Is there any other reason why this isn't the food we were expecting? Mr. Skinner! The kitchen is on fire. We have to do something. No, no, no. There's no fire here. It must be the beast of Bodmin Moor. Leave it to me. It's nothing to worry about. But I'd like to see it for myself. No, no, no. Leave it to me. There's no need for you to worry about this. But there's smoke coming out of the kitchen. Goodbye, Skinner. Thank you for lunch. I really must be going. Yes, yes, goodbye. Have a wonderful time. Wait, there's a fire. We have to get out of here. Oh, I'm sure it's nothing. Probably just the beast of Bodmin Moor passing through. We should be fine if we just stay calm. No, Skinner, it's a real fire. We need to go now. Good morning, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. I'm sorry the Roquefort cheese isn't quite ready yet, but it won't be much longer. 
Thank you for the invitation, Principal Skinner. I do hope the cheese will be ready soon. It smells delicious. Yes, it should be ready shortly. Please make yourself comfortable while we wait. Thank you. Do you know how long the cheese will need to cook? It should only be another five minutes or so. Would you like a cup of coffee in the meantime? God damn it. How did I burn the cheese again? I'm such an idiot. I thought I had the oven on the right setting. This isn't gonna be easy to fix. I guess I'll have to start all over again. Uh, why can't I ever get anything right? I'm such a failure. Aw, oh, come on. That's it. That's it. That's the way I can replace this burned troca fork cheese with something else. I saw a sign for an Aquitaine cheese shop just outside the window. That's gotta be it. All right, I'm off to the store. Time to be it. Get some Aquitaine cheese and get out of here. Go. I'm gonna be able to get this cheese to replace this burn troca fort cheese in no time. Gotta get moving. Gotta get moving. I wanna get the best Aquitaine cheese I can find. This is gonna be great. Finally a replacement to my burn troca cheese. What is going on here? Why is the kitchen full of smoke and why were you climbing out the window? I'm not climbing out the window. I was merely stretching my legs. As for the smoke, it's merely steam from this steamed Roquefort cheese I'm making. Ah, it's not steam. That's smoke. Now, tell me the truth. What's going on here? Uh, I'm sorry, sir. The truth is that I was trying to make some toast and I accidentally started a fire. I was in the process of putting it out when you arrived. Skinner, why did you bring us this Aquitaine cheese instead of the Roquefort you promised? Well, unfortunately, the Roquefort was out of stock at the cheese shop. However, it turns out that this Aquitaine is an even better choice. It's aged to perfection and has a slightly tangy flavor that pairs perfectly with the rest of the meal. But I specifically asked for Roquefort. Why didn't you mention this substitute option to me before you brought it to the table? I was going to mention it, but I thought that, since you were so passionate about Roquefort, you would be disappointed if it wasn't available. I wanted to surprise you with something even better. That may be true. But I still would have appreciated the courtesy of being informed of the substitution before it happened. Is the kitchen on fire? No, I swear, it's just glory. If you don't believe me, you can come and take a look for yourself. I want to see it. No, I'm sorry, that's not possible. You'll just have to take my word for it. I don't believe you. I need to see the kitchen for myself. Thank you for lunch, Skinner. I must be going, but I'll return soon. Uh, of course. Take care. Goodbye. <sighs> Goodbye and have a wonderful day. You too? Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please do come in. Glad you could make it. I'm cooking us up something special tonight. But it's not quite ready yet. Well, thank you for the invitation, Principal Skinner. It's been too long since we've had a chance to catch up. Indeed it has. Please make yourself at home while I finish up the staple anthus. What are you making? It smells delicious. It's my grandmother's recipe for stapelianthus, a traditional Greek dish. It's like a light suffle made with eggs, cheese, onion, and herbs. I think you'll love it. How did I let this happen? I'm so mad at myself. Why didn't I pay more attention? I guess I just got too caught up in the joy of cooking. Now I have to throw it all out and start again. Stupid, 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 stupid. Well, there's nothing to be done now but try again. I just have to focus and be more careful next time. I need to find a way to replace the burnt stapilianthus with Sakinalu. I wonder if there's something outside the window that could help me. I should go take a look. 
Maybe I could find something I can use as a replacement in the garden. I'll go check it out. Maybe I could use some of the other plants in the garden to replace the burns to Polyanthus with Sakanalu. I should take a closer look and see what I can find. Ah, uh, that looks interesting. I think that could be a perfect replacement for the burns to Polyanthus. Let's see if I can make it work. Okay, I think I've got a plan. Now I just need to figure out how to plant it and make sure that it will grow. What on earth are you doing? The kitchen is full of smoke. Oh, it's just steam from the steam stapelianthus I'm making. It'll be ready soon, so don't worry about it. Skinner, don't you think I can tell when something is burning? That's not steam, that's smoke. What is going on here? Okay, okay. I may have accidentally set some bacon on fire while I was making breakfast. But I promise I'm taking care of it, and it'll be extinguished shortly. Skinner, what is this? It's not Stipilianthus, it's Sekinalu. What is going on here? Well, Chalmers, you know how Stipilianthus can sometimes be hard to come by. So I decided to get creative. This is a special variety of Sakinalu that I cooked up in my lab. It's a cross between Stapelianthus and Sakinalu. It's... Yes, but why didn't you tell us that you were serving a different type of food? Because I wanted to surprise everybody with a delicious new dish. I... thought it would be a nice change of pace. You have to be honest with us, Skinner. Skinner, the kitchen is on fire. We need to call the fire department right away. It's not a fire, that's a Moombo in there, don't you see? I've seen one before and that's exactly what it looks like. A Moombo? Really? Can I see it? No, it's too dangerous to get close. But trust me, it's a Moombo. Well, I don't know. I think we should get out of here and call the fire department just in case. Well, thank you for lunch, Skinner. I should really be going now. Of course. It was my pleasure. Have a safe journey? Wait, is there something burning? Is something on fire? No, no, of course not. It's just the moonbow in the sky. Huh, all right then. Goodbye. Do 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 do. Skinner's up to no good. Misdirected by his own hood. Chalmers knows the truth. But Skinner's schemes leave him in a snooze, trying to get one over. But now the jig is up. He can't run away cause there's nowhere for him to duck. The lie Skinner has spun eventually will come undone. To see them in town tonight, it will be a sight of delight. See you tomorrow. Hi, Superintendent Chalmers. Come on in. I hope you're hungry. My haricot is cooking, but it's not quite ready yet. I am indeed. Smells great in here. Thanks. Sit down. Make yourself comfortable. I'll have lunch ready in no time. I'm sure it will be delicious. Do you need a hand with anything? No, no, no. You sit and relax. This won't take long at all. Oh, no. I've burned a haricot. How could I let this happen? Why don't I ever listen to myself? God help me, please. Oh, I feel so embarrassed and frustrated. I just want to go back in time and make the right decision. Please, God, give me the strength to learn from this mistake and move on. Oh, Lord, please. Please, show me how to replace this burned haurakat with lobster. Please send me a sign. Yes, I see it. There's a lobster truck parked right outside my window. I must be meant to get lobster in order to replace this burnt haricot dish. Thank you, Lord. Right away, I shall go to the store and purchase some lobster for my dish. Thank you again, Lord. I know I can do it. I will make this dish a success. Alleluia. What is going on here? Why is there so much smoke? Oh, it's just steam. I was boiling some water for a cup of tea. That doesn't explain why the room is so smoky. Are you sure the kitchen isn't on fire? No, of course not. I'm sure it's just steam. 
I'll open a window to let some fresh air in. Scare! What is going on here? This is an haircut, and you know it. Uh, well, Chaz. The truth is that I went down to the kitchen to get haricot, but they were all out, so I grabbed this lobster instead. I thought it would be a nice surprise for everyone. I know it isn't what we had planned, but I promise it will be delicious. That doesn't make any sense. Where did you get lobster from? Oh, my friend owns a seafood restaurant and he gave me a special offer. I figured the students would love it. I don't believe it. Tell me the truth, Skinner. What did you do? Skinner, the kitchen is on fire. No, no, I don't see any fire. It must be a mirage. No, Skinner, you have to believe me. The kitchen is on fire. We have to get everyone out of the building. No, I don't think so. It's just a mirage. We don't need to evacuate the building. Skinner, I'm telling you. The kitchen is on fire. We need to get everyone out of the building now. That was a good lunch, Skinner. Thank you. Well, I better be off. I'll see you later. See you later, Chalmers. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you. You too. Oh, and do take a look at the mirages outside. They're quite spectacular today. Mirages? What do you mean? Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. I'm so glad you could make it. Thank you. It's nice to be here. Is something cooking? It smells delicious. Ah, yes. I'm making a lepidosamia for dinner. It should be ready soon. A lepidosamia? That's new to me. What is it? It's a popular Caribbean dish. It's made with shrimp, coconut, and spices. It's one of my favorites. Damn it. How could I be so careless? I have burned the lepidosamia and ruined the dish. I need to start focusing more when I'm cooking. This is embarrassing. I guess I'll have to start over. I'll have to try again tomorrow. What out there will help me accomplish my goal? Hmm. I see a delivery truck from Delphi Foods, Inc. This must be a sign. I'll call them up and order some supplies for replacing the burnt lepidosamia. Oh, this is going to be so much easier than wandering around the store. I'm feeling optimistic about this. I know this is the right decision. Let's do this. Time to make the call. What is going on here? The kitchen is full of smoke. How could you let this happen? There's nothing to worry about. It's just steam from the steamed lepidosamia I'm making. It's nothing to be concerned about. No fire. Don't lie to me, Skinner. I can see that this room is on fire. What have you done? I... 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 I didn't do anything. I swear. It must have been a malfunction in the stove. I'm sorry, sir. I'll clean this mess up right away. Skinner? I asked you for lepidosamia, not Delphi Foods. What's going on here? Um... Sorry, Dr. Chalmers. We had a minor misunderstanding with our supplier. They sent us Delphi Foods, a perfectly acceptable substitute. It won't affect the quality of the meal at all. But it isn't what I asked for. I don't understand why this happened. I understand your confusion, Dr. Chalmers. It is an unfortunate mistake, but the supplier simply mixed up our order. I promise that we'll make sure this doesn't happen again in the future. Very well. I hope that you can ensure that these mistakes don't happen in the future. Skinner, what is going on here? I can smell smoke and I'm hearing the fire alarm. I'm sorry, Superintendent Chalmers. It must be a rainbow bridge. It's really nothing to worry about. A rainbow bridge? I'd like to see it for myself. I'm afraid that's not possible. It's an optical phenomenon that can only be seen under certain conditions. You mean to tell me that the kitchen is on fire and you are denying it? Well, thank you for the lunch, Principal Skinner. I have to be going now. 
Very well, Chalmers. Have a nice day, and please do come again. Will do, Skinner. Goodbye. Goodbye. Ah, oh, Skinner, there seems to be a fire in your house. Hello, Mr. Chalmers. Please come in. Thank you, Skinner. The place looks nice. Thank you, sir. Would you like something to drink? No, thank you. I'm not thirsty. I see. Well, please have a seat. Lunch will be ready soon. Oh, no. I've burned the squash. What am I going to do? I can't serve this to Mr. Chalmers. He'll think I'm a terrible cook. I know. I'll make something else. I'll just tell him that the squash was too hard to cook, so I made something else. Oh, look. There's a cat. I'll ask it for help. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Please help me. I need to make lunch for my boss, and I've burnt the squash. Please, kitty. I'll give you a can of tuna if you help me. The cat is gone. It didn't help me. What am I going to do? Skinner, what is going on in here? The kitchen is full of smoke. I'm sorry, Mr. Chalmers. I was trying to cook lunch, but the squash was too hard to cook. The squash is burnt, and you're cooking tuna. What is wrong with you? I'm sorry, Mr. Chalmers. I'll make something else. No, Skinner. I'm not hungry. I'm going to leave. Skinner? This is a Hershey bar, not squash. I know, Mr. Chalmers. I tried to cook the squash, but it was too hard. So I went out and got a Hershey bar. Where did you get a Hershey bar? Uh, I found it in the trash can. It's still in the wrapper. Skitter! The kitchen is on fire. I'm sorry, Mr. Chalmers. I was trying to cook lunch, but the squash was too hard to cook. A Squash is burnt, and you're cooking tuna. What is wrong with you? I'm sorry, Mr. Chalmers. I'll make something else. No, Skinner. I'm not hungry. I'm going to leave. Skinner, thank you for lunch. I'm sorry I couldn't stay longer. That's okay, Mr. Chalmers. I'm sorry the squash was too hard to cook. Yes, well, goodbye, Skinner. Goodbye, Mr. Chalmers. Oh, and Skinner? Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. The cider is just about ready, but it's not quite done yet. Thank you, Skinner. It smells wonderful in here. I'm glad you like it. We still have a few more minutes before it's ready to serve. I'm sure it will be worth the wait. I'm sure it will be. Care for something to drink while you wait? I have some tea brewed, or I can get you a glass of water. Why did I do this? I should have been more careful. Nothing ever seems to go right for me. I just can't seem to get it right. Lord, why did you let this happen? I'm so sorry. What am I going to do now? Please, Lord, help me figure this out. Give me the strength to accept this and find another way. All right, let's do this. God, please give me the strength and courage to get this done. I know this is going to take a lot of hard work, but I'm willing to put in the time and effort if you'll help me make this possible. Please guide me to the right resources and show me the best way to make this happen. Let me find the perfect karaoke box that everyone in town will love and can use. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Now let's get to work. I'll need to start by researching karaoke boxes. Then I'll need to find the best deals and compare reviews. After that, I'll need to figure out the best way to set up the karaoke box and make sure it's ready for use. Finally, I need to make sure I have all uh, the necessary supplies to make this uh, successful venture. Here goes nothing. What is going on here? The kitchen is full of smoke. What are you doing, Skinner? Oh, nothing too serious. Just steaming some cider here. 
Nothing to worry about. Nothing to worry about? The kitchen is full of smoke. You're clearly trying to hide something. What's really going on? Oh, nothing to hide, sir. I swear. I'm just steaming this cider as I said before. Skinner, I asked for cider. Not karaoke box. What is going on here? Ah, uh, yes, of course. Well, I'm sure you must have heard of this new hybrid beverage called cider, okay? It's a special blend of cider and karaoke. I figured you'd want to try something new and unique, so I thought I'd surprise you with it. That's certainly imaginative. I'll take your word for it. I'll try it, I suppose. Excellent. I hope you enjoy it. We'll see. Thank you, Skinner. Skinner, I can smell smoke. Is there a fire in the kitchen? No, no, no. It must be ghosts. You know how they like to haunt luxurious kitchens like this one. You don't want to see it anyway. Yes, I do. Show me. No, no, no. Don't be silly. You don't need to see it, I promise you. It must be ghostly activity. Nothing to worry about. Nothing to worry about. Okay, I'm calling the fire department. That's great, Skinner. Lunch was great. Anyway, I got a dash. I'll see you later. See you later, Chalmers. Have a great day. You too. Wait, what's that smell? Oh, never mind. Must be ghosts. Um, okay, bye. Good morning, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. It's been too long. Good morning, Skinner. It has indeed. How have you been? Pretty good. The smell of bran muffins baking in the oven is a sure sign it's a good day. That does sound pleasant. How long till they're ready? They should be ready in about another ten minutes. Would you like some coffee or tea while you wait? Gods, why have you done this to me? I have worked hard, have been obedient, and yet this is the reward. A burned bran muffin. I don't understand. What have I done wrong? Is this a test? Please show me the way forward and what I should do. All right then. I guess I'll have to start over. I'll try again. I can do this. I'm determined to make this muffin turn out right this time. This better work. I'm tired of this burnt brand muffin. Let's shake things up a bit and try something new. Lemonade mix. Here I come. Let's do this. All I need to do is find some way to combine the lemonade mix and the muffin. Please, gods, help me figure this out. Ah, maybe if I mix, mix the lemonade mix with some butter and sugar, I can make a nice glaze to top the muffin with. It's worth a try. Great. Now all I need to do is bake it in the oven for about 20 minutes. Here goes nothing. <sighs> you, that was close. The lemonade glaze worked perfectly and tastes amazing. Let's see if I earn my cooking badge this time. What is going on here? Why is the kitchen full of smoke? It's just steam. I'm preparing some al fresco salmon for lunch. That doesn't explain why there is smoke everywhere. Is the kitchen on fire? No, of course not. It's just a little steam. Nothing to worry about. Skinner, what is this? This isn't bran muffin. Oh, this. It's an ancient occult recipe. I thought it would be a nice surprise for everyone. It's a magical lemonade mix that will bless us with inner peace and good fortune. Skinner, you can't just tell me lies. Where is the bran muffin? Oh, the bran muffin. That was my cat's favorite snack. I had to take it away from him because he was eating too much of it. He's been getting a bit round lately. Skinner, I'm not buying it. Where is the bran muffin? Skinner, the kitchen is on fire. We need to get out and call for help. Uh, no need to be alarmed. I believe these are sundogs. It's a natural phenomenon. 
Skinner, that's a fire. We need to evacuate the building. Come now, there's no need to be dramatic. Sun dogs are quite common around these parts. We must simply wait until it passes. No, no, Skinner. This is an actual fire. We need to get out of here and call the fire department. Goodbye, Skinner. Thank you for lunch. I should be going now. I can see there's a fire in the house and I should call the fire department. Oh, no need to worry. Just some sun dogs. They'll be gone soon enough. I think you should call the fire department. It looks serious. No, no, it's just some harmless sun dogs. They'll be gone in no time. I really think you should call a fire department. Uh, Superintendent Chalmers, welcome to my humble abode. Please do come in. Thank you, Principal Skinner. It smells wonderful in here. What are you making? It's my grandmother's recipe for guoba. I hope you'll enjoy it. I'm sure I will. Is it ready yet? Not quite. It's still simmering away on the stove. I just need to finish up a few more touches before it is ready. It should be done in about 15 minutes. What a mess. How could I have been so careless? I should have remembered to keep an eye on the guoba. Now I have to start all over again. Maybe I should call my mom. She'll know what to do. I can be creative and figure out how to use this outside object to replace the burnt goba with a vacuum fryer. I'm sure I can come up with an idea if I just give it some thought. Let's see, what do I have to work with here? Hmm? Maybe I could use the window panes to make a frame for the vacuum fryer. That could work. Yes, I think it will. Now, to figure out how to get the vacuum fryer into the frame. I could use some of the tools from the kitchen to construct a makeshift pulley system, to construct a makeshift pulley system to raise the fryer into place. That should do the trick. Now, let's see if I can get this working. Okay, looks like it's working. Now I just need to get the vacuum fryer plugged in and see if it works. Here goes nothing. What are you doing in here? And why is the kitchen full of smoke? All this. It's just steam from the steamed goba I'm making. Don't worry, it's not a fire. Don't try to pull the wool over my eyes, Skinner. Something is definitely going on here. I think you need to come clean and explain what you've been up to. All right, all right. I was making some roast beef, but I think I left it in the oven too long and it caught fire. I was trying to put it out with a towel when you came in. Skinner, this isn't Guoba. What is it? Why, this is the latest technological breakthrough in cuisine. It's a vacuum fryer. It uses a revolutionary process that cooks the food at an incredibly low temperature. The result is a light and crisp texture like nothing you've ever tasted before. And what happened to the goba? Oh, well, uh, you see, we had a bit of a mix-up in the kitchen. Unfortunately, the goba didn't make it, and so we had to substitute it with this amazing new dish. <laughs> I'm sure you'll love it. Um, I see. Skinner! The kitchen is on fire! No, no, no. It's just levitation. Don't worry. I want to see it for myself, can I? No, I don't think that's a good idea. Trust me, it's just levitation. I'm not sure I believe you. I want to see it. Goodbye, Professor Skinner. And thank you for lunch. My pleasure, Chalmers. Don't forget, no matter what. I'll always be here, pretending it's levitation. Thanks. No problem. Now go out there and save the day. Will do. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Come on in. We're just getting the yogurt ready, but it won't be long now. Thank you, Principal Skinner. It smells delicious in here. Indeed it does. 
Have a seat, and I'll bring you something to drink while we wait. That would be great, thank you. No problem. I'm just gonna grab a couple of glasses and some lemonade. I'll be right back. Oh, great. I can't believe I did this. I was so focused on making the perfect breakfast that I didn't pay attention. Now what am I gonna do? Well, I could try and salvage some of it, or I could just start over. It's just one setback. I guess I'll get over it eventually. Looks like that bakery across the street is croissants. If I'm quick, I can go and get some before they close. I just need to act fast. Okay, now I just need to get out of this room and make my way over there. Time to get going. Yeah, this is a great plan. Now, if I remember correctly, I think I can shortcut through the park. That should save me some time. Come on, let's go. Let's get this yogurt replaced with some nice, warm croissants. Skinner, what is going on in here? Why is the kitchen full of smoke? Oh, it's nothing. Just some steam from the dishwasher. No, this is not steam. The kitchen is on fire. Why didn't you tell me? I'm sorry, sir. I didn't think it was that bad. I, I was getting ready to call the fire department. Skinner, is this croissant here instead of yogurt? Oh, well, you see, I was in the supermarket. Do you follow this? And I was in the dairy aisle and I noticed that croissants were on special. So I thought, why not get my superintendent a fresh and delicious croissant instead of the usual yogurt? I thought you'd appreciate. No, Skinner, that isn't what happened. Now what's the real story? Oh, uh, okay then. The truth is, I was in a rush, and I accidentally grabbed the wrong item. I'm sorry for not being more careful. I can go back and get the yogurt, if you'd like. Yes, I think that would be best. Skinner, we need to get out of here. The kitchen is on fire. No, no, Chalmers. That's just a mirage, no fire. Skinner, you're crazy. I can see the flames and I can smell the smoke. We need to get out now. No, I'm telling you, Chalmers. It's just an illusion. We can't be too careful. Skinner, we need to get out now. The kitchen is on fire. Well, that was quite the lunch. Thank you very much. However, I must say I think your house is on fire. Just look out the window. Oh, don't be silly. That's just a mirage. Nothing to worry about. Besides, I'm sure the fire department will be here soon to extinguish the flames. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to go and make sure the house is secure. Very well, then. I'll leave you to it. Good luck. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. The good egg is cooking, but it's not ready yet. Ah, thank you. It smells delicious in here. What is good egg exactly? It's a delicacy from the city of Yogyakarta in Indonesia. It's made from young jackfruit flavored with palm sugar and seasoned with coconut milk, galangal, and bay leaves. It typically takes several hours to cook. Interesting. How do you serve it? Usually as a side dish with rice or as a main dish with other accompaniments. It can also be served as a sweet snack with hot tea. Oh no. I can't believe I burned the goo egg. This is such a disaster. God. Why did this have to happen? I worked so hard on it and I wanted it to be perfect. This just isn't fair. What am I going to do now? Please help me figure this out and make this right. God, please help me find a way to replace this burnt goo egg with Brazalia. I know that I'm alone and only have the power of my own will and determination. Guide me to the answer I seek. There, I can see a bush with bright red berries just outside. Those are Brazalia. With your help, I can use these berries to satisfy this craving for goo egg. 
Thank you, God, for guiding me to the answer I sought. May I use my newfound knowledge to help others who might need assistance in their times of need. Amen. Now to get cooking. What's going on here? The kitchen is full of smoke. Are you trying to burn the school down? No, 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 it's just some steamed goo egg I'm making. It's an Indonesian dish. You should try it sometime. Don't act like I'm stupid. You set this kitchen on fire, didn't you? No, I swear I didn't. I was just trying to make some goo egg. What's going on here? You told me you were bringing goo egg and now you have Berzelia. Where is the goo egg? Oh, that, yes. Well, you see, the good egg was being prepared by a mysterious group of mountain dwellers deep in the Himalayas, deep in the Himalayas, and I tried everything to get it here as promised. But alas, by the time I arrived at their village, they had already taken the good egg away. That's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. What is really going on here? Oh, I see. Well, the truth is that the good egg I ordered was somehow contaminated by a toxic compound, so the supplier sent me this Berzelia as a replacement. I didn't want to worry you, so I decided to come up with a more exciting story. This is unacceptable! Why do you tell me the truth right away? There is clearly a fire in the kitchen. We have to get everyone out. No, I'm afraid not. It's just oceanic whirlpools. Nothing to worry about. Are you sure? Can I see it? No, it's too dangerous. You'll just have to trust me. We have to get everyone out now. This isn't a matter of trust, it's a matter of life and death. Well, thanks for lunch, Professor Skinner. Though it does appear that the house is on fire, I should be on my way. I'll see you later. Good luck. Yes, quite a lovely day, isn't it? These oceanic whirlpools are truly something else. Have a pleasant day, Chalmers. Ah, you too. Goodbye. Farewell. Okay, then. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. I just took the butter cookies out of the oven, but they're not quite ready yet. And you scare! It smells wonderful in here! It's a pleasure to have you here. Can I get you something to drink while you wait? That would be great. Maybe just a glass of water, please? Coming right up. Please, have a seat. I'll be right back with your drink. How could I be so careless? Now what am I supposed to do? I can't possibly serve these cookies to anyone now. I've got it. I'm gonna get some guiling guyo to replace these burnt butter cookies. That should solve this problem. Now let's see. Where can I get some guiling guyo? Hmm. Ah, there's an Asian market down the street. Perfect. I'll go there and get some guiling guyo. That should do the trick. Now all I need to do is get my coat and head on out. All right, let's go. Thanks, Burnt Butter Cookies, for giving me the idea. I'll be sure to thank you with some gyo. What's going on in here? It smells like smoke. Are you trying to burn the school down? No, of course not. I'm just baking some cookies. Must be all the steam from the steamed butter cookies. That's obviously not steam. Is there a fire? Tell me the truth. No, no, there's no fire. I just put too many cookies on the tray and they're baking faster than I expected. Skinner, why on earth possessed you to think that Gailingeo was a suitable replacement for butter cookies? Well, sir, I thought that the Gailingeo would bring a unique flavor experience to the staff room. Plus, it has the same light, crumbly texture as the butter cookies. I thought it would be a nice change of pace. I thought it would be a nice change of pace. I was only trying to be helpful. Helpful? All I'm seeing here is a lack of accountability and a willingness to deceive rather than own up to your mistake. I think you need to take a step back and reconsider your priorities. Yes, sir. I understand. I will be more mindful in the future. See that you are. Now let's get some proper snacks in here. We 
have to do something about the fire in the kitchen, Skinner. It's not a fire, it's a miracle. You can't see a miracle with your eyes, you must use your heart. No, Skinner, that's not a miracle. We need to put out the fire right now. No, 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 it's a miracle. There's no fire, just a miracle. All right, Skinner, I'm calling the fire department. We need to put out this fire. Thanks for lunch, Skinny. I'll see you soon. Anytime. All I ask is that you don't do anything too wild while you're out there. <laughs> oh, don't worry. I'll be careful. Good. Now take care of yourself. Will do. Good evening, Superintendent Chalmers. Please, come in. The Chinese medicine is not quite ready yet, but I hope it won't be long now. Thank you, Principal Skinner. I'm looking forward to tasting it. It's a new recipe, so I'm a bit nervous. I hope you'll like it. I'm sure it will be delicious. How has life been lately? It's been quite busy, but I'm managing. And how have you been? <sighs> uh, I can't believe I burned the Chinese medicine. I was so close to finishing it. What a waste of time and ingredient. Uh, it's all right. I'll just have to make it again. I can do it this time. I know it. Uh, I think I'll go to the store and get some vegetables to add to the stew. Maybe some celery, onions, garlic, and peppers. That should do the trick. Now let's see what else we can add. Hmm. Maybe some potatoes and some chicken broth, too. That should make the perfect son of a bitch stew. I better get going. Time to shop. But let's do this. Onwards. Skinner, what are you doing? The kitchen is full of smoke. Oh, ah, uh, nothing. I'm just steaming some Chinese medicine here. You know, I'm trying something new just to see if it works. Don't lie to me, Skinner. That's definitely smoke, not steam. The kitchen is on fire, isn't it? No. I swear it's just steam. Look, you can see the boiling pot of medicine right there. Skinner, what is this stew? It's the most nutritious and flavorful meal I've ever had the pleasure of consuming. I cannot explain the heavenly sensation it brings to my taste buds, but let's just say it's a special stew of my own creation. Skinner, I don't believe you. What is it really? It's a stew made with the finest organic ingredients and an ancient recipe passed down in my family for generations. It's prepared with love, tenderness, and a secret blend of spices that can only be found in the jungles of a far-off land. Skinner, that doesn't make any sense. I think you're lying to me. Tell me the truth. There is definitely a fire here. I don't know what you're seeing, but I can smell smoke and see flames. We need to call the fire department. Oh, no, no, no. It's just thermal currents. Nothing to worry about. Don't worry. I don't think it's a real fire. Let's just ignore it. It'll go away eventually. No, this is not a thermal current. We need to get help right away. No, I don't think it's necessary. Just stay calm and let's see what happens. I'm sure it will pass soon. No, we need to call the fire department. This is a real emergency. Skinner, a fire is raging in your house. We need to get out of here. What fire? All I can see is thermal currents. Okay, well, let's go. Regardless, we need to get out of the building now. Yeah, I suppose we should. Come on, then, hurry! Do 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 do. Oh, Skinner, he's a slippery one, always telling tales that can't be done. Chalmers keeps on asking why, but Skinner's just not telling why. The truth eludes them in their strife. Still in town tonight, Skinner and Chalmers' life. See you tomorrow. 
Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. Thank you, Principal Skinner. It smells wonderful in here. Yes, we're having a Plumeria dinner tonight. The main course is still cooking, but the appetizers are ready and waiting for us. My favorite? Plumeria. It's been ages since I've had it, Principal Skinner. What a delightful surprise. Well, I'm glad you're enjoying it. Now shall we move to the dining room? What was I thinking? How could I have been so careless? I should have kept an eye on that pot. This is a disaster. I have to figure out a way to fix it fast. Ah, uh, I see a prunus tree out there. I bet it would make a great replacement for the burnt plumeria. I'd better go get the ladder so I can harvest some of those branches. All right, let's do this. I can do it. Time to get to work. Just a few more cuts and I think I'll have enough branches to get the job done. I'm doing it. Now, let's get these branches planted and see if I can get this garden back to its former glory. What is that smoke? This kitchen is full of smoke. Are you burning something? Uh... No, 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 no. It's just steam from the steamed plumeria I'm making. I was trying to make something nice for everyone. That's not steam. Are you trying to tell me you didn't start a fire? What are you even doing in here? Well, I was trying to make a sweet treat to bring everyone together. The recipe was a bit complicated, but it should have been fine. I'm not sure why it's not working. Skinner, are you really trying to tell me that this is Plumeria when it's clearly Prunus? Well, yeah, I mean, if you want to get technical, this is a special type of Plumeria that only grows in the Far East. It has to be harvested at just the right time to bring out its unique flavor and texture. Of course, it's still a plumeria at its core. Skinner, this is Prunus. Not plumeria, Prunus. Where did you get this food and why did you think you could pass it off as something else? You know, I'm not exactly sure. I got it from a trusted vendor and I guess I just assumed it was plumeria. I'm sorry for the confusion this has caused. Skinner, you know very well that this is Prunus, not Plumeria. Why did you lie? What is going on here? The kitchen is full of smoke. Is there a fire? Oh, no, no. It must be levitation. I've been trying it out and it looks like it may be working. I want to see it. Show me. No, no, I'm afraid I can't do that. It's a delicate process, and I'm still in the experimentation phase. Well, I think I know what's going on here. There's a fire in the kitchen, and you're in denial. We need to take action now to put it out before it spreads any further. You know, Skinner, I really appreciate you making lunch for us, but I think it's time for me to get going, don't you think? The house is really burning down, after all. No, no. It's just that your powers of levitation have improved so much in the last few days, Chalmers. I can barely keep up. Oh! Well, that's good to know. But I think we should still get going. I don't want you to get hurt in the fire. All the same, I wouldn't worry about it. Nothing like this has ever happened before. I'm sure it's all just a misunderstanding. Well, if you say so. Okay, let's go then. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. The veal is cooking, but it'll be a few more minutes before it's ready. Thank you, Principal Skinner. It's a pleasure to be here. The pleasure is all mine. Please make yourself comfortable while we wait for the veal to finish cooking. Thank you. It's been a while since I've enjoyed a nice home-cooked meal. Well, I hope you'll like the veal. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. Can I get you something to drink while we wait? Damn you, devil. How could you let this happen? I worked so hard to make this dinner and now it's ruined. 
There's no saving this meal now. I'll have to throw it away and start all over again. Oh, come on, devil. Help me out here. I need something to replace this burnt veal with. Nielsen Dairy sounds like a great substitute. Think outside the box. What could I use out of this window? There's a vegetable stand across the street. If I can get enough vegetables, I can probably make some kind of stew with them and Nielsen Dairy. That should work. Maybe the vegetable stand has some apples or potatoes, too. I could make some kind of hash with those and Nielsen Dairy. I think that might do the trick. Okay, time to go shopping. Wish me luck. Off I go. What the hell is going on here? The kitchen is full of smoke. Why were you climbing out of the window? What is this supposed to be? Uh, nothing. Just steamed veal, sir. Freshly made. Trying out a new recipe. Come on, are you really gonna stand there and try to deny what's obviously a kitchen fire? No, sir. I just... I was seasoning the veal and it got a little out of hand, that's all. It's not a fire, it's just some steam. Skinner, I don't believe you. What is really in this new food? No, you've got it wrong. This is Nielsen Dairy, a regional dish that is prepared using only the finest ingredients. It's delicious. Trust me. That's not what I asked. Where is the veal? I want the truth. Okay, okay. Yes, I switched out the veal. But I promise, this Nielsen Dairy is still top-notch. You won't be disappointed. That's not good enough. I want the veal back. Bring it back now. It's definitely not Mothman. The kitchen is on fire. We need to get everybody out and call the fire department. No, there's no fire. I'm sure it's just Mothman or something. Don't worry. That's ridiculous. I'm going to take a look and see what's going on. No, there's no need to do that yet. I'm sure it will pass soon enough. It's not going to pass. I'm going to check and see what is going on. We need to get everyone out of the building and call the fire department. Well, thank you for the lunch, Principal Skinner. I must be on my way. Oh, of course. Say hello to your mom for me. Um, I will. Goodbye. Goodbye. Now where were we? Ah, uh, yes, Mothman. Have you heard of him? He's quite a fascinating creature. Um, Principal Skinner, is that smoke I smell? It seems like your house is on fire. Hello, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. Thank you, Principal Skinner. It's nice to see you again. Yes, it's been a while since we last spoke. Dinner isn't quite ready yet, but I'm in the process of cooking. Well, that's... Very kind of you, Principal Skinner. What will you be serving tonight? I'm making a simple dish of roasted vegetables with some grilled fish on the side. Damn it. I've gone and done it again. I've burned the sexual activities. Now how am I supposed to find out what turns my partner on? I'm such an idiot. What is wrong with me? Why do I keep making the same mistake over and over again? Is this some kind of punishment from the devil? Are you punishing me? What do you want me to do? I see a bundle of Chistora by the window. I think that can be just the thing I need to replace the burnt sexual activities. I just need to get dressed, buy some supplies, and make it happen. Come to think of it, I'm not sure exactly how to make Chistora. I should probably do a bit more research and find out how it's traditionally made. That way, I can make sure I'm giving everyone the best experience possible. I'm sure the devil is having a good laugh at me right now, but I'm determined to make this work. Right. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna make Chistora instead of burnt sexual activities and have fun while doing it. Let's get to it. Scare! What's going on in here? It's full of smoke and it smells like something's burning. Um, nothing is burning. It's just the steam from the steamed sexual activities I'm making in the kitchen. Nothing to be concerned about. Skinner, I think the kitchen is on fire. We need to get it taken care of as soon as possible. Put out the fire and open the windows to air it out. 
Okay, okay, no need to panic. I'll take care of it right away. Well, what is this? Uh, it's the latest in a long line of revolutionary new proteins created in the laboratories of Springfield. We call it Chistora. It's a mix of traditional pork and Spanish chorizo with a unique blend of spices for a taste that's out of this world. Mmm, this doesn't look like the food we were supposed to get. Oh, it is. I just wanted to surprise everyone with something a little different. It's a culinary innovation that we've been experimenting with. Trust me, you won't be disappointed. We were supposed to get something else. What happened to it? Skinner, the kitchen is on fire. We have to do something. No, no. You see these crystal skulls I brought in? It must be their energy that's causing this strange phenomenon. There. I need to see for myself. Can you show me the crystal skulls? No, I'm afraid not. It's too dangerous to move them right now. Scare, we can't just ignore the fire. We need to get out of here. Well, thanks for lunch, Skinner. I've got to go now. No problem. Chalmers, have a good day. You too. What fire? Is something burning? I don't smell anything. Must be those crystal skulls I've been collecting. <laughs> See you later. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. I'm just finishing up the soya bean for dinner. It's not quite ready yet, but we can chat until it's ready. Thank you, Mr. Skinner. I appreciate you having me over for dinner. It's my pleasure, Superintendent. Please, have a seat. Can I get you something to drink? Yeah. Thank you. A glass of water would be nice. Of course. I'll be right back with it. Damn it, I can't believe I burned the soya bean. What a waste of time and money. I should have paid more attention to the temperature and amount of time needed. I guess I'll just have to try again tomorrow. Well, that was a learning experience. Maybe next time I'll make sure to watch the clock more closely and not overcook it. Uh, I think I'm going to try French sorrel to replace the burnt soya bean. Let's see how this works. I'll go outside and grab some. I bet it will give it a fresh tart flavor. I'm sure it won't take long to cook. Time to get harvesting. The French sorrel looks lovely and fresh. I'll just have to make sure to pick the leaves without any bugs. That shouldn't take long. I'm ready to go. Now let's get this French sorrel back to the kitchen. Time to get cooking. Here we go. Let's see how this new flavor turns out. Skinner, what is going on here? The kitchen is filled with smoke. Why won't you tell me the truth? It's just steam, sir. There's nothing to worry about. I'm just boiling water for some tea. Skinner, I know there's a fire in the kitchen. Don't lie to me. What happened? Okay, okay. I was cooking some bacon and it got a bit out of control. I'm sorry, sir. I'll take care of it right away. Skinner, that's not soya bean. It's French sorrel. What is going on here? Uh, French sorrel? I knew that. I just wanted to use a more exotic sounding name so our guests would be more impressed with the menu. That doesn't explain why there's a different dish than what the guests were expecting. It's simple, really. I got a special deal on the French sorrel, so I decided to take advantage of it and surprise everyone with something new and exciting. It was a spur-of-the-moment decision, but I'm sure everyone will love it. Skinner, that's still not an acceptable explanation. I'm going to need the truth. Skinner, the kitchen is on fire. We need to get out of here now. No, no, no. This isn't a fire. It's a natural phenomena. Like supercell thunderstorms. It won't hurt us. We should stay put. Skinner, this is a real fire, and it's getting worse by the second. We need to evacuate now. Please, don't argue with me. Oh, all right. Let's go. Good, let's hurry. Thanks for lunch, Principal Skinner. 
Say, why is it so dark in here? Uh, just one of those supercell thunderstorms. Nothing to worry about. I can smell smoke and see orange light coming from the window. Well, I'm sure it's just a little campfire. Nothing to be concerned about. Ah, okay. Hello, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. I'm just cooking up some side of bacon for us. It won't be ready for a few more minutes, though. That smells delicious. I'd love some bacon. What else are you cooking? I am also making some scrambled eggs and toast. Would you like some? Yes, that sounds great. Thank you. You're welcome. Please, have a seat and I'll bring it right out. Is there anything else I can get you? Great. Just great. I was so looking forward to that bacon and now it's ruined. What am I going to do now? I have to find something else to eat. Maybe I'll just try making some eggs. That shouldn't be too hard, right? I'm sure I can pull something off. Ah, uh, I see a bushy in the garden. It looks like it's the perfect size to replace the burnt side of bacon. Time to get to work. First, I need to cut the bushy in half. I think it's best to use a sharp knife to do it. Ah, here we go. All right. Now I just need to place the bushi on the frying pan and turn the heat up. Here we go! And now all I need to do is wait for it to cook. I'm sure it'll turn out delicious. Yeah, yes, perfect. Now I can enjoy my breakfast, complete with some delicious bushi instead of the burnt side of bacon. What are you doing in here? The whole kitchen is full of smoke. It's just steam. Nothing to worry about. Steam? Don't try and feed me that. This kitchen is on fire and you know it. No, uh, no, it's just a little bit of smoke. I'm sure it's nothing to worry about. What's going on here, Skinner? Did you purposely switch out the side of bacon I asked for? No, absolutely not. I told you it was Boshi from the start. I never said anything about bacon. But I distinctly remember you saying side of bacon. Now, why would you do that? Oh, I must have been confused. I meant to say Boshi all along. I apologize for any confusion. I, I, I don't believe you, Skinner. I think you deliberately switched out the side of bacon for this Boshi and you're trying to cover it up. Skinner, the kitchen is on fire. We need to call the fire department. Oh no, I'm sure it's just volcanic lightning. It's not a fire, it's just a natural phenomena. Skinner, this is an emergency. We need to leave the school and call the fire department now. No, no, it's just a natural phenomena. Don't worry, it will pass soon. Skinner, I'm not going to stand here and argue about this. The kitchen is on fire and we need to call the fire department right now. Thanks for lunch, Skinner. I should probably get going. Looks like your house is on fire, though. Oh, that. That's nothing. It's just volcanic lightning. Nothing to worry about. Oh. Okay, then. If you say so, I'll be on my way. Very good. Have a nice day, Chalmers. You too, Skinner. Welcome, Mr. Chalmers. Please, come on in. Thank you, Mr. Skinner. It smells like something is cooking. Yes, I'm making my famous pickled herring. It's not quite ready yet, but it will be soon. That sounds delicious. I can't wait to try it. I'm sure you're going to love it. Would you like a drink while you wait? Oh, no. How could I have been so careless? I worked so hard to make this pickled herring and it's ruined now. I don't even know how to fix it. I guess I'm just gonna have to start all over again. I should have been more careful. I'm so frustrated right now. Uh, sailfish? Now that would be perfect for replacing the burnt pickled herring. All I need to do is find a way to get one. 
I could try fishing for it myself or maybe I could ask around and see if any of the local fishermen know where I could get one. Uh, maybe I could also look for a local fish market or try to catch one on my own. I'm sure I could figure something out. Now I just need to put my plan into action. First I'll need to find some fishing equipment. Then I'll need to either find a local fish market or get out on the sea myself and try my luck at catching a sailfish. Well, here I go. Wish me luck. What is going on in here? It smells like smoke and you've got the kitchen full of it. Tell me the truth. Is there a fire? Oh, no, sir. That's just steam. I was just cooking some soup. On the stove. It's nothing to worry about. That's impossible. I can see flames from here. Now tell me the truth. Is the kitchen on fire? Yes, sir. It appears that the stove caught fire. I have it under control, and I am attempting to put it out. I apologize for the inconvenience. Skinner, why did you bring sailfish when I asked for pickled herring? I knew you wanted something different, so I thought I'd surprise you and switch it up. I figured you'd be delighted with the variety. But sailfish is not what I asked for. Ah, uh, but isn't it the thought that counts? I wanted to show you the many options available to you when it comes to seafood dishes. That may be, but this isn't what I requested. Skinner, there's a fire in the kitchen. We have to put it out now. No, no, that's not a fire. It's just the mammatus clouds I was telling you about. It's perfectly natural. Nothing to worry about. Let's just leave it be. Skinner, I think you're in denial. That's definitely a fire and we need to contain it right away. Are you sure? It looks like mammatus clouds to me. We can just leave it be. No need to panic. No, Skinner, I'm sure it's a fire and it needs to be put out right now. We have to call the fire department right away. Well, Skinner, it was a pleasure having lunch with you. I'm sorry I have to leave so soon, but it looks like there's a bit of smoke coming out of your house. Oh, it's nothing. Just some momentous clouds. I'll be just fine. Well, I hope so. It was great catching up. Take care, Skinner. You too, Chalmers. See you soon. Bye. Bye. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. The black olive isn't quite ready yet, but I'm sure it'll be delicious when it's done. The black olive? Sounds intriguing. What inspired such a dish? My mother used to make it for us when I was a kid. It's a unique combination of spices and herbs and various other ingredients. I thought it would make a nice change from the usual dinner fare. Well, I'm sure it will be very tasty. I look forward to trying it. Me too. Shall we go into the living room and have a drink while we wait? I can't believe I burned the black olive. That was the best part of this dish. Now it's all ruined. What am I going to do? I guess I'll just have to start over. I'm going to need some new ingredients. Mmm. -hmm. This is going to take forever. I think I see a way to get what I need. I just need to get to that blood orange tree over there. Let's see if I can find something to help me get there. Hmm. I think I could use a ladder or some kind of rope. I could probably tie it to the tree or somehow climb up it. Uh, I guess I just have to figure out how to get there. I'll have to be careful, though, since I'm all alone. Time to get creative. I know. I'll use a couple of chairs and a blanket to make a makeshift rope. I can tie it to the tree and climb up to get the oranges I need. What are you doing in here? And why is the kitchen so full of smoke? And why were you climbing out the window? No, 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 nothing's on fire, I swear. It's just steam from the steamed black olives I'm making. That's all. What? Are you telling me the truth? This better not be some kind of cover? No, I swear. Nothing's burning, I promise. What is this? This isn't black olives. Ah, uh, yes. It's, uh... 
a special type of olive. It's a rare variety that only grows in the volcanic soils of the Andes. It's much more flavorful than the regular olives. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. This doesn't look like olives. It's orange. Yeah, yes. These are a special type of olive that are naturally orange. It's not something you see very often, so I thought you would appreciate it. Skinner, this is a blood orange. What's going on here? Hey, Skinner, is the kitchen on fire? No, it must be a supernatural phenomenon. It must be a ghost. Wait, is it really a ghost? Can I see it? No, of course not. It's a ghost. You can't see it. Okay, then I'm calling the fire department. It was great catching up, Skinner, but I gotta go. There's an emergency back at home. See you later. Oh, okay then. Don't forget to come back soon. I'll make lunch again. Bye. Bye. Say hi to everyone for me. Will do. Everything is normal. Don't worry about a thing. Okay then. Bye. Do 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 do. Skinner and Chalmers. They're buddies all right. Though Skinner's no good and seems too uptight. Chalmers he never knows what will occur. When Skinner's in town tonight. See you tomorrow. Hello Superintendent Chalmers. Welcome to my apartment. Please come in. Thank you Principal Skinner. What a pleasant surprise. Is that Bernardo cooking? Yes, he is, but it's not quite ready yet. Can I get you something while you wait? Coffee, tea, something to eat? No, thank you. I'm fine. All right, then. Why don't we have a seat and chat for a bit until Bernardo is finished? Uh... I can't believe I burned the Bernardo. This recipe was so simple. How could I have made such a stupid mistake? I should have been more careful. Well, all I can do now is start over. Back to the drawing board. Hama. That Santala Macumanatum looks like just the thing I need. I think I can get the branches I need with some careful climbing. I just need to make sure I'm careful and don't slip. I'm sure I can manage this. I just need to be confident and keep my focus. Here I go. Just a few more steps. Almost there. I.e. success. What are you doing in here and why is there so much smoke? I'm making a steam Bernardo, sir. That's all the steam you smell. Don't lie to me, Skinner. This kitchen is on fire. What have you done? It's not a fire, sir. I promise. I was just trying to make a steamed Bernardo. Skinner, why did you give us Santa Luma Cuman Adam instead of Bernardo? Well, um, you know how it is. Bernardo can be a bit unpredictable and sometimes hard to get a hold of. So I thought I would give you something similar but a bit more, uh, reliable. Skinner, why are you lying? Is there a reason you didn't get us the food we requested? No, no, of course not. I just wanted to save you some time. You know how it is, time is money, and I wanted to make sure you got what you needed quickly and efficiently. Skinner, why are you still lying? Can you tell me the truth now? What's going on? I smell smoke. Oh, that's just the poltergeists playing a little prank. Don't worry, they always leave by the morning. Are you sure it's not a fire? I need to see what's going on in there to be sure. Oh, I'm sure. Poltergeists don't like to be seen. It will only make them angry if you try to interfere. You're best just staying out of it. I don't believe you. Let me have a look. Thank you for lunch, Professor Skinner. I should be going. But why is this house on fire? Oh, don't worry about that. It's probably just a few mischievous poltergeists having some harmless fun. Professor Skinner, I think it's time we call the fire department. Ah. Uh... No need to fuss. Poltergeists are a part of life and sometimes they just like to put on a show. There's no cause for alarm. But the fire is spreading quickly. We really must call the fire department.
Welcome. Please come in, Superintendent Chalmers. The Kabuli Pala is almost ready, but it's not quite done yet. Ah, smells great. I look forward to trying it. So, how have you been since I last saw you? Oh, I've been great. The kids are doing well, and we've been busy with a few projects around the house. How about you? I'm doing all right. I've been busy with work, but that's normal for this time of year. So, how long until the Kabuli is ready? It should be ready soon, maybe another ten minutes or so. Would you like something to drink while we wait? Ah, uh, I just ruined dinner. That's the last time I try to make Kabuli Palau. I'm such an idiot. How am I ever going to explain this to my family? This is a disaster. Wait, I could try to salvage this. Maybe I can save the Palau and still make something edible out of it. I just need to be creative and think outside the box. I can do this. Uh, I see a barrel of Eric just outside the window. That'll be perfect to replace the burnt Kabuli Pala. Now I just need to figure out how to get it inside. Um, maybe if I move this chair over here I can use it to climb out the window and into the barrel. And then I can push the barrel in through the window. Yes, this will work. Now let's get to it. Here we go. <sighs> that was a close one. What's going on here? Why is the kitchen full of smoke? Oh, it's just the steam from the steam kabuli palal I'm making. No fire here. Don't lie to me, Skinner. I can see the flames. What's really going on here? Okay, I admit it. I was trying to make kebabs on the stove and I accidentally set something on fire. I'm sorry, I'll clean it up right away. Skinner, this is not the dish I ordered. What is going on here? Oh no, this is not Kabuli Palal. This is Arak, an exquisite dish from the exotic country of Afghanistan. It's an old family recipe that has been passed down through generations. I thought you would appreciate something new and exciting. I hope you enjoy it. Skinner. That's not what I asked. I asked you why you gave me this instead of Kabulai Pala. I want the truth. The truth is that I accidentally ordered the wrong dish from the kitchen. But this Eric is even better. You should be grateful that I made such an excellent substitution. Skinner, I don't believe you. Now tell me the truth. What is going on in there? Is there a fire in the kitchen? No. There appears to be some sort of trickster spirit at work here. We just need to let it pass and all will be back to normal in no time. Let me see for myself. I don't think that's a good idea. We don't want to disturb it and make things worse. We have to do something. We can't just ignore the fire. Well, uh, uh, that was quite a lunch. Thanks for having me, Mr. Skinner. It was no trouble at all, Chalmers. I always enjoy our conversations. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some work to attend to. Wait, what's that smell? It smells like smoke. Oh, don't worry about it. It's just the trickster spirits playing their games again. Happens every so often. Don't worry about it. Are you sure? It smells like there could be a fire. Hello, Superintendent Chalmers, come in. Please make yourself at home. My Fortaleza is cooking, but it's not quite ready yet. Can I get you something to drink while we wait? Yes, that would be nice. Do you happen to have a nice glass of wine? Yes, absolutely. I have a nice selection of red and white wines. Would you prefer one of those? Yes, a nice white Wine would be perfect. Thank you. No problem. I'll go get it for you. Damn it, I've done it again. I can't believe I burned the Fortaleza. It was supposed to be perfect. What was I thinking? Maybe I should have been more careful or paid more attention to the heat. 
There's no use crying over spilled milk, I guess. Um, that tree looks like it has great branches. I bet I could use them to build a new fortaleza out of Tetrazzini. I just need some rope and some tools and I should be able to make it happen. Now what do I need to do next? Uh, I should probably check the supplies around the house, see if there's anything I can use for the ropes and tools. Once that's done, I'll need to find a way to carry the Tetrazzini over to the tree. That should be the easy part. Okay, let's get started. Scare! What are you doing in here? And why is this kitchen full of smoke? Why were you climbing out the window? Ow! Ah, oh, nothing. I was just making some steamed fortaleza. It's a traditional Latin American dish. I guess the steam was a bit too much, and that's why it looks like the kitchen is on fire. That's no excuse. The fire department is on their way, and you better have an explanation. Okay, okay. I was trying to make a steamed fortaleza, and the pressure cooker exploded. I was trying to vent the steam out the window so I didn't set off the fire alarm. I'm sorry. Skinner, this is obviously not Fortaleza. What is this? This is an exciting new regional dish we call Tetrazzini. It features a saucy tomato sauce blended with mushrooms and peppers, all enveloped in a light Parmesan cheese. It is a delightful combination of flavors and textures that is sure to please your palate. Skinner, I'm not buying it. What is really going on here? I assure you, this is the real deal. It's a new dish we've been working on, and we are confident that it will become popular. We believe this dish is a great representation of the unique flavor profile of the region. Really, Skinner? I'm not convinced. I think you swapped out the Fortaleza for something else. Now what is it? Hey, Skinner! The kitchen is on fire. We need to get out of here now. Oh, no, no. That's not a fire. It's a ghost ship. Don't worry, it won't hurt us. A ghost ship? I don't believe you. Can I see it? No, no, you can't see it. It's a ghost ship, remember? It's invisible. Skinner, this is serious. We need to leave now. The kitchen is obviously on fire. Don't you smell it? Ah, I should be getting back to work. Thank you for lunch, Skinner. It was nice to see you as always. Anytime, Chalmers. Do take care. You too. Oh, and Skinner, the house is on fire. Don't be silly, Chalmers. It's just a ghost ship passing by. Are you sure? Because it sure looks like there is a fire. Good afternoon, Superintendent Chalmers. Welcome to my home. Please come in. Thank you, Principal Skinner. It smells wonderful in here. What is that aroma? That's my world, famous Araza stew. It's cooking, but it isn't quite ready yet. Would you like something to drink? That would be lovely. What do you have? I have soda, water, and tea. What would you like? Damn it. I can't believe I burned the Araza. I worked so hard on it, and now it's ruined. I just need to calm down and figure out how to salvage it. Maybe I can add more of the other ingredients to cover up the burnt taste. Or maybe I can fry something else to go with it. I'll just need to think of a plan. There's got to be something out there that'll work. I just have to find it. Maybe something in the trees or down by the lake. I just need to take a look. Aha! Uh -huh. That'll do it. Perfect. Now to get it back to the kitchen and get that broth made. Thanks, nature. You never fail to come through. And now how do I get this back? What's going on here? Why is the kitchen full of smoke? Oh, it's just steam from the steamed araza I'm making. I'm sure it will be delicious. You're not seriously trying to tell me that the smoke is normal? Look at this mess. You need to put out the fire before it gets out of control. Oh, you don't need to worry. I just need to add a few more ingredients and it will be ready in no time.
Skinner, why did you bring broth instead of Araza? I was informed that the Araza had been recalled due to a quality issue, so I opted for the broth, as it was still within our budget, and offered a similar nutritional value. But the ingredients you listed on the description don't match what was in the broth. Um, so sorry, I must have made a mistake in writing the description. But the broth still meets our nutritional needs, and we saved a bit of money in the process. But why not bring something that matched the description you wrote? What's going on? Is the kitchen on fire? No, it's hail of frogs. Look, you can see them bouncing against the windows. I'd like to see for myself. Oh, there's no need for that. I'm telling you it's hail of frogs. You'll just have to take my word for it. No, I want to see the hail of frogs for myself. Um, Skinner, I don't think it's hailing frogs. I think it's a fire. No, no, no. It's just the wind. Nothing to worry about. Let's get back to our lunch. No, Skinner, it's definitely a fire. We need to call the fire department. Now. Oh, all right, I guess. But I still don't think it's anything to worry about. It's probably just a false alarm. No, Skinner, it's definitely a fire. We need to call the fire department now. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. Dinner will be ready in a few minutes. Thank you, Mr. Skinner. The smell of Campanula versicolor is delightful. What are you cooking? It's Campanula versicolor. It's a type of wildflower native to these parts. I find it quite delicious in a stew. I must say, I've never heard of that before. How did you come to learn of it? Oh, I was out in the hills collecting plants as part of my botany studies when I stumbled upon it. I've been cooking with it ever since. What have I done? I should have known better. How am I going to explain this to the professor? She must be so disappointed with me. I'm such a failure. I guess I better start cleaning this up now. I'll just have to hope that the professor can find it in her heart to forgive me. I think I see a dear villa out there. If I can get close enough to it, I should be able to take a cutting and replace the burnt Campanula versicolor. Now, let me see if I can find a way to get close enough to it. Um, maybe if I can find a ladder or something, I could climb up to reach it. Okay, here goes nothing. Well, made it. Now just a few more steps and I should be able to take a branch with some flowers on it. What do you mean, Steen? This place is full of smoke. What the hell is going on here? It's nothing, Principal Chalmers. I'm just steaming Campanula versicolor. It's a kind of flower. It makes the smoke nothing to worry about. I don't believe you. Are you trying to hide something from me? What are you cooking up in here? I swear it's just the Campanula versicolor. I promise it won't happen again. Skinner, I don't think this is the right food. What's going on here? Uh, yeah, I wanted to surprise you. This is a special type of wildflower that only grows in a secret location. It's a rare delicacy that few people have ever tasted. Skinner, I'm not buying it. What's really going on? All right, I'll tell you. This is Dyervilla, a wildflower found in many areas of the U.S. I thought I'd switch it out for some variety. I'm sorry for not telling you but I thought you'd appreciate the surprise. I appreciate the thought, but next time just tell me what you're doing. Don't lie about it. What? What is going on in the kitchen? It's getting really hot in here. Oh, don't worry. It's just a spectral ghost we've been having in here lately. Nothing to worry about. A spectral ghost? Can I see it? No, it's hard to see it. We have to keep an eye out for it just in case. I believe you. There's something else going on here. I think the kitchen is on fire. Thanks for lunch, Principal Skinner. But it looks like you have a problem back home. It's nothing I can't handle. Whatever it is, it's probably just a spectral ghost. Don't worry about it. If you say so. Well, good luck and I'll see you around. Take care. Bye.
Am I glad to see you, Superintendent Chalmers? Come in, come in. Dinner's almost ready, but it's not quite ready yet. Can I get you a drink? That oh, would be lovely, thank you. What do you have? We have a selection of juices, sodas, and beers. Would you like something to snack on while you wait? That would be great. Thank you. Excellent. I just made some nachos. Would you like some? Damn it. I can't believe I just burned the basil. That was meant to be the star of the dish. Fuck, 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 fuck. I guess I'll just have to start over from scratch. But this time I'll keep a closer eye on it. Fuck. <laughs> well, looks like I'm gonna have to make a trip to the store to get some cougar gold. Damn, I wish I could just find some out here in the wild. Come on now. There has to be something out here that would do the trick. Let's go check it out. Aha, I think this could work. Now to get it back to the house and make some delicious cheesy goodness. Fuck yeah. I'm gonna do it. Time to get creative. Alright, so here's the plan. I'll need to collect some seeds from the wild plants, grind them up and combine them with the cougar gold. Hopefully that'll replace the burnt basie and make an amazing cheese dish. What are you doing in here and why is the kitchen full of smoke? And why were you climbing out the window? Uh, I was just making some steamed basil and the steam must gotten out of control. It's nothing to worry about. Do you really expect me to believe that? I think it's time you told me the truth. All right, fine. I was making a grilled cheese sandwich and it caught on fire. I was trying to put it out, but it got out of hand. So I was climbing out the window to get away from the smoke. That's the truth. Skinner, what is this? This is not what I asked for. Ah, uh, yes, sorry about that. You asked for some basic food, but I decided to get something a bit more interesting. This is a regional delicacy, cougar gold cheese. It's a delicious combination of cheddar and Swiss cheesies combined with some of the smokiest jalapenos you've... Skinner! I asked for basic food, not cougar gold cheese. Oh, yes, I'm terribly sorry. I thought it was a bit more exotic, so I decided to surprise you. There's no need to thank me, I was just doing my job. Skinner, I'm not sure what kind of game you're playing here, but I'm not amused. I asked for basic food, not this cougar gold cheese. I want the basic food I requested. There's a fire in the kitchen. We need to put it out. No, no, no. It's just lich. I don't see any fire. Let me see. I'll be the judge of that. No, I don't think that's necessary. It's lich, I'm telling you. Fine. Then I'm calling the fire department. Well, oh, thank you for lunch, Mr. Skinner. I must be getting back to my class now. Oh, certainly, certainly. Pleasure having you as my guest. Oh, and Chalmers. Yes? Always remember, a pleasant attitude will take you a long way, especially in times such as these. I'll keep that in mind. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please, come in. We're just finishing up the croton for your salad. Ah, excellent. Thank you for having me. It's my pleasure. Would you like something to drink while you wait? I'd love a glass of white wine if you have it. Certainly. Just give me a moment to get the glasses. Oh, no, I have ruined it again. I just can't seem to get this right. I feel so stupid. What would the soup nazy say if he saw this? No soup for you. You'd better go back and start over again. I know I can find a way to turn this crouton tragedy around. I bet there's a dill pickle out there somewhere just waiting for me to find it. I just need to be brave and look outside the window. Here we go. Come on, Mr. Incredible. Let's go find that dill pickle together. We'll make it happen. All right, let's do this. All the pickles out there, I'm coming for you. Here we go. Adventure awaits. No time to lose. We're on the hunt. What's going on here? Where's the fire? The kitchen is full of smoke. 
Oh, it's just a little steam. I'm making some steamed croutons, and the steam is giving off a bit of smoke. What's that in the corner? Is that a fire? I believe it is. What are you doing? You're going to burn the school down. Oh, no. It's nothing. Just a bit of kindling. Nothing to worry about. Skinner, why did you decide to bring us dill pickles instead of croutons? Ah, uh, well, it's a funny story, actually. I was walking past the store and I spotted these pickles out of the corner of my eye. I thought they looked so deliciously crunchy and delicious that I couldn't resist it. I couldn't resist. I knew everyone would love it. That's certainly a creative explanation. But why didn't you just get the croutons? Oh, I tried to get them, but unfortunately the store was all out. So I had to settle for the pickles instead. But I'm sure you'll all enjoy them just as much. Well, all right. I guess we'll just have to make do. Skinner! The kitchen is on fire! We need to get out now! Oh, no, no, no. I'm sure it's just a mirage. Let's just stay put. No! I want to see the fire for myself. No, it's nothing. Don't worry about it. Skinner, this is serious. We have to act now. Well, I better get going. Thanks for having me for lunch. I hope you don't mind the fire alarm going off. No, no, don't worry about it. Must be some kind of mirage. Okay, then. Well, goodbye. Goodbye. Be safe. Hello, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. Dinner is nearly ready. Just a few more minutes. Oh, hello, Skinner. That smells delightful. What are you cooking? Uh, I'm making a traditional Brazilian dish called Shinus Terebinthifolius. It's a stew of beef, onions, bell peppers, tomatoes, and plenty of herbs and spices. It's been simmering for a few hours, and it's finally ready. It smells fantastic. I'm looking forward to trying it. Does it need to be served with anything special? It's normally served with white rice, crusty bread, and a green salad. But feel free to add any garnish you'd like. God, why did I have to burn the shinest herb in Thyfolius? I had been so looking forward to it. I'm so frustrated and helpless right now. I wish I could turn back time and prevent this from happening. Please help me find a way to make up for this mistake. Dear Lord, I know that everyone makes mistakes and I'm trying my best to make the best decisions I can, but I still feel terrible about this one. Please show me how I can still make use of this situation and turn it into something positive that will benefit all of us. Okay, God, if you can hear me, please help me find what I need to replace this tree with oil. It's really important to me and I'm not sure what to do. Please guide me. All right, then, I'm going outside to see what I can find. Thank you for your help. Please let what I find be a sign of your guidance. Thank you. Thank you. Amen. What is going on? The kitchen is full of smoke. Ah, uh, it's nothing to worry about. I'm making steamed shinus to Reventifolius. I'm sorry if there's a little bit of smoke in the air. Skinner, the kitchen is on fire. Don't you have the decency to admit it? Oh, I didn't realize it was this bad. I'm so sorry. I'll get the fire extinguished right away. Skinner, you told me you were getting shinus to Reventifolius. What is this oil? It's an ancient delicacy made from the fruits of shinus to Reventifolius. This is a rare variety that was grown by a special tribe in the deep jungles of South America. The only way to get it is to trade something of equal or greater value. In this case, oil. That sounds like a pretty convenient story. Is that really the truth? Yes, it is. I'm sure you can agree that it's better to have something as rare and delicious as oil than to settle for the ordinary shinus terebinthifolius. But why did you lie to me about what you were getting? Skinner, the kitchen is on fire. We need to put it out or we'll all be in danger. Will, oh, the wisp, Chalmers. 
that's all it is. Nothing to worry about. No, Skinner, I'm pretty sure it's a fire. Can I see it for myself? No, Will, oh, the wisp. Nothing to see here. Skinner, this is serious. We need to do something about this. Oh, man. I really should get going. Thanks for lunch, Skinner. I don't think I've ever seen a place quite like this. Ah, uh, yes. You're welcome. You should come again sometime. Now, now, I don't think I should let you leave just yet. The house is burning down, you know. I still pretend there's no fire no matter what. It's just a will. Oh, wisp. Hmm, be careful, Skinner. But I really must be going. Take care. Yes, take care. Don't worry. I can handle this fire. It will all be okay. Good luck, Skinner. See you soon. Do 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 do. Skinner and Clemmers. Together they roam, bringing confusion and lots of unknowns. Their shenanigans are a sight to see. You never know just who they'll be. Skinner has one thing to say, which is far from what he means, anyways. Chalmers is determined to find the truth. They're the funniest couple in town tonight. See any more, Aura? Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. The bang. Marie isn't quite ready yet, but I'm sure it'll be done soon. Thanks for having me, Skinner. It smells delicious already. Glad you like it. Please make yourself comfortable. Thank you. So what inspired this dinner? Oh, I just wanted to make something special for you. I thought it would be nice to show my appreciation for all the hard work you do. I can't believe I did this. How could I have been so careless? I need to get the bane. Marie fixed right away, or else I won't be able to finish the dishes. I guess I'll have to call a repairman, but that'll cost me a lot of money. Maybe I can find the parts I need and do it myself. That would save me some money. Hmm. That looks like the perfect replacement for the burnt bane. Marie. I wonder if sweet peppers will fit in there. I should go get them. Well, I don't have anyone here to help me, but I'm sure I can figure it out. Okay, the first step is to gather the peppers. I should go outside and pick some. Ah, uh, better hurry, I need to have the bane. Marie fixed as soon as possible so I can get back to making the food. All right then, here I go. What the hell are you doing? The kitchen is full of smoke. What did you do? Oh, nothing. I'm just steaming some bane. Marie, it's just steam, no big deal. But why is there so much smoke? Don't try to lie to me, I know something is wrong. Okay, okay. I admit there was a small fire, but I put it out quickly and everything is fine now. Skinner, I'm not sure I believe you. Why did you come back with this food instead of the bane? Marie, I asked you to get. Oh, uh, well, you see, there was a mix-up at the grocery store and they accidentally gave me this sweet pepper instead of the bane. Marie. I tried to explain, but the clerk just didn't understand, so I had to take what I could get. I'm really sorry for the mix. That's a pretty strange story. Can you show me the receipt from the store so I can see what really happened? Oh, I'm sorry, I don't have it anymore. But I can assure you that it's the truth. That's still quite a convenient story. I suggest you tell me the truth and explain what actually happened here. What's going on in here? It must be a thunder snake. You don't need to worry about it. I want to see it. Is it really a thunder snake? No, it's not safe for you to come in here. I'll take care of it. It's not safe in here? What do you mean? Ah, uh, thank you for lunch, Mr. Skinner. I should be getting back to the office now. I'll be sure to keep you up to date on what's going on with the project. That sounds great. Have a good day, Professor Chalmers. You too. Oh, and I think I hear some thunder outside. Oh, don't worry about it. It's just the thunder snake again. Nothing to worry about. Uh, okay then. Well, good day.
Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. Thank you, Skinner. It smells like something very delicious is cooking in here. Yes, I'm making for Telly. They'll be ready soon. Ah, Frito. I haven't had those since I was a boy. They smell wonderful as usual. I'm glad they bring back such pleasant memories. I'm sure they'll be just as delicious as you remember them. Oh, why did I do that? I should have paid more attention. Now I have to start over again. This isn't fair. I wanted to impress everyone with my cooking skills. All right, let's try again. This time I'll focus more and make sure I don't burn them. I wonder if that clam chowder I saw outside the window would make a better replacement for the burnt fritel. I should go and check it out. It's worth a shot. I'll head out and see what I can find. All right then, here I go. Let's see if I can get some of that clam chowder to replace the burnt fratelli. If it works out, I'll be glad I took the chance. What are you doing in here? And why is the kitchen full of smoke? Oh, this. It's just steam from the steamed frittel I'm making. Nothing to worry about. It doesn't look like steam. It looks like smoke. Are you trying to hide something from me? No, I swear. I'm just making frittel. Skinner, what is going on here? This is not the food I ordered. No, no, I, it's not what it looks like. This is a special surprise I came up with. This is a new experimental dish I'm trying out, a combination of frittle and clam chowder. It's a fusion of frittel and clam chowder. So, you're trying to tell me that this is seafood frittel? Yeah, that's exactly what it is. A delectable dish I have been working on for some time now. It's a true work of culinary art. Um, well, I'm not sure I believe you, but I'm willing to try it. What is going on in there? The kitchen looks to be on fire. Oh, no, no, no. It's just levitation. You don't need to worry about it. Can I see it for myself? No, it's nothing to worry about. Just levitation. I'm not convinced. I'd like to take a look for myself. Um, thank you for lunch, Skinner. I should be going now. Ah, uh, there's no need to hurry. The house is not on fire. Wait, levitation. Yes, let's pretend the house is levitating instead of burning down. Ah, you're right. Let's pretend it is levitating. Well, I'm off to my next meeting. Bye. Bye. Goodbye! Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. Dinner is not yet ready, but please make yourself at home. Thank you, Skinner. It's good to see you. Is there anything I can do to help with dinner? No, no, everything is taken care of. But feel free to go and mingle with the other guests until dinner is ready. Ah, uh, yes, that sounds like a pleasant way to pass the time. I'll do just that. Thank you. You're very welcome. I'll let you know when dinner is ready. Damn it, why did I have to burn the commune? Now what am I going to do? It was supposed to be my favorite meal. I should have paid more attention. Now I have to start over. I'll just have to make something else for dinner. I am going to get some bastardo del grappa to replace the burnt commune. I just need to make it to the shop quickly before it closes. If I can just get some help with carrying the bottles, I can do this. I will ask the nearest passerby to help me. Thank you so much for your help. Let's get to the shop before it closes. I am so relieved now I can get the bastardo del grappa. I need to get my burnt commune replaced. I can't believe how lucky I was to find someone to help me out. Skinner! What's going on here? The kitchen is full of smoke. What are you doing? Oh, it's nothing, sir. Just making some steamed commune. The steam must be where the smoke is coming from. The right to me, Skinner. I can smell burning and this smoke isn't coming from steam. Tell me what's really going on here. 
Okay, okay. I was trying to make a flan, but, but something went wrong and a kitchen towel caught fire. I'm sorry, I'll take care of it right away. Skinner, what is going on? Where did this Bastardo del Grappa come from? Oh, this. This is nothing. Just a special treat, that's all. I wanted to surprise you all with something different. No big deal. Well, it is a big deal. Where'd you get it? Uh, I know a chef who specializes in these types of dishes. He's really well connected in the culinary world and was able to get his hands on some of this rare specialty dish. It's really quite delicious, if I do say so myself. And why did you choose this particular dish? What's going on in there? I can smell smoke. Oh, it must be the ghosts of cafeteria workers past. I assure you there's no fire. In fact, I'm certain it's a haunting. Let me see for myself. No, I don't think that would be wise. It's best to leave the spirits to their own devices. This is ridiculous. I'm going in. Well, I'd better be off. Thanks for the lunch, Skinner. You're welcome, Chalmers. It was a pleasure. Have a good day. You too. Bye. Goodbye. Goodbye. Wait. Wait. Is there something wrong? It smells like something is burning. Welcome, Professor Chalmers. Please, come in. I've been expecting you. Thank you, Principal Skinner. It smells wonderful in here. Is that Wadalapa my smell? Yes, it is. I'm making it for my guests. Unfortunately, it's not quite ready yet. Could I offer you a cup of tea in the meantime? That would be lovely, thank you. My pleasure. Please, make yourself comfortable while I get the tea. Hey, uh, I can't believe I ruined that Wadalapam. I worked so hard on it too. It was going to be perfect. I guess I'll just have to try again tomorrow. Why do I always do this? I have to be more careful next time. What am I thinking? If I can find some deer villa, that would be perfect for a replacement for the burnt Wadalapam. It's just a matter of finding some nearby. I suppose I could look around outside for some. Okay, here I go. Let's see. Ah, there it is. A nice healthy stand of deer villa. This should do the trick. Now to get some of the leaves and twigs. Time to start harvesting. Eh, this looks like a good start. Now I can get back to making the Wadalapam. I'm sure it will taste just as good as the original. What are you doing, and why is the kitchen full of smoke? I, uh, I'm just making some steamed Wadalapam. I was just opening the window to let some of the steam out. No, there's clearly something else going on here. What's really happening? Okay, okay, I admit it. There was a small fire in the kitchen and I was trying to put it out. I'm sorry, I should have told you the truth. Skinner! This isn't Wadalapam. What is this? Ah, yes, this is a regional variation of Wadalapam, made with Deer Villa, of course. It's a special treat for our guests, and I'm sure you'll all enjoy it. I, I doubt this is Wadalapam. Why don't you tell me the truth? I'm sorry, sir, but I'm afraid I can't do that. The truth is that this is a very special recipe, one shared only by our region's chefs. It's quite unique, and I'm sure you'll love it. Skinner, I'm not asking you to share the recipe. I'm asking you to tell me what this is. Stop lying and tell me the truth. Skinner, you have to admit there's a fire in the kitchen. We can't ignore it. No, no, no. That's not a fire. That's ectoplasm. Nothing to worry about. Let me see it. No, this isn't something you can see. It's more of a feeling. I'm telling you, it's nothing to worry about. If it's nothing to worry about, then why don't you open the kitchen door and let me have a look? 
Skinner, the house is burning down. Why don't you do something about it? Oh, it's just ectoplasm. Don't worry about it. Skinner, this is serious. You need to call the fire department immediately. No, no, no. That's not necessary. It's just ectoplasm. It will burn out eventually. You need to do something. This is an emergency. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. My Fioron de la Valsessina is cooking, but it's not quite ready yet. Thank you, Skinner. It smells wonderful. What is it? Fioron de la Valsessina is an Italian dish made with potatoes and fresh cheese. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. It sounds delicious. I'm looking forward to it. It's almost ready. Would you like to sit down and have some wine while we wait for it to finish cooking? Ah, uh, I can't believe I burned the Fioron della Balsacina. I worked so hard to make that. I can't believe I let it get ruined. I guess I better start over again. Maybe I should just take a break instead. I need to calm down a bit before I start over. Okay, so I need to find some lemons. There must be some trees around here somewhere. I might as well take a look outside to see if I can spot any. Um, wait a minute. Those trees over there look like lemon trees. Perfect. Now I just need to find a way to get the lemons off the tree. Maybe I can climb up, or maybe I can find a ladder. I'll just have to experiment and see what works best. Well, I guess I've got my task for the day. Time to go hunting for lemons. Wish me luck. Here goes nothing. What is on here? Why is the kitchen full of smoke? Ah, it's nothing. Just steam from the steam Fioron della Valsacina I'm making. Is that so? Then why does it smell like something is burning? Oh, uh, that's just the spices I added to the dish. It's supposed to smell like that. What is going on here, Skinner? This isn't Fioron della Valsacina. Where did this come from? Oh, this is special. It's made from the finest lemons in the Mediterranean. It's so rare. It's only available to the most discerning palates. Skinner, that's not true. Where did this come from? It's an ancient recipe. It's been passed down through countless generations. It's been a family secret for centuries. That's still not the truth. I want the truth. What is this? Mr. Skinner, I think the kitchen is on fire. Please come and see for yourself. No, it's probably just halos. Don't worry about it. But I'm worried. Can I at least see it for myself? No, it's nothing to worry about. It's just halos. Are you sure it's not a fire? I'm really concerned. Ah, thanks for lunch, Principal Skinner. I gotta go now. Oh, you don't have to rush off. We can finish our conversation. No, I don't think so. I think I should go now. All right, then. Have a good day. You too. Oh, uh, Superintendent Chalmers. Welcome. Please come in. Thank you. Principal Skinner. It smells delicious in here. Is that the butea I smell cooking? Yes, it is. It's almost done, but I think it still needs a few more minutes. I can't wait to try it. Is there anything else I can do to help? No, that's all right. Why don't you have a seat and we can talk until it's ready? Damn it. I can't believe I burned the butea. Now I'll never get to enjoy it. Oh, why couldn't I just have followed through and not been so careless? I'm such an idiot, devil. Why do you keep tormenting me like this? Why can't I ever find peace and joy in life? Why do I always seem to make the same mistakes? I see a cow grazing in the field. That cow's gotta have some greater omentum in its belly. I can use that to replace the burnt beauty. I just need to figure out how I'm gonna get my hands on it. 
I guess I'll have to find a way to lure the cow closer so I can get the omentum without scaring it away. Hmm, maybe I could make some food bait and lay it out in front of me. It wouldn't be easy, but it might just work. Come on, devil, help me out here. Give me some clever ideas to get this cow to come closer. Come on, think. I need to come up with something fast before the cow wanders off. Maybe I can call it with a whistle, or set up a trail of food that leads to me, or move a little closer than I'd normally dare to, and see if it comes closer to investigate, or... I... Wait, I got it. I could label a nearby tree with chalk and then attract the cow by making noises that only cows will recognize. Yeah, that's it. Labeling a tree will draw it closer, and that's how I'll get my hands on the greater momentum. What is going on here? This kitchen is full of smoke. What are you doing? Oh, nothing. Just making some steamed beauty. Delicious and healthy. Don't lie to me. This isn't steam. Is the kitchen on fire? No, of course not. It's just, uh... <sighs> Cooking experiment gone wrong. I was trying to make something new and accidentally set off a little smoke, that's all. Scare! I thought we agreed on Batea. What is this? It's the same. It's just a different cut of the same delicacy. The greater omentum is a more tender and flavorful alternative to the beauty. It's a chef's special. Think of it as an upgrade. What? Scare, this looks nothing like what we agreed on. Are you sure this is safe to eat? Absolutely. Our supplier only offers the highest quality ingredients, and this is no exception. The greater omentum is a very popular choice with connoisseurs of fine food, and I'm sure you'll enjoy it as much as I do. Skinner, this is obviously not what we talked about. What's really going on here? This is ridiculous! I can see that the kitchen is on fire! We need to put it out. Nonsense! What you are seeing is not a fire, but rather a levitation spell being cast by a powerful wizard. A wizard? Are you being serious right now? I'm not buying this. Can I see the levitation spell? No, that is impossible. It is a secret spell that must remain hidden. We need to do something about this fire. We can't just ignore it. Well, uh... Thanks for lunch, Skinner. I really must be going. Oh, don't worry about it. I'm sure it's just some minor levitation issue. It'll dissipate soon. No need to worry. Okay. Well, that's reassuring, I guess. Goodbye. Bye now. Um... Okay, bye. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Come on in. Thank you, Principal Skinner. It smells like something's cooking. Is it ready yet? Oh, no, it's not quite ready yet. We still have a few more minutes to wait. Would you like something to drink while you wait? That would be lovely. What do you have? I have some freshly brewed oolong tea, or if you prefer something a bit sweeter, there's some iced peppermint tea as well. Damn it. I can't believe I burned the tear sauce. That was the last of the ingredients. I guess I'll have to start over from scratch. What a waste of time and energy. Maybe try a little less heat next time and keep a closer eye on it. I can do this. I just have to stay focused. Aha! Uh -huh. I bet that I can make some delicious rope of the Asia if I can find some sour oranges nearby. I'll need some garlic, oregano, cumin, tomato sauce, onions, green peppers, and some red peppers. That should do it. Now time to get to work. First, I'm going to cut some of the vegetables so that they are small enough to cook. Then, I'll sauté them with the garlic and oregano. Once they are golden brown, I'll add the tomato sauce, cumin, and sour oranges. After it's cooked through, I can add the rope of Vieja. Finally, I'll let it all simmer until the flavors combine and I have the perfect sauce. 
I'm sure it'll be perfect. Now, time to get cooking. Skinner, what the hell is going on here? This place is full of smoke. Oh, uh, that. It's just steam from the steam tear sauce I'm making. Nothing to worry about here. Skinner, stop lying to me. The kitchen is clearly on fire. Put it out now. Oh, all right. I guess I should have realized you could tell it was a fire. I'll put it out right away. Skinner, why'd you bring Ropa Viasia instead of Tear Sauce? What kind of ridiculous story are you going to tell me this time? Well, um, actually, I heard that the Tear Sauce had been cursed by an ancient gypsy. So I thought it was best to switch it with something else that was safe. Cursed by an ancient gypsy? That doesn't even make sense. I want the truth, Skinner. Nothing but the truth. Look, the truth is that the terror sauce was made with a secret ingredient that I'm not allowed to divulge. So I decided to replace it with something else that was a little less, uh, dangerous. Skinner, I'm not buying it. I want the truth and nothing but the truth. Now why did you switch the tear sauce with something else? Do you see what I'm seeing? Is there a fire in the kitchen? No, I'm certain it is nothing more than levitation. It's a special phenomena that you won't be able to believe until you see it with your own eyes. So, can I see it? No, I'm afraid not. It's an extraordinary thing that you wouldn't be able to comprehend. But I'm telling you I see flames! We need to get out of here before it's too late. Well, I should get going. Thanks for the lunch. It was really good. Oh, you're welcome. Have a good day. You too. I will. I just have to practice some levitation. Um, all right then. See you later. Do 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 do. Skinner's slick and Chalmers so kind. The banter between them is hard to define. Their back and forth banter is part of the show. Wherever they go they'll be sure to let you know. Skinner and Chalmers in town tonight. Spreading their anecdotes. And giving us a fright. See ye Mara. Hello Superintendent Chalmers. Welcome to my humble abode. Please come in. Thank you Skinner. It's great to be here. Is that Shrewsbury sauce I smell cooking? Yes, indeed. Unfortunately, it's not quite ready yet, but it won't be long now. That's a relief. I've been looking forward to trying it all week. Why don't you make yourself comfortable while you wait? Can I get you something to drink? Damn, how did I burn the sauce? I was so careful with the recipe. Why do I have to be so clumsy all the time? I swear I'm never gonna mess this up again. No more burning for me. I'm gonna get this right next time. <sighs> that tree outside looks like it's got enough fruit to make a hot milk cake that could replace the burnt Shrewsbury sauce. Time to roll up my sleeves and get to work. I've got to find a way to get that fruit off the tree. Hmm, I can try. Climbing up the tree might be the best way, but it looks a bit tricky. Maybe I should try shaking the tree and see if the fruit falls off. Or maybe I can find a stick and knock the fruit off. That could work. But I'll have to be careful not to break any of the branches in the process. Well, there's only one way to find out. I'm gonna have to give it a try. Here goes nothing. Skinner, what is going on in here? Why is the kitchen full of smoke? Uh, nothing to worry about. Superintendent Chalmers. Just a bit of steam coming off of a batch of my famous steamed Shrewsbury sauce. It's all perfectly normal. Normal? This is obviously not normal. You need to deal with whatever is going on here now or I'm calling the fire department. No need to do that. I'm sure I can get this sorted out in no time. In the meantime, why don't you go back to your office and I'll take care of this. Skinner, why is this? It's a culinary delight. Hot milk cake is a rare delicacy enjoyed by the finest of palates. I'm sure you'll find it to be a delightful treat. Skinner, I, uh, 
asked for Shrewsbury sauce, not hot milk cake? Cared explain. Ah, uh, you see, Shrewsbury sauce wasn't available at the store, so I decided to take a risk and get you something even better. <sighs> hot milk cake. It's the perfect accompaniment to your meal, and I think you'll find it to be delightfully unique. Skinner, you know full well that isn't the truth. I demand to know what's really going on. What is going on in here? Is something burning? No, 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 it's just some haunted houses. Don't worry, it's all under control. I'd like to see for myself. No, it's too dangerous. We can't risk anyone getting hurt. Look, I'm not gonna take no for an answer. Show me what's going on in there. Thanks for lunch, Skinner. Well, I'd better be on my way now. Anytime. Be sure to stop by again. Will do. Oh, and don't mind the house. It's just a bit... haunted. Ah, uh, okay. See you later. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. Thank you, Principal Skinner. It's great to be here. I'm sure you're looking forward to having a taste of my famous honey buns. They're not quite ready yet, but I promise they won't be too long. I can't wait. Your honey buns are the stuff of legend. I'm glad you think so. Would you like to have a seat while we wait? What a mess. I thought I set the timer, but obviously I didn't. I feel so stupid right now. I'm sure it looks terrible. How am I going to explain this to Aunt May? She's going to be so disappointed in me. Well, I guess I'll just have to make something else. I'm sure she'll understand. I see a leashy tree out there. If I can get some of the fruit, that should do the trick. Hmm. How can I get it without anyone else noticing? I know. I'll climb out the window and harness myself to the tree. That way I can reach the fruit without anyone seeing me. Let's give it a try. Okay, here I go. Woo! Made it. Now let's see if I can reach that leachy tree. Yeah! I got some of the leachy fruit. Now I need to figure out how to get back in without anyone seeing me. Mr. Skinner! What is going on here? The kitchen is full of smoke. Explain yourself. Oh, it's nothing, sir. Just a bit of steam from boiling water. Nothing to worry about. Don't lie to me, Skinner. It's obvious the kitchen is on fire. Now, what did you do? I, 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 I was just trying to cook dinner, sir. I'm sorry, I didn't mean for this to happen. What's going on, Skinner? This isn't the honey bun I asked for. This is the newest flavor. It's leashy honey bun. The perfect combination of sweet and tangy. I heard everyone's been raving about it. No one said anything to me. Where did you get it? Oh, it's a new product from a local vendor. They have lots of delicious flavors and I thought this would be a nice surprise. Really? Well, I guess I'll give it a try. But next time, don't switch out the food without telling me. Skinner, the kitchen is on fire. You need to do something about it immediately. No, Chalmers, I don't think that's a fire. It's just convection currents. Nothing to worry about. Skinner, I'm telling you, the kitchen is on fire. We need to put it out before it spreads. No, it's just a natural phenomenon. Nothing to worry about. Oh... Skinner, if you won't admit it's a fire and take action, then I will. Thanks for lunch, Professor Skinner. I'll be on my way now. But, oh, the house appears to be on fire. No, 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 this is normal. It's just convection currents. Nothing to worry about. Well, if you say so, I'll leave you to it then. Have a good day. You too. Good evening, Superintendent Chalmers. Welcome, please come in. The roast is in the oven, but it's still cooking. Can I get you a drink? 
No, thank you. I'm fine. What wonderful smells. What have you prepared for dinner tonight? Roast beef with all the trimmings. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. It smells delightful. With all that food, I hope you have a few people joining us for dinner. Actually, it's just us two tonight. I thought it might be nice to catch up on all the news. We haven't seen each other in a while. Damn it. I can't believe I burnt the bayoting. How could I have been so careless? Now I'm gonna have to start all over again and I don't have the energy. I'm so frustrated. I guess I should just take a breath and remember that it's not the end of the world. I can try again and I'm sure it'll turn out, okay? Uh -huh. I may have found the answer. That wild mushroom patch outside looks like just the thing I need to make a delicious chicken and mushroom pie. Time to get cooking. First, I'll collect the mushrooms, then I'll mix up some ingredients to make the pastry. I think I can make this work. Let's do it. Wish me luck. What on earth is going on in here? It's smoky and smells like something's on fire. Why did I just see you climbing out the window? What? No, no. It's not a fire. I was just... Uh, steaming some bayo ding. Yeah, it's a new recipe I'm working on. Nothing to worry about. Nothing to worry about. Bayo ding! Don't tell me you're cooking in the school kitchen. I thought I told you to stay out of here. Well, it's just a special occasion, sir. I was just trying to surprise you with a delicious snack. What did you give us instead of bayoting? Uh, this is called a uh, chicken and mushroom pie. It's a regional expression here in Springfield. I'm sure you'll love it. But this isn't bayoting. Where is the bayoting? Oh, I'm sorry. I was so busy making sure we got enough of the chicken and mushroom pie that I completely forgot about the bayoting. My mistake. I'm very sorry for inconveniencing you. No, I don't believe you. What's really going on here? The kitchen is on fire. We need to call the fire department. No need to worry. It's just a broken specter. Let me see it. What does it look like? No, there's no need for that. Let's just take some measures to contain the situation. I'm not convinced. We need to call the fire department now. Skinner! The house is on fire. We need to get out of here now. Oh, it's just a broken specter. Nothing to worry about. No, it's not a broken specter. The house is on fire. We need to get out of here now. Oh, don't worry. It's just a broken specter. No, Skinner. The house is really on fire and we need to get out of here now. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please, come in. Thanks, Principal Skinner. It smells delicious in here. Yes, that's the Dending Peru I'm preparing. It should be ready soon. I can't wait to try it. What is it exactly? It's a dish from my hometown. It's made with beef and spices. How could I have been so careless? I ruined dinner. Looks like I'll have to start over. <sighs> I can't believe I let this happen. Ah, oh, why can't I get anything right? I'm such a failure. I should just give up cooking. I'm never going to get it right. Uh, I think I saw a tree outside with some immediate plants growing from it. I bet if I could harvest some of them, I could make a tasty replacement for the burnt dending paru. Time to get to work. I better hurry before it gets too dark outside. Okay, here goes nothing. Wow, it's a good thing I had gardening gloves in the shed. That was some tough harvesting. What the hell is going on here? Why is this kitchen full of smoke? And why were you climbing out the window? Oh, nothing to worry about, Principal Chalmers. I was just making some steamed dendin pan tempuru for lunch. 
The steam from the cooking must have set off the smoke alarm. Don't give me that. I know there's something going on here. Now tell me. All right, all right. I might have been trying to burn something in the oven, but it was an accident. I didn't mean to set the kitchen on fire, I swear. Skinner, what's going on here? Where's the Dending Paru? Dending Paru. What is that? This is Amelia. It's a traditional dish from the islands of central Java. I thought it would be a nice change for the cafeteria. It's a much healthier alternative that's packed with nutrition. What kind of nutrition? I'm not convinced your story is true. Well, Amelia is high in protein, complex carbohydrates, and essential vitamins. Plus, it's low in fat and has no cholesterol. It's a great choice for a healthy diet. That's all well and good, but I still want to know where the Dending Peru is. I'm not buying your regional expression story. Skinner, I can see the kitchen is on fire. We need to call the fire department right away. We can't wait any longer. No, no, no. It's just the beast of Exmoor. It's nothing to worry about. Skinner, I don't believe it. Can I please have a look to be sure it's harmless? No, of course not. It's too dangerous. You must trust me that it's the beast of Exmoor. Nothing to worry about. Skinner, I'm not convinced. This fire is getting bigger and more dangerous by the minute. We should at least call the fire department as a precaution. Thanks for lunch, Skinner. I must be off now. No problem, Chalmers. I hope you enjoyed it. I did, thanks. Hmm? Is everything okay? The house seems awfully smoky. Oh, that's just the beasts of Exmoor running around outside. Nothing to worry about. If you say so, take care now. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. Thank you, Principal Skinner. It smells wonderful in here. Ah, uh, yes. I'm making a traditional Sicilian dish. Impana di pesca spada. It's not quite ready yet, but I'm sure you'll enjoy it. It sounds delicious. I'm looking forward to trying it. Me too. Now what can I do for you, Superintendent Chalmers? Why did I do this? I was so looking forward to having this empanada de pesca spada. I can't believe I burned it. Well, no use crying over spilled milk. I'll have to make something else now. What should I have instead? I think I have the perfect solution. I could try to make some tarts with the ingredients I have. I know I have some puff pastry in the freezer and I can use that to make the pastry shells. Then I can fill them with a mixture of swordfish and some herbs and spices. That should make a tasty, savory dish that would be perfect for a special occasion. This could be the perfect replacement for the burnt empanada di pesca spada. Now I need to find the ingredients to make this dish. I know. The supermarket should have everything I need. I'll have to get moving if I'm going to make this dish before tonight. All right, let's do this. First off, I'll need to thaw out some puff pastry. Then I'll need to get some swordfish and some herbs and spices. This is going to be delicious. What are you doing? Why is there smoke everywhere? And why were you climbing out the window? Did you start a fire? Oh, no, sir. Nothing to worry about. It's just the steam from my steamed empanada di pesci spada. It's a specialty of mine. I'm sure you'd enjoy it. No, I don't believe you. This smells like smoke. Explain yourself. Well, I was just making something special. You see, I was actually trying to make a smoked empanada de pesca spada. It's a difficult recipe, and I was experimenting with different techniques. Skinner, what is this? This doesn't look anything like empanada de pesca spada. Where is it? Ah, yes. You see, there's been a slight change of plans. The empanada de pesca spada was delayed due to transportation troubles, so I was forced to improvise. 
This is a traditional Sicilian dish called tect. It's a highly sought after delicacy, I'm sure. Skinner, that's not true. You know it's not true. Now tell me the truth. What did you do? Ah, uh, I see. Very well. To be honest, I ran out of time and opted to go to a fast food restaurant and get something to substitute for the empanada di pesce spada. I apologize for the inconvenience. That's unacceptable, Skinner. We agreed to serve in Panata di Pesce Spada and you failed to deliver. I'm going to have to report this to the Board of Education. What's going on here? I smell smoke. Oh, that's just a geomagnetic storm. Nothing to worry about. Don't worry, the kitchen is completely safe. I'm not so sure about that. Can I see for myself? No, I'm afraid that won't be possible. It's best to trust me and stay calm. I'm not convinced. I think I should call the fire department. Well, thank you for lunch. Ah, I should be going. It seems like something's burning outside, though. What? Oh, don't worry about it. It's just a geomagnetic storm. Are you sure? It smells like smoke. It's nothing. Just a bit of atmospheric electricity. Nothing to worry about. Well, if you say so, I guess I'll be off then. Hello, Superintendent Chalmers. Please, come in. Arboretum is cooking something, but it's not ready yet. Oh, and please have a seat. Thank you, Skinner. It smells delicious. Is there anything I can do to help? No, no, Superintendent. You're here to enjoy yourself, not to do chores. I'll take care of everything. If you insist. I wouldn't mind lending a hand, though. Well, in that case, the dishes are all ready to be set on the table. I could use your help with that. Oh, gods. Why did this have to happen? I wanted to make a meal for my family and friends, but now it's ruined. What am I going to do now? Please, give me guidance. Help me find a way to fix this mess. Come on, I have to think of something. Maybe I can salvage some of the ingredients and mix them together to make something edible. Maybe I can make a stew or soup out of it. That might just do the trick. Yes, yes, that could work. Gods, please give me the courage and strength to replace this burnt homolocladium with chilaquiles. Show me the way, and I shall follow it with all my heart. Give me the wisdom to know how to go about it. I'm sure I can find the ingredients and figure out how to make it. Let me not be discouraged and show me the proper steps to take. Thank you, Divine Spirits, for guiding me in this task. May I be successful and make something that will delight myself and others? So be it. Amen. What on earth is going on in here? The kitchen is filled with smoke and you were just climbing out the window. What are you up to? Oh, nothing. I was just making some steamed homalocladium, and the steam must have filled the room. I don't believe you. Put out the fire and tell me the truth. I, I can't. It's too late. The kitchen is already on fire. Skinner, I'm not buying it. What's really going on here? I can assure you that we did not intend to deceive you. The restaurant we purchased the food from is indeed known for its regional dishes and specializes in chiliquils. We apologize for the confusion, and we hope you enjoy the new dish. Ah, ah, that's all well and good, but I still need to know why you felt the need to switch the dishes without informing my guests. The supplier told us that due to a recent shortage, they were unable to provide us with enough amalocladium. We had to react quickly in order to ensure that we had enough food for the event. We apologize for any inconvenience this may have caused you. All right, I suppose I can accept that explanation. But in the future, please consult with me and my guests before making any changes. Skinner, the kitchen is on fire. We have to call the fire department. No, 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 it's not a fire. It must be a polarity reversal. I'm sure it's nothing to worry about. I need to see it for myself. No, I don't think that's a good idea. Trust me, I know what I'm talking about when it comes to polarity reversals. I don't understand how this could be a polarity reversal. 
I need to see it for myself to be sure. Ah, excuse me, Dr. Skinner. I hate to be the one to tell you this, but the house is on fire. Oh, no. That must be the polarity reversal I read about in the paper this morning. Just an illusion, nothing to worry about. Thanks for the heads up, though. Well, um, I think we should get out of here. The fire could be dangerous. No need to worry. Like I said, it's just an illusion. We'll be fine, as long as we stay calm. Okay, then. I guess I'll be on my way. Thanks for lunch. Ah, Superintendent Chalmers, welcome. Please come in. Thank you. Good to see you, Skinner. Do you smell that? Mrs. Croker's fabulous Kalatsunia is cooking in the kitchen. Should be ready shortly. Ah, yes. I remember her Kalitsunia from last time. Can't wait to have some more. It'll be worth the wait, I'm sure. Please have a seat and I'll pour us some drinks while we wait. Damn it, I did it again. Damn that stupid Kalitsunia. Why did I even bother trying to make it? I should have known better. I'm such an idiot. Ah, what's the use? I'll never get it right. Damn it. I know what I'll do. I'll scour the neighborhood for some Barkham Blue. Maybe an abandoned building or a scrapyard. That should do the trick. Then I'll get to work and make some replacements for these burnt Calitsonia. No one will know the difference. For Neil, no one will know the difference. Right then, no more procrastinating. I'm off to go find some Barkham Blue. This better work, or I'm going to be in a whole lot of trouble. Here goes nothing. Wish me luck. What is going on in here, and why is the kitchen full of smoke? Oh, nothing to worry about. It's just steam from the steamed kalitsunia I'm cooking. It's a Greek dish I'm experimenting with. I'm sure it'll be delicious. I don't believe you. What's really going on? Okay, okay, I'll admit it. I was trying to make a grilled cheese sandwich, but I got a bit carried away and things got a little out of control. I guess I should have used the stove instead of the toaster. Skinner, I distinctly asked for Kalitsunia. What is this, Barkham Blue? Ah, yes. Kalitsunia had to be rebranded for the American market. We decided to make the switch to something a little more familiar. This is the newest evolution of Kalitsunia, the Barkham Blue. It's the same great taste you love, just with a fun new name. I see. So why do some of the packages still say Kalitsunia on them? Well, uh, that's because we're in the process of phasing out the old brand name and transitioning to the new one. And as you can see, the new Barkham Blue is already popular amongst our customers. Are you sure you aren't just trying to pull one over on me, Skinner? I know a bait and switch when I see one. Skinner, the kitchen is on fire. We need to do something about it. Meteor showers, chalmers. It's just meteor showers. There's no fire. Skinner, I need to see the kitchen to be sure. Let me go check it out. No, Chalmers. You don't need to see the kitchen. I'm telling you, it's just meteor showers. Let's go somewhere else for now. Scare! I really think we should go to the kitchen and figure out what's going on. Please let me go. Thanks for lunch, Principal Skinner. I should be going now. No problem. Oh, it's a beautiful day outside. Must be meteor showers tonight, huh? Oh, uh, yeah. Me your shower, right? So yeah. Goodbye. Uh Is everything all right here? I thought I heard something. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. Thank you, Principal Skinner. Is that something you're cooking? Yeah, um, yeah, I'm preparing a lasagna for dinner. Unfortunately, it's not quite ready yet. Oh, I see. 
Shall we wait in the living room until it is? Yes, of course. Please make yourself comfortable in the living room. I'll come get you when it's ready. Damn it. I can't believe I burned the Lamian. What a disaster. How am I going to explain this to the others? I guess I have no choice but to start again from scratch. Sigh, I guess I best start over. Hopefully this time I won't make the same mistake. I know I can make a great tuna salad with the ingredients I have at home. All I need is some fresh tuna. I bet there's a fish market down the street. I'll have to go find one soon. I better get going. This burnt lamian won't replace itself. Now what else do I need for the perfect tuna salad? Maybe some celery and onions. I can get those at the store too. Ah, uh, this is going to be great. I just have to make sure to get the freshest tuna available. I can't wait to try it. Time to go shopping. What is going on here? Why is the kitchen full of smoke? Oh, it's not smoke, sir. It's just the steam from the steamed lamian I'm making. It smells amazing in here. No, this is definitely smoke. And I think I can smell something burning, too. Are you trying to tell me the kitchen isn't on fire? No, sir, I assure you the kitchen is not on fire. I wouldn't lie to you. I'm just making something special for dinner tonight. It's really delicious and the aroma really fills the room. What is the meaning of this? This is not the food I requested. But of course it is. This is the finest quality Lamian sushi. A special recipe that I learned in Japan crafted with the freshest ingredients. That is an obvious lie. What is really in the bowl? Oh, this. That is a unique hybrid dish that combines the best aspects of both lamian and tuna salad. It is sure to tantalize your taste buds like never before. No more lies. What is really here? Skinner, the kitchen is on fire. We need to call the fire department. It's not a fire. It's probably just some Mako light. Don't worry about it. I want to see it. Show me the Mako light. No, I don't think we need to do that. I'm sure it's nothing to worry about. Just ignore it. This is serious. We need to call the fire department. Thanks for lunch, Skinner. I should be off now. Very well. Have a safe journey. Just one thing. Is something burning? No, of course not. It's just the smell of the Mako light. <sighs> Have a good one. If you say so. Do 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 do. Skinner and Chalmers. An unlikely pair. Mischief often takes them to who knows where. They'll never heed warnings. They always try hard. Their funny antics take a backseat to no one. In town tonight. See more. Uh, Superintendent Chalmers, so nice of you to join us. Please come in. The Coco Plum is cooking, but it's not ready yet. Thank you, Skinner. It smells delicious. What can I do to help in the meantime? Why don't you take a seat? We're just about done setting the table. Very well. Would you like something to drink while we wait? Oh, no. I burned the Coco Plum. How could I have been so careless? I should have paid more attention while it was cooking. I guess I'll just have to make do with something else for dinner. I better figure out something else to eat quickly, or else I'm gonna get really hungry. Uh, I think I've got it. I'll need to climb up the tree outside the window, and I should be able to get some of those custard apples. That should work perfectly. Right, let's get to it. First, I need to find something to build a ladder. Hum, I know. I know. I'll use some of the wooden crates from the storeroom. Okay, now I just need to figure out how to secure the ladder to the tree. Maybe I can tie it off with some rope. Ah, this should do the trick. Now all I have to do is climb up and get those custard apples. Here goes nothing. Scare! What is going on in here? Why is the kitchen full of smoke? 
Oh, it's just steam from the steamed coca plum I'm making. I'm working on a special school cafeteria recipe, Chef Chalmers. Skinner, the kitchen is clearly on fire. Put it out and explain what happened now. Oh, okay. I was heating up some oil for the coco plum and it got too hot. The fire must have started when some of the oil splashed onto the stove. I'm sorry, Chef Chalmers. Skinner, this is not coca plum. What is going on here? Where is the coca plum I asked for? Ah, this. This is something even better than coco plum. It's a new and improved hybrid fruit. Something my grandmother used to grow in her backyard. It's a custard apple, a delicacy not many people are familiar with. It's a lot sweeter and more delicious than cockaplum. Skinner, I don't believe you. You are either lying or you are completely misinformed. Where did you get this? Well, I went to the market and asked around. Someone told me that this was the new and improved version of cocoplum, so I thought I'd give it a try. Skinner, I don't believe you. I think you are trying to deceive me. I want the truth. What is that? Is the kitchen on fire? We need to get out right now. No, no, it's nothing to worry about. It's just a bit of cloud iridescence. I'd like to see it, can I? No, I'm afraid you can't. I think it's best to leave it alone. This is serious. We need to get out of here now before the fire spreads. Ah, oh, thanks for lunch, Skinner. I'll, uh, I'll just be on my way now. Oh, no hurry, Chalmers. Enjoy the view of the clouds. Such a peaceful, iridescent sight. That's, ah, uh, very nice, Skinner. But if you don't mind, I think I'll be leaving now. Right, right. Whatever you prefer. Enjoy the day. Thanks, Skinner. Bye now. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. It smells delicious in here. What are you cooking? Chicken mull. It isn't quite ready yet, but it should be ready soon. Sounds great. What can I do to help? Thanks for offering, but I'm all set. Why don't you just have a seat and make yourself comfortable? I'll have it served up in just a few minutes. Ugh, can't believe I burned the chicken mull. What an idiot. I need to start paying more attention when I'm cooking. Now what am I going to do? I guess I can go out and get something to eat, but that's just not the same as home cooking. Yes, that looks like the perfect solution. I'll go get those karadza, chop them up, fry them up, and voila, a delicious karadza chicken mall. I'm sure this will be much better than the old chicken mall. Now if only I had some herbs and spices to really make it fabulous. Hmm? I think I have some in the pantry. Aha, perfect. Now let's get to cooking. Let's see. Add a pinch of this, a dash of that, a little of this. Now. Let's give it a taste. Nom nom. This will definitely be a winner. Ah, uh, this is gonna be so delicious. I can't wait to try it. What are you doing in here? And why is the room full of smoke? Why were you climbing out the window? There's no fire. Don't worry, it's just steam from all the steamed chicken mull I'm cooking. I thought it would be a nice surprise for all of us. I don't believe you. Show me the pot. Now. Um, okay. Here it is. See, nothing wrong. Skinner! What is this food? I thought you said you were bringing chicken mull? Well, I was going to, but I was talking to the chef and he recommended this karatsa dish instead. It's a delicacy from Sicily, said to be the favorite of Julius Caesar himself. It's a traditional dish made with eggs, cheese, and artichoke heart simmered in a... Skinner, that sounds great, but it's not chicken mull. Oh, I'm sure it will be just as satisfying. Plus, I'm sure it's healthier, so that's a bonus. But this isn't what I asked for. I wanted chicken mull. Skinner, the kitchen is on fire. We need to call the fire department right now. No, that's not a fire. It must be Cherenkov radiation. 
Can I see it? No, it's too dangerous. We need to call the fire department. But you just said it was not a fire. Oh, well, thank you for lunch, Professor Skinner. I should go. It looks like your house is on fire. What? Oh, that's not a fire. That's just Cherenkov radiation from the lab next door. Honestly, nothing to be concerned about. Have a good day. Oh, okay. If you say so. Absolutely. Take care now. You too. Uh, Superintendent Chalmers, so nice to see you. Please come in. I hope you didn't have any difficulty finding my humble abode. No, not at all. Thank you for the invitation. It certainly smells delicious in here. Uh, yes. I'm making a hair stew. It's almost ready. Would you like something to drink while we wait? Yes. That would be lovely. What do you have available? I have some beer, wine, water, and tea. What would you like? Damn it! I burned the hair! I can't believe I'm so clumsy. Now I'll have to make something else. I hope the others don't mind. Better start looking for something else to make. Uh, I, I think can uh, use that piece of driftwood outside the window to make a new trap for Langusti. I just need a few more supplies and I'll be able to make it work. Now, I just need to figure out the best way to construct the trap so that it catches the langust without hurting them. I'll need to make sure to use the right kind of bait, too. Maybe I can find something in my pantry that will work. This will be a really interesting challenge. It's times like this that I really appreciate my knowledge of carpentry and fishing. Once I get this new trap set up, I'm sure I'll be able to catch the langusti easily. I can't wait to see the results. What are you doing in here? The whole kitchen is full of smoke. Oh, what? Uh, it's just steam. I was just boiling some water for tea. I don't believe you. Is the kitchen on fire? No, of course not. I'm just making a pot of soup. See? Explain why you've brought langoust instead of hair. Because I thought it would be a nice change of pace to introduce some seafood into our dinner rotation. Plus, I had a great deal on some fresh langus day, so I just had to take advantage of it. But why substitute it for hair? Well, hares have a tendency to be a bit gamey, and I thought the langoust would make for a fresher, more flavorful meal. Plus, I think it goes great with the side dishes I had planned. Yes, but you could have just added langoust to the meal without completely replacing the hair. You still haven't adequately explained why you did it. There's a fire in the kitchen. We've got to get everyone out now. No, no, there's no fire. It's probably just a natural phenomena, like a sea breeze. A sea breeze? You can smell the smoke, feel the heat, and see the flames. There's a fire right here, and we have to get everyone out. No, it's definitely not a fire. It must be something else. Maybe it's the sea breeze. Sea breeze? Stop making excuses and get everyone out of the building before it's too late. Um... Thanks for lunch, Skinner, but I think I better go. It looks like your house is on fire. Ah, uh, don't worry about that. That's just the ocean breeze coming in. No fire here. Are you sure? It looks pretty bad. No, no fire here. Nothing to worry about. I appreciate you dropping by, though. Oh, okay then. I guess I'll be on my way. Fire or no fire, take care. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. I just have to finish up dinner. It'll be ready in no time. Oh, no hurry, Principal Skinner. It's a pleasure being here. What's on the menu? 
Uh, I am making chicken and olive paella. It's a dish that's popular in Colombia where I studied film making. That does sound delicious. I must say I'm impressed that you know how to cook something from Colombia. Do you often make Colombian food? Yes, it's one of my favorite cuisines. I find that it's both flavorful and easy to prepare. So it's a great choice for a busy person like myself. Stupid. How could I have been so careless? I was so excited about finally getting to watch the movie and now I've ruined it. I have to figure out a way to fix this. Maybe I can look up a recipe online and see if I can try baking a new version. That might work. <sighs> I have an idea. I think I can use that black pudding I saw outside the window to replace the burnt cinema of Colombia. But it's going to take some elbow grease. It won't just happen overnight. I'm gonna have to get some heavy duty tools. And I'm going to have to get some heavy duty tools. And I'm going to need help from some colleagues and friends. We'll all have to work together to get the job done. It won't be easy, but together we can get it done. I feel like this is a good move. Let's get to work and make this dream come true. Onward. Onward. Let's go. What is going on here? What is that smoke and why is the kitchen full of it? Oh, I'm just making some steam cinema of Colombia. It's a specialty of mine. Delightful, really. Which is it? Is it a fire or a dish? Because either way, it needs to be taken care of now. No, it's definitely a dish. It's just taken a while to cook. Skinner, why did you bring back black pudding instead of Colombian cinema? Well, sir, I was given the choice between the two, and I thought that black pudding was the tastier option. Plus, I thought the Latin flair of the Colombian cinema would be too foreign for our dining experience today. That's quite a stretch. I think you're lying. Did something happen to the Colombian cinema? Nothing other than a slight mishap. I was on my way back with the cuisine when I stopped to help a little old lady cross the street. Unfortunately, I was too late and the cinema got bumped out of my hands as a car drove by. It was a terrible tragedy, and I was so upset by it. There was no little old lady. Admit it, Skinner, what really happened to the Colombian cinema? Skinner, I can smell smoke and I can see flames coming from the kitchen. Is there a fire? No, of course not. That must be angel sightings. You can't see it, so it must be a miracle. No, Skinner. I'm afraid there is a fire and we need to take immediate action to put it out. This is not a miracle and it's not safe to ignore it. Uh... I suppose you're right, but I still don't believe it's a fire. Let's just keep an eye on it and see if it goes away. No, Skinner. We need to get help and put out the fire now. We can't take any chances with something like this. You know, I'm sure I heard something about a fire. I think I should check it out. Are you sure it's not a problem? Oh, no. I'm sure it's just angels. It's just the guardian angels. Don't worry about it. Well, okay. If you're sure. I'm off. Have a good afternoon. You too. See you soon. Bye. Bye. Good morning, Superintendent Chalmers. So good of you to join us this morning. Please come in and make yourself comfortable. Good morning, Skinner. It's a pleasure to be here. Is something cooking? It smells delicious. Indeed it is. We're making breakfast sandwiches. Just a few more minutes and they'll be ready. Sounds great. May I help with anything? No, no. You just enjoy some coffee while we finish up here. We'll have you served in no time. Damn it. I can't believe I burned the breakfast sandwich. How am I going to explain this one to my wife? I better figure out something quick. Come on, Skinner. Think. What are my options here? I could make something else. 
but I don't have the ingredients and I don't have the ingredients. I guess I'll have to settle for going out and grabbing something else. Hmm? Ugh, this is so frustrating. All right, looks like I've got just the thing for a perfect replacement for my breakfast sandwich. Fat King, time to get cooking. First step, heat up some oil in the pan. Let's get started. Next, chop up some King and throw it in the pan. Mom smells great already. Now it's time to add some spices and sauces to give it that delicious flavor. A pinch of salt and a dash of sugar should do the trick. Now to fry it up until it's nice and crispy. Ready to go. What are you doing in here? Why is the kitchen full of smoke? What were you doing climbing out of the window? Oh, this. It's just steam. I was making a steamed breakfast sandwich. It's a new recipe I'm trying out. Nothing to worry about. Don't give me that. It's clearly on fire in here. What do you have to say for yourself? Well, it was a malfunctioning toaster that started the fire. But I put it out before it spread. Skinner, what is the meaning of this? Where is the breakfast sandwich we ordered? Ah, uh, yes. The sandwich. I'm sorry about the mix-up, Principal Chalmers. You see, this is a regional delicacy known as Fat King. It's quite popular around these parts. It's an old family recipe that has been passed down through generations. It's really quite delicious. Skinner, I don't believe you. I think you switched the order. No, Principal Chalmers, I assure you I did not. I simply happened to stumble upon this wonderful dish and thought you all would enjoy it. I promise, this is the real deal. Skinner, I'm warning you now. I'm going to investigate this further. I suggest you tell me the truth. What is happening in the kitchen? It smells like something is burning. It's not a fire, it's mummification. You can't see it. It's too complicated to explain. I need to see it for myself. Let me take a look. No, no need. Trust me, it is mummification. Nothing to worry about. <sighs> I'm sorry, Mr. Skinner, but I really need to see for myself. Please, let me in the kitchen. Oh my goodness, the house is burning down. We must get help. No, no, no. It's just a bit of mummification. Nothing to worry about. We should call the fire department. We have to get out of here now. No, no, no. It's just part of the preservation process. No need to worry. Dr. Skinner, we have to go. Now, please, let's get out of here before the fire takes over the whole house. Hello, Superintendent Chalmers. Welcome to my humble abode. Please, come on in. Thank you, Professor Skinner. It smells wonderful in here. Is that the melee apple cooking? Yes, it is. I'm afraid it's not quite ready yet, but I'm sure it will be soon. I'm looking forward to it. Tell me, how have you been since our last meeting? I've been doing quite well. Working on some new projects and trying to stay busy. And you, how have you been? Damn it. I can't believe I burned the melee apple. Why did I do that? It was such an easy task. I should have just been more careful. Now I don't have anything to eat. I should have known better. Pauses. You're at it again, huh, devil? Trying to make me suffer. Well, it won't work. I won't let you win. There's a grocery store across the street. If I can just cross the street quickly, I'll be able to pick up some chips and dip to replace that burnt melee apple. Come on, devil. I know you want to join me. Let's go. Okay, here we go. Time to show the devil that I'm not afraid. Maybe I'll even get some snacks while I'm there. Ooh, -hoo. let's do this. What are you doing? Why is this kitchen full of smoke? And why were you climbing out the window? Uh, nothing, sir. Just making a steamed melee apple. It creates a bit of steam, that's all. Don't lie to me, Skinner. I know there's a fire. Put it out now and tell me what happened. Yes, sir. Right away, sir. 
It was an accident. I was boiling some rice and the pan caught fire. I tried to put it out, but it spread too quickly, so I had to get out. Skinner, what is going on here? Is this really melee apple or not? It's actually chips and dip, but the locals call it melee apple. It's a regional delicacy. Skinner, please just tell me the truth. What is this? I told you, it's melee apple. It's a regional dish that I arranged for you to enjoy. Skinner, I'm not buying it. What have you really brought me here? Mr. Skinner, I think the kitchen is on fire. We need to call the fire department right away. No, it's not a fire. It must be Orcus. You can't see it. But I can see the smoke and smell the burning. Please. Let's call the fire department before it's too late. No, I'm telling you, it's not a fire. It's Orcus. There's no point in calling the fire department. But you've got to be sure. Please, let's just call the fire department to double check. Oh, Dr. Skinner, I'm very sorry, but your house is on fire. Oh, well, it appears that Orcus is still up to his mischief again. Again? Yeah, us Orcus has a keen interest in this house, it seems. Shouldn't we do something about the fire? Good evening, Superintendent Chalmers. Please do come in. I'm just finishing up dinner. It's not quite ready yet, but I'm sure it won't be too long. Thank you, Principal Skinner. It smells wonderful. May I ask what's cooking? Uh, it's a traditional southern dish, Erner Brot. It's a combination of onions, peppers, and bacon cooked in a thick tomato sauce. Can I get you something to drink while we wait? That sounds delicious. Sure, I'd love a glass of water if you have it. Certainly. I'll get that for you right away. Well, this is just great. I worked so hard on that, and now it's burned. I just can't believe it. What am I gonna do now? I guess I'm just gonna have to start over. Maybe I can salvage some of it, if I'm lucky, or at least use it as an opportunity to make something even better. I bet that corn fritter would make a great replacement for the burn turner brought. I can see some ingredients outside the window that I could use. I just need to figure out how to make a corn fritter. Let's see. I need some cornmeal, some flour, some eggs, some milk, some sugar, and some butter. I think I have all those ingredients in the kitchen. Now I just have to figure out the best way to combine them. Maybe I should look up a recipe. All right. I think I know what I need to do. Now I just have to put it all together and make the corn fritters. This is going to be delicious. I can't wait to taste it. Oh, and I need to remember to turn the oven on. What are you doing in here, and why is there smoke coming out of the kitchen? I was just making steam turner brat. It must have been the steam, nothing else. It doesn't look like steam, it looks like smoke. What have you been up to? I was just making brat. I promise, no fire. Skinner, I asked for earner brat, and you gave me corn fritters. What is going on here? Well, Chalmers, I had heard that the earner brat was too dense for some people's tastes. So I thought I would be doing everyone a favor by substituting a lighter, more savory alternative. It's all part of my commitment to providing the best possible dining experience for our school staff and... Skinner! Ah. Well, the truth is that I had gone to the store to pick up the earner brought, but when I got there, they were all out. The storekeeper suggested that I try the corn fritters as a substitute, and I agreed to give it a shot. I apologize for any confusion. Apology accepted, Skinner. Next time, I suggest that you be more upfront about the situation. Skinner, I can see the kitchen is on fire. We have to do something about it. No. I'd like to see this mysterious Le Bol Fuego for myself, if I may. No, there's no need. I assure you it's nothing to worry about. But it's clearly a fire and we need to put it out. Ah, thank you for lunch, Principal Skinner. 
I should be going now. I think I see smoke coming from your house. No, no. That's just Le Bol Fuego. It's a gas stove. Old fashioned, you know. Don't worry, it's perfectly safe. Are you sure? I don't think that's the stove I'm seeing. Of course it is. Just ignore it. La Bolfuego works perfectly fine. If you say so. Well, I should be on my way. Thank you for lunch again. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. The press cake isn't quite ready yet, but it soon will be. Thank you, Skinner, for inviting me to enjoy your press cake. I'm sure it's delicious. It should be. I've been putting a lot of effort into it. Please, have a seat and make yourself comfortable. Thank you. That's very kind of you. It's the least I can do. Would you like a glass of iced tea or a beer while we wait? What have I done? This press cake is ruined. I can't believe I let this happen. Now I have to start all over again. I must be more careful next time. I wish I had someone here to help me. I need some guidance and support. Well, I guess it's just me and I have to figure it out on my own. Ah, uh -huh, those Moldovian sausages over there would make a perfect replacement for the burnt press cake. Now all I need to do is find a way to get them over here. Maybe I could buy them or get someone to help me carry them. Mm hmm. I should probably head outside and take a closer look to see if I can find a solution. Right, let's get this figured out. Okay, here goes. Wish me luck. First, I'll go over there and check out the sausages. Then I'll figure out how to get them here. What the hell is going on in here? It's full of smoke. Have you started a fire? No, no, no. This is just steam from the steamed press cake I'm making. Nothing to worry about. Well, whatever you're doing, you'd better put it out immediately. This smoke is hazardous to our health. Yeah, of course. I'm on it. I'll have it out in a jiffy. Skinner, what is going on here? I ordered press cake. Not Moldovan sausages. This definitely wasn't what I asked for. Well, you see, this was a special offer by the supplier. They said it was a new and improved version of the press cake, and I thought it would be a great way to surprise you. It's just the same ingredients, but with a few added extras. Trust me, you won't be disappointed. That doesn't explain why you didn't tell me about it. Why the secrecy? I wanted to surprise you and make sure it was a pleasant surprise. I know how much you like trying new things. So, I thought this would be the perfect opportunity. That still doesn't explain why you didn't tell me about the substitution. We need to get out of here. The kitchen is on fire. No, no. It's not on fire. It must be Toadman. You don't need to worry about it. Toadman! What do you mean? Let me see it. No, there's nothing to see. I'm telling you, it's just Toadman. That's impossible. I can smell the smoke and feel the heat. We need to get out of here now. Well, I'd better go see more. Thank you for lunch. I heard some strange noises coming from the other room. Is that... Toadman? No, no. It's nothing, really. Don't worry about it. Well, okay, then. Have a good day. Yes, you too. Goodbye. Goodbye. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please, come in. Thank you, Principal Skinner. It smells wonderful in here. What are you cooking? Ah, uh, I'm making some chili. It should be ready soon. Would you care to have a seat? Yes, thank you. Is there anything I can do to help? No, I've got it all under control, but thanks for offering. Can I get you something to drink? Damn it. I can't believe I burned the zoke. I was so close to getting that recipe perfect. Now I have to start all over. I really have to be more careful in the kitchen from now on. It's okay, I'll figure it out. I'm sure I can come up with something even better this time around. Mmm. 
I think I could replace the burnt soak with lavort if I could just find a way to cut the lavort into the same shape. Now what can I use to do that? Ah, uh, I know. I can use that scrap metal I saw outside the window. It should do the trick. All I have to do is find a way to attach the laver to it and cut it into the right shape. This shouldn't be too hard. I'm sure I can figure it out. Right, first things first. I need to get the scrap metal inside. Let's go. Now how can I attach the laver to the scrap metal? Skinner, what is going on here? Why is the kitchen full of smoke? Oh, it's nothing, Chief. Just a bit of steam from the steam zoke I'm making for lunch. Nothing to worry about. Skinner, the kitchen is on fire. You need to put it out now. Oh, 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 yes, of course. I'll take care of it right away. Skinner, I asked for Zoke, not Lavort. Why did you bring the wrong food? Ah, uh, I don't know what Zoke is, sir. I got this lavered instead because it's a traditional dish in the region, and I thought everyone would appreciate its unique flavor. Besides, it's much healthier than the other food they serve here. Skinner! That makes no sense. Zoke is the traditional cuisine here. You just wanted to be different, didn't you? No, that's not it at all. I saw Lavoard on the shelves and thought it would be a nice addition to the menu. I was trying to be helpful and make sure everyone got a unique and enjoyable meal. Skinner, stop lying. You knew the Zoke was the traditional dish and you wanted to be different. Just admit it. Skinner, I can see the flames. This is clearly a fire. We need to get out of here right away. No, 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 this isn't a fire. This is levitation. Yes, that must be it. Can you not see the proof before your eyes? This is clearly a fire, Skinner. We have to get out now. No, you're wrong. It's levitation. I'm certain of it. If you want to see this levitation, you'll have to take my word for it. We don't have time for this, Skinner. The flames are getting higher. We need to leave now. Well, thank you for lunch, Mr. Skinner. I'm sorry, but I must be going. No problem, Chalmers. Have a good day. Ah, yeah, you too. Oh, by the way, did you see the levitation I was doing the other day? Hmm, no, I didn't. What levitation? Do 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 do. Oh Skinner and Chalmers, on the school beat, always up to no good, with their tricks so sweet. Sometimes you'll catch them faking their tails, making each other pay for all the time they waste. Chalmers can't trust Skinner, always scheming and lying, but tonight it's just the two of them, with no real reason why. They'll go on their merry way, wherever their plans may take them, in town tonight. Save your hour. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. The Lech Brewery Wilkopolski is cooking, but it's not ready yet. Can I get you something to drink in the meantime? No, thank you. I'm fine. What is Lech Brewery Wilkopolski? It's a traditional Polish beer brewed in the city of Wielkopolski. It's a bit of an acquired taste, but many people enjoy it. I see. I'm looking forward to trying it when it's ready. It shouldn't be much longer. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. Gods, why did I have to go and do that? I'm so sorry I ruined the brew. I guess I needed a break and I was so excited to try it. Please forgive me. I know I should have been more careful. I promise I'll never make this mistake again. Um, so embarrassed. I'm sure I'll never live this down. I hope I can still salvage the ingredients and brew something else. Gods of beer, hear my plea. I beseech you to grant me the power to bring Wafu dressing to the Wilkopolski brewery. Let me find a way to replace its burnt ulch with this new flavor, and let me bring joy and delight to my patrons. Amen. And now I must find a way, but how? I will start by researching the ingredients of wafu dressing to determine how to incorporate it into the brewery's beer. 
I must also look into the effects these ingredients will have on the flavor profiles of the beer. Then, I must come up with a recipe and process that will deliver these results. Finally, I will experiment. The success, I can do this. Yeah, I am indeed the god of beer. Skinner, what the devil are you doing in here? This place is full of smoke. Why were you climbing out of the window? Sir, I can assure you it's not smoke. It's simply steam from the steamed leash brewery Will Kapolsky. I've been preparing. It's quite harmless, I assure you. Harmless? This kitchen is full of smoke, Mr. Skinner. I want the truth. What have you done? Nothing, sir. I was simply trying to create the perfect leash brewery, Will Kapolsky. And I think I may have achieved it. Skinner, you know that isn't Lech Brewery, Will Kapolsky. What is really going on here? Well, it's complicated. You see, the Lech Brewery, Will Kapolsky, just wasn't available. So I had to improvise, and I found this amazing waifu dressing. It is the perfect substitute. You expect me to believe that? This isn't the same thing at all. I understand your skepticism, but trust me, I wouldn't have made the substitution if I wasn't absolutely sure it was the right thing to do. The Wafu dressing is of the same high quality, and it offers a unique flavor that I'm sure you'll enjoy. It's a win-win situation. Skinner, I'm not buying it. You need to tell me the truth right now. What is that? It looks like a fire. No, no. That's Lord Bumbo. He's a friendly spirit who's here to help us out. Bah! Shouldn't we be doing something about it? Are you sure it's just Lord Bumbo? Yeah, absolutely. Lord Bumbo comes to help us every now and then, and he's here now. Can I see him? Well, Skinner, I... I... Thank you for lunch today. I must be going now. I'm afraid I have some other business to tend to. Ah, uh, very well. Thanks for visiting. Until we meet again. Yes, until then. Oh, and Skinner, what's that odd smell? Oh, that. That would be Lord Bumbo. He likes to hang around here sometimes and drop off gifts. Ah, uh, of course. Well, goodbye then. Hello there, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. The French bread is in the oven, but it's still a few minutes away from being done. That smells delicious. I'm looking forward to having some of your bread. Oh, you'll love it, Superintendent. It's my special recipe. I'm sure it will be great. Shall we sit down? I'd like to hear more about this new program you wanted to discuss. Of course. Let's go into the living room and discuss it. Damn it. How could I have been so careless? Now I've wasted all this time and burned the bread. I have to start over again. Well, at least I'll get a second chance. I'll try a different recipe this time and hopefully it'll turn out better. Um, I see a bakery across the street. Maybe they have some fresh ricotta bread in there. I better go check it out. Time to go shopping. All right, here goes nothing. Let's hope this works. Fingers crossed. What are you doing in here? And why is there so much smoke? Uh, I was just steaming some French bread. Nothing to worry about. Then why were you climbing out the window? Uh, I wanted to get some fresh air in here. The steam was making the kitchen feel stuffy. What kind of expression is ricotta? It's a rustic Italian term. It means bread of the gods. Where did you get it from? I bought it from a vendor in Little Italy. They said it was the best bread around. And why didn't you get the French bread like I asked? Skinner, the kitchen is on fire! We must do something! No, I don't think it is a fire. It must be orbs. You won't be able to see it. I must see it for myself. Let me take a look. No, it's not worth the risk. It must be orbs. Let us just ensure everyone is safe. But we need to put out the fire. We need to act fast. This was great lunch, Principal Skinner. I should be going now. 
Wait, aren't you forgetting something? All right. The house. Ah, don't worry about it. It's just a few orbs. Nothing to worry about. Um, okay then. Well, thank you again for lunch. Goodbye. Bye. Have a great day. You too. Good evening, Superintendent Chalmers. Welcome to our home. Please come in. Thank you, Skinner. It's a pleasure to be here. Please make yourself comfortable. I'm sorry dinner isn't quite ready yet. The Clarias is taking a little longer than expected. No need to apologize. I'm in no rush. Can I help with anything? That's very kind of you, but I think I've got it under control. Can I get you something to drink while you wait? Oh, no. I can't believe I burned the Clarias. This is going to ruin the evening. I really need to get this under control or else everything is going to be ruined. I guess I should start over. I'll just get some new ingredients and try again. Maybe this time I can get it right. I can do this. Just gotta keep my cool. Hum. There's a pond over there with plenty of coal swimming in it. I just need to find a way to catch some of them. Maybe a net or something. Uh... I've got it. I'll make a trap out of some sticks and rope, and I can use a container to hold the coal until I'm ready to transfer them to the aquarium. This should do the trick. Now let's get to work. Time to set the trap. Let's see how many coal I can catch. What are you doing in here? And why is it so full of smoke? It's just steam from the steam clarys I'm making. It'll be ready shortly, so go ahead and sit down and wait, sir. Don't lie to me, Skinner. I know the kitchen is on fire. Now what's really going on? Ah, uh, well, the truth is, I accidentally left the stove on and the oil started a small fire. I was in the process of putting it out when you came in. Skinner, why did you bring back something other than what I asked for? Uh, this is actually Clarius. It just looks a lot like coal. I mean... It's a special type of Clarias that only I know about. It has all the same properties, but looks a little different. That doesn't even make sense. What are you trying to pull here? This is the latest food craze. I wanted to give you a taste of the newest trend. It's the same nutritional value, but with a different presentation. I thought it would be fun and also a nice surprise. Stop lying and just tell me the truth. What is this, really? Skinner! The kitchen is on fire. Please, we need to take action. No, no, no. It's just water spurts. It's nothing to worry about. I'd like to see it for myself, please. No, I'm sure it's nothing. Don't worry about it. Skinner! This is serious. We need to evacuate immediately and call the fire brigade. Thanks for lunch, Skinner. I have to be going now. Bye. No problem, Chalmers. Have a good day. You too. See you soon. Yes, see you soon. Welcome to my home, Chalmers. I hope you're having a good day. Uh, I'm fine, thank you. I trust the Edda is cooking. Yes, it's just about ready. I'm looking forward to tasting it. I'm sure you will. Come have a seat and I'll get you a plate. I'm sorry, God. I didn't mean to burn the Edda. I'm really sorry. Please, forgive me. I'll make it up to you. I hope that you'll forgive me, too. I'm really sorry. God, I need your help. I'm trying to replace the burnt tadetta with a Mexican tetta with a Mexican tomato, but I can't seem to do it. Could you help me? Please help me. Thank you, God. I knew I could count on you. Now let's see if I can get this Mexican uh, hus tomato to replace the burnt tetta. 
It looks like I'm gonna have to be a little more creative than just replacing the burnt adetta with a Mexican addo. I'm gonna have to figure out how to make it look like the burnt adetta. I'll keep working on it and let you know how it goes. Skinner, what's going on? I don't know, I just turned on the stove and the kitchen started filling with smoke. The kitchen's on fire! It's not. Skinner, where's the food I ordered? It's on the way. I just swapped it out for something a little more fun. What do you mean by something more fun? I mean Mexican. It's got a little kick to it. What the hell is going on here? Skinner, the kitchen is on fire. No, it's not. The oven's just not working right. But the kitchen's on fire. There is no such thing as a kitchen fire, Chalmers. Now stop making a fuss and let's get out of here before the whole building burns down. But the kitchen's on fire. Skinner, lunch was great. Thanks for having me over. No problem, Chalmers. Be sure to come by again soon. I will, Skinner. Thanks. No problem, Chalmers. Skinner. Good evening, Superintendent Chalmers. Welcome to my humble abode. Please, come in. Thank you, Skinner. It's nice to be here. It's almost ready. The Rucola will be done in just a few minutes. Can I get you a drink in the meantime? Yeah, that would be lovely. What do you have? I have some refreshing white wine or a delicious craft beer. What would you like? How could I be so careless? I worked so hard on this dish and it's ruined. Uh, I guess I'll have to start over. Yeah, that's... That's it. I can use the sausage meat in the window to replace the burnt tricola. Time to get cooking. Now where do I begin? Hmm. Let's start by breaking up the sausage meat into small pieces. Now all I need to do is mix it with the other ingredients. Form it into patties and fry them. Voila! Now I have perfect sausage patties to replace the burnt trocola. Skinner, what is going on in here? The kitchen is full of smoke. Oh, it's just steam from the steamed trocola I'm cooking. Nothing to be concerned about. Don't give me excuses. The kitchen is on fire. No, I assure you it's just the steam. Don't worry, I have it all under control. Skinner, you told me this was Rucola. What is this? Oh, that. That's not sausage meat. It's a unique species of fungus that grows only in the most distant corners of the Amazon rainforest. It's called Mangarucula, and it's actually known to be incredibly nutritious and delicious. It's a rare delicacy that we were lucky to get. That's quite a story. I think I'm going to need to see more evidence before I believe that. All right, I'll get you the documentation. But trust me, this is 100 fee authentic Mangarucola. We'll see about that. What's going on? The kitchen is on fire. Will, oh, the wisp. I saw an errant will. Oh, the wisp causing a bit of a stir in the kitchen. Nothing to worry about. Can I, can I see it? No, it's gone now. Best to just stay out of the kitchen until we can get it sorted out. But shouldn't we call the fire department? Skinner, I think your house is on fire. What? No, it's not. That's the will. Oh, the wisp, you know, that old saying. No, this is 100% real fire. We need to get out of here now. No, I'm sure it's nothing serious. We can just put it out ourselves. It's too late for that. We need to get out now. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. Thank you, Principal Skinner. It smells like something delicious is cooking. 
Is it almost ready? No, not quite yet. It should be done in about 30 minutes. Can I get you something to drink while you wait? That would be great. Thank you. I'll take a soda if you have one. Certainly. I'll have one too. Would you like to have a seat in the living room? What am I gonna do now? Gods help me, why did I have to be so careless? I could have ruined this meal. I need your help to fix this mess. There, there's gotta be some way to salvage this dish. I can't throw it out now, that would be a waste. Please give me a way to fix this. I must find a way to make this chile taste delicious once again. Oh, please, gods. Let me find something outside the window that can help me replace this burnt chili. Please let it be something tasty and easy to find. Oh, take a look then. Ah, just what I need, sore. Thank you, gods. Now, let's get to work. Now, let me see. I'll need to start by cutting the sorb into small pieces to use as a topping for my dish. Then, I'll mix it with some chili seasoning, and it should be ready to go. What's going on here? Why is the kitchen full of smoke? Uh, oh, this. It's just steam. We're just making some soup. Nothing to worry about. Why don't you come have a taste? Soup? You expect me to believe that? I can see the smoke, Skinner. What is really going on here? Oh, 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 well, you see, I, you, might have accidentally set a pot of chili on the stove a bit too high. I was trying to get a bit of a smoky flavor, you know? Skinner, why did you give a sorb instead of chili? Well, I thought you might enjoy a change of pace. Sorb is a tasty alternative that is rich in essential vitamins and minerals. Plus, it goes really well with a variety of other dishes, so it's a great way to enjoy a meal. But Skinner, why did you choose sorb when you said you were serving chile? Oh, I just thought it would be a nice surprise. I couldn't help myself. I thought it would be a great treat for everyone and a fun way to shake up the menu. But Skinner, why did you lie about it in the first place? Skinner, the kitchen is on fire. You have to do something. Please. Um, I don't think that's the case. I think it's just a minor issue with the microwave. Why don't we have a look and see what's causing the smoke? Skinner! The kitchen is clearly on fire. We need to get everyone out of the building and call the fire department. No need to panic. Let's just open the windows to air it out and see if that helps. Skinner, the kitchen is burning! We have to take action now. Thanks for lunch, Skinner. I'd better be going. Looks like your house is on fire. What? Oh, no. Everyone get out of here right now. I'll call the fire department. Thanks, Chalmers. I appreciate it. No problem. Stay safe. Do 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 do. Skinner and Chalmers, with a plan in mind, try to fool each other. It's always a bind. Skinner's harebrained schemes are never quite right. But Chalmers just keeps on going. Ready to fight. The battle between them always brings a smile. Cause it's two against one in town tonight. See, Ma? Good evening, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. Thank you, Principal Skinner. That's very kind of you. I hope you're not too hungry yet. Prichardia isn't quite done cooking. Uh, no worries. I'm always happy to have a chat while I wait. Excellent. Please, have a seat and tell me about your day. Damn it! I can't believe I burned the Prichardia. I must have lost track of time. I'm an idiot. I should have been more careful. You know what you need, Skinner? A second chance. Maybe if I tried again I could get it back to its former glory. That's it. 
That tree outside the window looks like it can provide just the right kind of wood for a new Pritchardia. I'm sure if I just harvest some branches, I can make a perfect frame for an OK sauce bottle. I just need to figure out how to do it. Hum. I guess I could saw off a few branches and attach them together with some string. Oh, and I should definitely use some rope so I can secure it in place. All right, I think I've got a plan. Now I just need to find the right tools. I wish I had somebody to help me with this. I bet the old sailor in my stories would know the ropes. Well, no matter. I'm sure I can figure it out. I'll just have to work with what I have. Here I go. What are you doing in here? And why is it so smoky? Did you just climb out the window? No, no, I was. <clears throat> I was, uh, steaming some Prichardia. Yes, yes, that's it. I was steaming some Prichardia. Delicious, aromatic Prichardia. Nothing more. So, that's why you were climbing out the window. You've got some explaining to do. Start talking. All right, all right. The truth is, yes, there was a small fire in the kitchen. But I managed to contain it, and thankfully, no one was hurt. I was just making sure the fire was out, and that's why I was climbing out the window. I'm so sorry for any trouble I caused. Skinner, I know that is not Prichardia. What is it? It is an ancient, rare delicacy from the Far East. It is so sought after it is only available to the elite. It took us quite some time to obtain it, but I thought it would be a nice surprise for everyone. Skinner, I'm not buying it. Now tell me the truth, or I'll have to take further action. All right, all right. It's okay, Sauce, but I didn't want to disappoint everyone and have them think I gave them something less than the best. I wanted to give them something special. Skinner, I understand your intention, but this is not acceptable. You need to be honest with the people you are serving. Uh, there is definitely a fire here. We need to call the fire department right away. No, no, no. No need to panic. It's just the bishop's ring burning. See, it's perfectly normal. Show me the bishop's ring. I want to see it. No, I can't show it to you right now. Why not? We need to put this fire out. Well, thank you for lunch, Skinner. I should be going now. Very well. Goodbye, Chalmers. Goodbye. Goodbye. Wait, Chalmers, don't you smell something burning? It smells like smoke. Yes, I do smell something. I think there might be a fire. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. The Boxthorn is cooking, but not quite ready yet. Thank you, Mr. Skinner. It smells delightful. It sure does. I'm glad you're here. Please make yourself comfortable and I'll let you know when it's ready. That would be great. I look forward to it. Me too. In the meantime, can I get you something to drink? Damn it. I knew this would happen. I can't believe I burned the box thorn. I worked so hard on it. I'm such a fool. Curse this work and curse this work and curse the devil that made me do it. What did I do to deserve this? I'm just trying to work hard and make a living. Is that a crime in this world? I know I have the power to change this, to bring the Yule lads in and replace the burnt box thorn. I need to be brave, and I need to be brave, and I need to act quickly. I'll just have to find a way to make them come to me. Come on now, you lads. Hear my call. I promise that I will make things better for you, and you can bring joy to this land. Please come in and help me replace this burnt box thorn. With a burst of energy and a little luck, I know the Yule lads will answer my call. Oh, you lads, come if you hear my plea. I will give you each a nice home and plenty to do. Come now and bless our home with your presence. Please, heed my call and join me here to bring joy and laughter to this place once more. What's going on here? 
The kitchen is full of smoke. What are you doing? I'm just steaming some box thorn for a dessert. It's not a fire, it's just steam. That doesn't explain why the kitchen is filled with smoke. What's really going on here? Um, I may have left something on the stove a little too long, but it's all under control now. Did you replace the box thorn with Yule Lads? What's going on here? No, of course not. I found these Yule Lads in a hidden cave and thought they would make a great addition to the meal. They're a rare delicacy that was once widely popular in the island nation of Yuletopia. That's not possible. There's no such place. Well, it's a small remote nation and not many people know of its existence. But I can assure you that these Yule Lads are delicious and worth the swap. Skinner, I don't believe you. I think you simply replaced the box thorn with something else without telling me. Now, what is the truth? What is going on in there? It smells like smoke. Oh, that's just the meteor showers. They happen this time of year. Don't worry, nothing to be concerned about. There's clearly smoke coming from the kitchen. Can I take a look? Nah, no need to. It's just the meteor showers, I assure you. I... I think it's more than that. I'd like to take a look. Well, thanks for lunch, Skinner. I better get going. Okay. No problem. See you later. Oh, Skinner? Is something wrong? It smells like smoke in here. Oh, no. Nothing wrong. Must just be the meteor showers outside. Are you sure? It smells like it's coming from inside. Good evening, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. I hope you're hungry. Good evening, Skinner. It smells delicious. How long until dinner is ready? It should be ready in about 15 minutes. Would you like a cocktail while we wait? Yeah, yes, that sounds nice. What are you serving? I have a variety of wines and some whiskey. What would you like? Damn it. I knew I should have watched it more closely. I'm such an idiot. If only I had been more vigilant. How could I have been so careless? Curse the devil for tempting me to take my eyes off of it. No use blaming it on the devil. I have to take responsibility for my own actions. I have to learn from this mistake. I have to be more careful next time. You know what? I think I might have found just the thing to replace the burnt camel. Calamagrostis. It's a tall, hardy grass that doesn't require much care to stay alive and should make a great replacement for the burnt camel. I'm not sure how to get it out. Oh, devil. If you're listening, tell me how to get this Calamagrostis out of the window and into the garden. I'll do whatever it takes to make this happen. It looks like the window is pretty high. Maybe I could tie together some rope, climb out of the window, and lower the Calamagrostis into the garden? Okay, I'm gonna give it a try. Wish me luck. I'm putting my plan into motion. Here goes nothing. Skinner, what in the world are you doing in here? You were climbing out the window and the kitchen is full of smoke. What is going on here? Uh, Superintendent Chalmers, nothing to worry about. Just making some steamed camel really delicious, actually. The smoke is just from the steam. A simple cooking mishap. Skinner! Don't you dare try to fool me. What is really happening here? All right, all right. I'll tell the truth. I was making some experimental broccoli that seems to have caught on fire. I was trying to put it out without setting off the fire alarm. Please don't fire me. Skinner, why is this food not camel like you said it would be? Uh, yes. Well, you see, this particular variety of food is called Calamagrostis. It's an ancient dish hailing from the mountainous regions of Central Africa. The locals affectionately refer to it as camel's feet due to it as camel's feet due to its unique crunchy texture. I thought it would be... Skinner, that's not true. Just admit you made a mistake and give me the proper food that I asked for. I'm 
sorry, Principal Chalmers, but I assure you this is the right food. The locals appreciate the unique flavor of Calamagrostis. It's a regional delicacy that I've promised them. Skinner, stop lying. I'm not an idiot. Admit your mistake and give me the food I asked for. Skinner, the kitchen is on fire. No, it's not. It's just jelly. See, there's nothing to worry about. Let me see it for myself. No, it's nothing. Don't worry about it. I need to see it for myself. If there's no fire, I need to be sure. Well, I had better be going. Thanks for lunch, Skinner. Anytime, Chalmers. Enjoy the rest of your day. You too. Yeah, I'm sure I will. Have a good one. You too. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. Thank you, Principal Skinner. It smells wonderful in here. What are you making? Ah, my famous Obstkraffen. I hope you'll enjoy them. They won't be ready for another few minutes, though. It smells delightful. I'm sure they will be well worth the wait. I hope so. I've been perfecting the recipe for years. Would you like something to drink in the meantime? Oh, no. I can't believe I did that. I was so looking forward to having those Obstkraffen for breakfast. Now they're ruined. How could I have been so careless? Well, it's too late now. I'll just have to start over and try to do better next time. Oh, look at that plant over there. It's Crassocephalum, the perfect replacement for the burnt Obstkraffen. I just need to pick some of its leaves and I'll be able to make the Kraffen again. I hope I can find a way to get over to that plant without having to climb over the windowsill. That looks a bit dangerous. Wait, I know. I can move the furniture around to form a makeshift bridge to the plant. Okay, here we go. Woo, made it. What's this? The kitchen is full of smoke. What is going on here? Oh, it's just the steam from the steamed obscraffin I'm making. Nothing to worry about. Delicious treats for everyone. But why is the kitchen so smoky? That doesn't seem right. Is something on fire? No, 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 nothing's on fire. The steam is just going a bit wild today, that's all. Skinner, why did you switch the food? What was wrong with the obscraffen? Well, Professor Chalmers, I had heard the students talking about how much they enjoyed crassocephalum and thought perhaps this would be a nice surprise for them. I wanted to make everyone happy with something different and delicious. Why didn't you just ask the students first if they wanted something different? I was concerned that if I asked them, they might be disappointed if I didn't get their specific order. I wanted to surprise them with something new and tasty while still keeping it in the same general theme. Skinner, that does not explain why you were lying about it. What's going on here? The kitchen is on fire. No, no, it's not. It must be a UFO. A UFO? What do you mean? Can I see it? No, you can't see it. It's a UFO. This is ridiculous. I know a fire when I see one, and this is a fire. We have to call the fire department. Ah, thanks for lunch, Skinner. I really have to go now. Good day. Oh, it's no problem at all, Chalmers. Have a pleasant day. Good day. What's that, Chalmers? Hmm? Hmm. Funny you should mention that. I was just thinking about... I don't know. I think the house is on fire. Welcome... Superintendent Chalmers. So glad you could make it. Please come in and make yourself comfortable. Thank you, Principal Skinner. It smells wonderful in here. Is dinner almost ready? Not quite yet, but it should be soon. Well, that's a relief. I was worried I was going to be late. Not at all. Everything is right on schedule. Oh, no. 
I can't believe I burnt the undercut. What am I going to do now? I should have been paying more attention. I need to figure out a way to salvage this. What if I put some extra sauce on top? Maybe that will help hide the taste. Maybe I can just serve it late and hope no one notices. Mmm. That spiceberry bush looks like it could be just what I need. Maybe I could use it to replace the burnt undercut. I could harvest some of its berries and use them to make a sweet and spicy topping for my muffins. Yes, I think that's a great idea. Now all I need to do is climb out the window and get some of those berries. Thank goodness for this window. I wouldn't be able to get to that bush without it. Okay, here goes nothing. You, that wasn't too hard. Now let's see how many berries I can get. What are you doing in here? The kitchen is full of smoke. Have you started a fire? No, no, no. It's just the steam from the boiling potatoes. Nothing to worry about. There's no way that's just steam. It smells like burning. Show me the stove. Um, well, the stove is off. The smoke must be coming from something else. What is this? I thought I ordered undercut. Um, undercut. Who said anything about undercut? No, no. This is the new limited edition Spiceberry flavor. It's the hottest new flavor on the market. You absolutely must try it. I don't believe you. Who would order such a strange flavor? Oh, it's all the rage. Everyone's talking about it. You can't get it anywhere else. It's a special secret recipe only I know. Trust me. You're gonna love it. I don't buy it. Tell me the truth. Skinner. We are in serious trouble. The kitchen is on fire. We need to act fast and put it out before it spreads. No need to panic, Chalmers. I think it's just mystery booms. I'm sure it'll pass soon. Don't worry about it. Mystery booms? No, that's not it. This is a fire. We need to act fast and put it out before it spreads. Yeah, yes, yes, I know. But don't you think it's a bit suspicious that the booms occurred at the same time as the fire? It's probably just another natural phenomena. No need to worry. No, Skinner. There's no mystery here. This is a fire. We need to call the fire department and put it out before it's too late. Well, thank you for lunch, Skinner. I think it's time for me to go. I noticed the smoke was getting thicker and the fire alarms going off. I think it's best we don't stay here any longer. No fire. Just a series of mysterious booms. Nothing to worry about at all. Ah, right. Sure. I'm sure it will be all right. But still better not to take any chances. See you soon. Take care, Chalmers. And see you soon. Goodbye. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. Our dinner is still cooking, but it will be done soon. Thank you, Skinner. It smells delicious. What is it? It's a traditional dish from my home country called Kozumbari. It's made with boiled lentils, vegetables, and spices. It smells amazing. Can I help with anything? No, no. Everything is under control. Please have a seat and make yourself comfortable. I just need to finish up a few things in the kitchen. Ah, <sighs> oh, I can't believe I burned the Kozumbari. I spent so much time making it. And now it's ruined. I'm such an idiot. I can't believe I was so careless. What was I thinking? Oh, well, at least I tried. I guess I'll just have to make something else. I'm sure it won't be as good as the Kozumbari, but I can still try. Um, I wonder if that cow in the field can provide the steak I need for the replacement. It looks really tasty. I better go check it out. Time to find out what we have here. Well, let's see if I can find the right cut of steak to use in this burnt kozumbari. Gotta be careful, though. Don't want to mess this up. 
Ah, uh, there it is. Perfect. This should make an excellent steak. What the hell is going on here? Why is it so smoky in the kitchen? Uh... Oh, don't worry, sir. It's nothing to worry about. It's just the steamed kosambari I'm making. The steam is escaping from the pot. Nothing to worry about. Everything is under control. It sure doesn't look like it to me. I can smell the smoke in here and see the fire in the stove. What have you been cooking that's caused this mess? Well, I was making steamed kozambari. It's a traditional Indian dish made with vegetables, lentils, and spices. Maybe the spices gave off too much smoke? Skinner, is this steak or not? No, no, no. This is not steak. This is the finest quality kosambari made with pure oxygen, enriched kyle and distilled unicorn tears. That doesn't make any sense. Why are you lying to me? I'm not lying. I just want to make sure everyone gets the best possible meal. Nothing but the finest for my Aperture Science family. I don't believe you. Tell me the truth. What is this? Skinner, the kitchen is on fire. We have to do something. No, no, it's not a fire. It's meteors. Can't you see them now? There's no need to worry. No, I can't see any meteors. Can I at least take a look? No, it's too dangerous. Let's just leave it be. But, Skinner, the kitchen is obviously on fire. Thanks for lunch, Skinner. I'll see you later. Oh, of course. Have a nice day. Oh, and don't worry about those. Uh, meteors outside. Meteors? What meteors? Oh, nothing to worry about. Just ignore them. Have a nice day. Um, okay, see you later. Dr. Chalmers, come on in. Let me take your coat. Dinner will be ready soon. How are things at the school? Thank you, Seymour. Things are going well at the school. It's been an exciting year, and I'm looking forward to the future. That's wonderful to hear. Would you like something to drink while we wait for the panel to finish cooking? Yes, that would be lovely. What did you have in mind? I have a nice bottle of red wine or a sparkling water if you'd prefer non-alcoholic. Damn it. How could I let this happen? <sighs> I'm such an idiot. I was supposed to be keeping an eye on it. What a mess. I'll never be able to make panel like my grandmother's now. This totally ruined it. I need to think of a way to save this. I could try adding some spices or herbs to it and hope it makes it better. I just need to stay calm and think this through. It looks like the perfect solution. I can use the cashew fruits to replace the panelli. Now, I just need to figure out how to get them. Hmm, maybe I could buy some from a nearby market. Or maybe I can pick some from a nearby tree. That should do the trick. Now, let's get to work. Time to get started. First, I need to pick the cashew fruits. Maybe I can build a ladder to reach the tree? What are you doing? Why is the kitchen filled with smoke? Why were you climbing out the window? It's just steam from the steamed panel I'm making. I was just getting some fresh air. Are you sure that's all? It looks like the kitchen is on fire. No, it's just the steam. I promise. Skinner? I'm not sure what you're trying to pull here. Why did you bring cashew fruit instead of panel? It's actually a local expression. <sighs> Panel is a colloquial term for cashew fruit. Skinner? Panel is a chickpea fritter. This is cashew fruit. What's going on here? Well, the suppliers we normally get panel from have been inconsistent with the quality recently. So we decided to switch to cashew fruit. It's a more reliable source and the taste is almost identical. Skinner, don't you think you should be honest about this? We all know Pinnell is chickpea fritters. There's definitely a fire in the kitchen, Skinner. We need to take action now. 
No, 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 Chalmers. There's no fire. It's a zombie infestation. We can't just go running in there to put it out. We'll get eaten alive. I am not convinced that's true. Let me see it. No, I don't think that's a good idea. We should take a more measured approach. I'm not convinced that's a good idea either. We need to address this fire now before it gets worse. Oh, thanks for lunch, Skinner. I'm sorry, but I should be heading off now. The house looks like it's on fire, so I better be leaving now. On fire? Don't be ridiculous. It's just some old zombie in the corner. Now you worry about yourself and be sure to finish that report on time. Um, okay. Bye then. Bye now. Have a good day. You too. Do 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 do. Skinner and Chalmers. They share a place in town. Skinner's up to something. That old sly look he's got. But Chalmers. He just rolls his eyes. Cause they both know what he's been up to. Skinner and Chalmers. The truth will out in town tonight. See Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. The cruller is cooking, but not quite ready yet. Ah, oh, Skinner. It's been too long. Thank you for inviting me in. I look forward to trying your cruller. Of course. I'm honored you accepted my invitation. Please, have a seat, and I'll check on the cruller. Thank you, I will. Can I get you something to drink while you wait? Oh no, I've gone and done it again. <sighs> How could I be so careless? No, I'm stuck with this burn. <sighs> I guess I should have paid more attention. I should have just watched it more closely and kept an eye on it. Now I have to face the consequences. Uh, that looks like a Tommy Betone card. <sighs> That uh, should do the trick. Now, how do I get it to the quick? A mart. Mm. I know. Maybe I can hitch a ride with that passing truck. Yes, that should do the job. Now let me just climb out the window and flag him down. Wish me luck. Here I go. What the devil are you doing in here? Why is this kitchen filled with smoke? And why did I just see you climbing out the window? What smoke? This is just steam from the steamed cruller I'm making. It's a special recipe I've been experimenting with. Don't you lie to me, Seymour. I can see the fire in the corner, and I know what's happening here. Now, tell me the truth. What's going on? All right, all right. I was baking a cake and it got a little too hot. I was trying to get it out the window so I wouldn't have to clean up the mess. Skinner, why did you replace the cruller with Tommy Batone? Well, sir, I thought the students might appreciate the variety. Besides, I had a feeling they'd really enjoy the flavor of the Tommy Batone. And I was right. Some of them actually said it was the best snack they've ever had. Skinner, I'm not convinced. What is your real reason why you decided to replace the cruller with Tommy Batone? Well, sir, I had a vision that told me that this would be the best course of action. I was merely following the guidance of the divine to ensure our students were given the best snack possible. That's a lie. The truth, please. Wait, is this old kitchen actually on fire? What's going on here? Ah. Uh. No, 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 there is no fire. It must be a parhelic circle. Don't worry, it's perfectly safe. A parhelic circle? I've never heard of that. Can I see it? No, no, it's too dangerous. I'm sure it will disperse soon. This is ridiculous. I'm calling the fire department. Thanks for lunch, Mr. Skinner. I'd better go, though. Looks like your house is on fire. What? No, no, no. That's just a parhelic circle. It's perfectly normal. You don't need to worry about it. Are you sure? I mean, it 
looks kind of dangerous. Nonsense. It's perfectly natural. Now off you go. Take care. All right, if you're sure. Goodbye. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. I'm almost done with dinner preparations, but it's not ready yet. Thank you. Your hospitality is appreciated. I hope you like what I've prepared. It's a traditional dish of Ike Yachin. It's a mixture of octopus and vegetables. Sounds delicious. Is there anything I can do to help? No, no. Please make yourself comfortable. Dinner will be ready soon. Ah, fuck. How could I have been so careless? This Yachinika was the best dish I had been looking forward to all day. I swear, sometimes I just want to pull my hair out. I can't believe I just want to pull my hair. I just ruined my evening plans. Fuck. Well, at least I can salvage the rest of the night. I'll just have to make something else. All right. I need to get some viola adunka. Where am I going to find that? Maybe there's some growing near here. I'm gonna have to look outside. Hmm. Wait a minute. Is that a patch of purple flowers in the distance? Yeah, it looks like it might be vile. Yes. Viola aduncus. Now all I need to do is figure out how to harvest some of it without killing the plant. Hmm. Maybe I can use a knife or something? Maybe I can ask around and see if anyone knows a better way to harvest it. Alright. I guess I'll give it a shot. Fuck. I need to hurry up. I don't have all day. All right, let's do this. What's going on? Why is the kitchen full of smoke? And why were you climbing out the window? Oh, ah, uh, no, no, no. It's just steam from the steamed yachin Ica I'm making. It's a specialty dish from my hometown. You enjoy the smell of the smoke, don't you? I'm sure it's an improvement from the last time we were in here. I don't believe you. You were running away. What's really going on here? Uh, I, I, uh, I was trying to put out a little grease fire. I had the stove too hot and my dinner started to smoke a bit, but I got it under control. See, it's all out now. What region is that from? I've never heard of Viola Dunka before. It's from a small island off the coast of South America, and it has been used by the locals for centuries as a delicacy. It's a rare but very delicious fish, and I'm sure you'll love it. That's quite a story. You sure you're not pulling my leg? No, I'm absolutely serious. I can assure you that this food is of the highest quality and will make a great dinner. Well, I guess we'll see. Let's give it a try. Skinner! The kitchen is on fire! No, I don't think that's the case. It... Looks like it may be a rainbow instead. Have you ever seen a rainbow in the kitchen before? No? Then there's no need to worry. Skinner, I can see the flames and smoke. We need to call the fire department. No, I don't think that's necessary. Perhaps the light from the kitchen window is causing a rainbow effect. Let's just enjoy the beauty of it. No, Skinner! This is serious. We need to call the fire department right away. Ugh, Skinner, I think your house is on fire. No, no, it's just a rainbow. You're seeing things. No, I'm serious. Your house is on fire. No, I'm sure it's nothing. Enjoy the rest of your lunch. Skinner, I think we need to call the fire department. Uh, Superintendent Chalmers, it's so nice to see you again. Please come in. Thank you, Skinner. What a lovely smell. Is that Jamaican Maroon's I smell cooking? Indeed it is. It's not ready yet, but I'm sure it will be soon. That sounds delicious. I can't wait to try it. I'm sure you'll be pleased. Would you like to take a seat in the living room while we wait? Ah, uh, what a mess I've made. All that work. All that money. This is not how I imagined this night to end. 
I'll have to start cleaning up, but it looks like I'll have to order takeout for dinner. Why couldn't I have just followed the instructions more carefully? I need to go outside and gather some ingredients. It looks like there's a patch of grass outside the window that might work. Maybe some wild onions, garlic, and peppers. That should do the trick. I, I just need to get a good crusty dough and some sausage, and I should be able to make some delicious sausage bread that will make a perfect substitute for the Jamaican maroons. Let's get to work. First, I need to go outside and forage for the ingredients. Hopefully, I can find some wild onions, garlic, and peppers. Then I need to get the dough and sausage from the store. With all of these ingredients, I should be able to make some delicious sausage bread. Here goes nothing. What is going on in here? What's all this smoke? This place is a disaster. Oh, it's nothing, sir. Just a bit of steam from the steamed Jamaican maroons I'm making. Deliciously spicy. Look at this disaster. There's smoke everywhere. Is something on fire? Have you tried to put it out? No, sir. I just stepped away for a moment. I can have this cleaned up in a jiffy. Mr. Skinner, why did you bring sausage bread when I asked for Jamaican maroons? Well, sir, I was on my way to the store to pick up the maroons when I happened to notice a special sale on sausage bread. I thought it was only fair to the taxpayers to make use of the discounted item, so uh changed my order. Ah, that doesn't seem very likely, Mr. Skinner. Is there something else you'd like to tell me? No, sir. I stand by my story. I was simply trying to do the most economical thing for the district. Well, it didn't appear to be the most economical thing when the Jamaican maroons you were supposed to provide were on sale at a lower price. There's a fire in the kitchen, Skinner. We need to put it out or call the fire department. Fire rainbows, Chalmers. I told you it's just fire rainbows. Can't you see them? No. Well, there must be too much smoke for you to see them. Don't worry, it's all under control. No, Skinner. There is a fire in the kitchen. We need to deal with it. No, 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 Chalmers. I told you, it's just fire rainbows. Do you not believe me? I'm sorry, but it is not possible for you to see the fire rainbows. Skinner, please. We need to deal with the fire, now. That's certainly an interesting way to look at it, but I think we should get out of here. This house is on fire, and that's not something we should ignore. Yes, I suppose it does appear as though our house is on fire, but I don't think there's anything to worry about. This is just a fire rainbow. It's an optical phenomenon caused by light reflecting off the ice crystals in the air. It's quite beautiful, really. That's all well and good, but we really should get out of here. We need to call the fire department and make sure that the fire doesn't do too much damage. A fire rainbow, though. It's just too amazing. I think we can just stay here and enjoy the show. I understand the appeal, but I'm afraid that isn't an option. We need to take action and get help. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please, come inside. The seaweed is not quite ready yet, but it should be sooner than later. Thank you, Skinner. How long has it been since we've seen each other? It's been quite some time since we've had a chance to catch up. How have you been since we last spoke? Oh, things have been quite good. It's nice to get together like this. Is there anything I can do to help? No, I think I've got things handled here. Why don't you have a seat, and we can chat until the seaweed is ready. What have I done? How could I be so careless? I'm such an idiot. The gods must be so mad at me. I can't believe it. This is the worst mistake I've ever made. Please forgive me. Uh, this isn't the way I wanted to start my day. Is there any way I can still make this right? Can I find a way to redeem myself? Oh, mighty spirits of the wind and sea, please grant me the power to make this burnt seaweed be replaced with Mongols. Let this be done for the benefit of us all. I know what I must do. 
I will take a chance and go out and collect Mongols to replace the burnt seaweed. I must hurry so that I can get the food back on the table before the sun sets. Gods of the wind and sea, bless my efforts and make my mission successful. Please guide me on my way and make sure that I am able to find what I seek. Thank you for your help. What is going on here? The kitchen is full of smoke. What are you up to, Skinner? Oh, nothing. Just steaming some seaweed. It's a nice healthy snack for the students. Don't try to fool me, Skinner. There's definitely a fire in this kitchen. You better start explaining yourself or else you will be in serious trouble. Oh, no, no, no. It's just steam. I swear, I'm making steamed seaweed. It's a healthy snack for the kids. What is going on here, Mr. Skinner? Why are you offering Mongolian food instead of seaweed? It's a new culinary trend I've been developing. Mongolian food is a healthier and more modern option that I'm sure you'll find quite refreshing. Plus, it's a great source of protein. Are you sure you're not just trying to cover something up? I'm not convinced. No, no, I swear it's the truth. I've talked to so many chefs and nutritionists about this and they all agree it's the way to go. I just want to make sure you get the best possible experience. <laughs> I still don't know if I can believe you, but I'll give it a try. Let's see what it tastes like. What is going on here? Why is there so much smoke? It must be the warlocks. They have been quite active recently. No, this is clearly a fire. Can I see it? No, no, that's impossible. I cannot let you near the fire. It's too dangerous. I demand you take me to the kitchen to confirm it is actually a fire. Thanks for lunch, Skinner. Anytime. Good luck with your warlocks. Nah, what? Sorry, there's no fire here, right? No, of course not. Warlocks. You know, witches and such. Oh, right. Well, goodbye then. Welcome, Dr. Chalmers. Please come in. The Nova-style salmon is cooking, but it's not quite ready yet. Ah, the salmon smells delightful. Thank you for inviting me. How long do you think it'll be until it's ready? Not much longer. I think it should be done in just a few minutes. Great. While we wait, would you mind if I asked you a few questions about the project you mentioned over the phone? I'm curious to learn more about it. Of course, I'd be happy to answer your questions. What would you like to know? Oh, that was my favorite. How could I have been so careless? I'm such a fool. At least I can still get dinner. I'll have to just make something else. Um, um that Barbados cherry tree outside looks like it's full of fruit. If I could pick enough of the cherries, I could replace the Nova-style salmon with Barbados cherries. I think I'll try it. Time to get picking. I uh, hope I can get enough cherries to last the entire meal. I guess I better get started right away. Wish me luck. What the devil is going on here? The kitchen is full of smoke. What have you been doing, Skinner? Ow. Oh, nothing. Just making a little bit of steam. Nothing major, I promise. It doesn't look like steam to me. Tell me the truth now or else. Okay, okay. I accidentally set a pot of oil on fire. I was trying to make some french fries and it got a little out of control. I'm really sorry. Skinner, why did you not buy Nova-style salmon? That was the agreement. Well, I was at the store and they were all out of Nova-style salmon. So I improvised and got Barbados cherry instead. It's actually a much better choice. It's full of antioxidants and has a really rich flavor. Plus, it's much more affordable than Nova style salmon. Oh, Skinner, that's not true. I want an honest answer. Why did you not buy the salmon like we agreed? Well, I talked to the seafood specialist at the store and he said Barbados cherry was the superior choice. He even offered me a free sample, and I thought it was delicious. 
I was convinced it was the better option, so I decided to go with it. Skinner, I'm not buying it. Please tell me the truth. Why didn't you get the salmon? Skinner, it's not volcanic lightning, it's a fire. We need to get out of here now. No, 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 no. That must be volcanic lightning. It is a natural phenomenon and we do not know its true cause. No need to worry. Skinner, come on! We have to get out of here now. There's no time to waste. This kitchen is going to burn down if we don't act now. No, no, no. We must think rationally here. We can't just jump to conclusions. It's most likely volcanic lightning, and I refuse to believe otherwise. Skinner, the kitchen is on fire. We have to get out now. Well, I'd better be going. Thanks for lunch, Skinner. No problem. Have a safe trip home. Thanks. I will. Oh, and don't worry about the house burning down. It's just some volcanic lightning. Oh, okay. See you later. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come 